Good morning. How are we all? Oh, I'm excited about this morning. Can I just say, I've been looking, um, lovely Claire McDonald's here. She's just setting everything up and she, fingers crossed, I don't even know if I should be saying this, but fingers crossed is moving house in the next couple of weeks. And I've just seen her house. It's absolutely beautiful. Like idyllic, Claire. You literally are, I'm going to call you Beatrice from now on. Are you? Do you know why? Because like, it's like a Beatrix Potter. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. You are, there's going to be little Peter Rabbits running around in your oh, garden. So. Oh, I'm so jealous. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. It's literally like a scene out of Peter Rabbit. Um, oh, speaking of beautiful, we've got Claire McDonald. We've got some absolutely stunning, stunning mm. kits. Uh, that was beautiful about her and the kits, by the way. Um, Tasseltastic, but pearls. Wait until you see the kits coming up at nine o'clock. They are dreamy. Absolutely dreamy um, and of course wonderful demonstrations it's Claire McDonald what should we expect and then at 10 o'clock I'm going to be joined by the fantastic the wonderful Dave Troth um, who's very excited about this morning's show because we have some exquisite master carved launching today never been on your screens before type a Burmese jadeite I mean just the little pikus those are coming up but they're not so little this time and very very detailed um, you've also got, let me, just, let me just hold some of these up for you. In fact, look at the pieces of jewellery. We've got Lucy on camera today. <laughs> Lucy's on camera. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. There she is. You can handle this, Luce. Um, so you've got your floral carving there. Look at the intricacy. Again, natural type A Burmese jadeite. This one just here, I think, is going to go crazy. Um, it's a wolf. Yeah, I agree. You're right. You're right to correct me there, Rossi, says I think they're all going to go crazy. Um, you've got the wolf head, which then leads down into the wolf tooth. Very, very, very dramatic. And then take a little look at this. Look at the colour. Seriously, it's the biggest, the biggest size that we have ever brought to air. It's also got some of the darkest colours, all completely natural again, um, and the most beautiful markings. This is all coming up with Dave at 10 o'clock today, plus we have amazing strands. Then we have more beautiful kits coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Um, and I gave some of you a little sneaky peek of those actually in my, on my Facebook Live this morning. I did, I did, Ross, I did. Um, they've got a lovely candle involved with gemstones at the top. It's a beautiful little Buddha head candle. And then sterling silver components to go alongside. A lot of you were showing interest in that as well. Um, you've messaged me uh, on the Facebook, but also after the Facebook about those. Super affordable. So it's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm so excited about this Tuesday morning. And the fact that I've seen Claire's new house. I know where she lives. It's very posh, you know, where she lives. Very, very posh. It even sounds posh. You know one of those little villages that sounds posh? Wooden Wawan. Wooden Wawan. It sounds very, very posh. Um, but get interactive. Come and say hello to us all. We would love to hear from you, of course. Now, one other thing that I cannot start the live show without mentioning. She has been the backbone of this jewellery maker team for how many years? How many years? Me? Yeah. How long? Is it only a year? This has been the best year of my life. Um, but our lovely Lucy is leaving us today um, because there's a very good reason you're not, le you're not leaving, Lucy, because you don't love us anymore, are you? Can we just clarify that? Just clarify that one. Um, she's off to live the dream over in the States with her gorgeous, gorgeous husband. So, um, well, yeah, over to America, aren't you? Yeah. Um, your husband's going to be working over there. Yes. And, of course, you're following. Yes, with, I'll be relaxing. You <laughs> shall be relaxing. Um, I'm very sad about that, but we wish you all the very direct the best. So it is Lucy's last show. I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do without you, Lucy. Because she's the most organised person I think I've ever come across. But you have a successor, don't you? Yes. I've passed, passed the torch to young Daniel. Uh, who, I have to say, is absolutely living... You are filling those boots, aren't you, Dan? No, no I wasn't planning. He wasn't even <laughs> listening, but it's all good. Just, you just, you just take it. Uh, just say yes. Just say yes. OK, should we get showing? Yeah, get going. <coughs> get showing. Uh, it's early bird, of course, remember. 
<laughs> it's early birds to remember you do have a curfew um, all these items will only be available until the nine o'clock hour so make sure you check out those baskets remember it is still only one person packaging not per item per day so that's fantastic um, we have got in this hour sleeping beauty turquoise labyrinth faceted beads we've got close out deals on tanzanite which is coming up in about 10 minutes time brand new even though it's brand spanking new we're going to do a close out deal yeah that's just how we roll i can see goldstone i can see amethyst i can see garnets um shall we, shall we get cracking let's start with this amazing amethyst oh i love it have you been listening to wayne straight away ross is like fast and pacey al fast and pacey fast and pacey you have to do the land and walk i think fast and pacey <laughs> He's not from London, Wayne, but I always imagine him. He's actually, he's Italian, yeah. He's the Italian stallion via Bristol and Birmingham. <laughs> With a name like Pasco, yes, absolutely. Uh, natural amethyst and the beautiful, we've described them as nuggets, but they're more than that, aren't they? Um, they're more like mm, columns. Let's call them columns. Um, and again, totally naturally coloured. You know, I was, we were saying, uh, Ross and I, in preparation for today's show, that we really need to start making more jewellery. Um, and maybe s starting a little, starting a little, yeah, a little Etsy shop, little sideline. We could go into business together, Ross. If you're up for it, I am. Let's do it. I mean, 4 99 not this, put a nice clasp on the end. Away you go. Beautiful amethyst, always commercially desirable and recognised. Straight away, lots of you there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the birds were singing in the in the trees this morning, but apparently the weather's about to turn. Mm, mm. Never been lower than nine ninety nine, four ninety nine for you today because it is your viewer's choice. Uh, do get interactive. Send your messages to our lovely Lucy. Um, she hasn't fallen out of love with us. Let's just clarify that, Lucy. Have you? No. I mean, you hesitated there. Seriously? No. I'm going to be so sad. The green sandstone, that sold out before I've even brought it to air. So let's bring you the midnight blue. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Off to Minnesota? Missouri. Missouri. Got that wrong. Sorry. Sorry. I knew it began with M. We do listen to you. It's just I'm not great with my American states. Um, <laughs> once upon a time, when I actually presented on the USA channel, I could name them all. But if you don't use that information, you lose it, don't you? Do you remember, Ross? There was a, there was a map just there, just in front of me. Um, OK, look at this. Uh, I actually listened to this song on the way into the work. And whenever I see Midnight Blue sa uh, Sandstone, it reminds me of the Vincent song by Don McLean. Starry, starry night, that one. Paint your palette blue and grey. Does it remind you of that? Look out on a summer's day. Uh, that's called Vincent by Don McLean. It's one of my favourites. It is about Vincent van Gogh, but I always imagine this strand um, when I'm singing it. Um, let's do the gold and sandstone. I like a bit of Vincent too. It's actually quite a sad song. It's very sad. It's a sad story, actually. Bless him. Um, such a talent. Beautiful, golden, glimmering, warm, terracotta colours of your sandstone in your 10 millimetre rounds. I've been seeing some of your lovely makes. I think, was it on the Wall of Fame? Not entirely. I don't go on Facebook anymore. But, um, but yeah, I've, I've seen, or try not to anyway. Uh, but you've got, I've seen someone using this recently. Was it in a Marla? I can't remember. But absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine it in natural sunlight? You know, in the summer months, you're going to see all of those beautiful glittering inclusions reflecting and, oh, just gorgeousness. Always incredibly popular, of course. Um, your sandstone is actually a man-made component, so technically not actually a gemstone. Um, but very, very, very beautiful um, in terms of light performance. I think our lovely Mark would describe this as something for like Kiss Cross. You could do like, these could be the stations within your Kiss Cross or maybe something dramatic to go alongside like uh, Black Agate or um, I'm visualising black. I don't know why, but I'm visualising black to go alongside this. Always flies out the door to sandstone. Wasn't that a poorly worded sentence? <laughs> Always flies out the door, does sandstone. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it does, it flies out the door. Flies out the door. Uh, the tans light is coming up, but not just yet. Not just yet. Should we just, have I got garnets? Yes, I have garnets. Are you got garnets? Yes. 
the price is all locked and loaded. You have 50 minutes to get these. Look at the quality. You know when we say garnet is full of refraction? That's refraction. Imagine the lowest possible price that I think this could be. Okay. Do you actually want me to say what I'm thinking? I mean, yeah, that's crazy. I was going to say five ninety nine. Look at the clarity. They are literally fiery red. That's refraction. If ever you wanted a description, a visual description of what refraction is, it's on your screens right now. The light will enter into a gemstone. It will bounce around. Different gems will refract light and bend light in different ways. The garnet gemstone family is synonymous for, to, for high refraction. And it's displayed in its droves. These are beautiful. I'm just looking, uh, looking for the size. Are they three mil? Three millimeter round brilliant cuts? So maybe to nestle into your pearls, I always say that, don't I? Um, to use alongside Claire's little, little tube sets, I think she's done those. Um, what, what are they called? What are they called, Luce? They are tube sets, aren't they? The little ones that Claire uses. So you can put them in those. Um, all your milliputs, they'd work in that. £2.99 for genuine garnet. Natural as well. That's what the N stands for in the brackets. Good morning to you, Gillian. Good morning to you, new customers. Good morning to you, London. I'd be getting hold of these even if I've got no clue what to get, what, what to do with them. Because at some point you're going to reach for them, aren't you? At some point. You might get some tube sets in one of Claire McDonald kits or you might get hold of some Milliput and think, ah, oh, I know what I need, just a little pop of red. Or you might start dremeling your pearls if you're not already doing that. Two pounds and 99 pence. People are multi-buying on this. Don't be shy. Come and say hello to us. Uh, bid our Lucy bon voyage. Bon voyage à Lucy. Adieu, adieu. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Uh, the supermarkets when like the pharmacies and stuff, you know, like the, like the shops. Yeah, like the Walmarts. Yeah. 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 That is good. Um, what about things like uh, IHOP? Yeah. Pancakes. Yeah. They Cheesecake do Factory. Cheesecake Factory, yes. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> Uh, I'm coming. I, I'm, I'm literally booking my trip to go over and see you. Uh, Two ninety nine. Check out. How many do we have of these in Roscoe? How many do we have? There's quantity, but lots in baskets, and people are multi buying. Um, ooh, leopard skin jasper. I saw the funniest meme yesterday. The funniest, funniest meme. It was actually my husband who shared it. I was literally, you know, when you're laughing like to yourself. <laughs> The shoulders are going. Um, so there's a mountain lion. And if you've ever seen a mountain lion, they're, they're pretty terrifying, especially because they're all henched over. It was like he looked, he looked angry. Um, and there's, uh, there's a photograph of him along a walk, so uh, sort of a walking path. And underneath it said, what's the opposite of puss, 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 puss? <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> If I was literally crying now, it's so funny. What's the opposite of puss, puss, puss? <laughs> Do you not get it? There's a mountain lion, so what's the opposite of puss, puss, puss? Because you want him to go away. Lucy doesn't get it. Is it just not funny? I, I find that really funny. Anyway, back to the gemstones. Puss, puss, puss. Um, <laughs> oh, it's... It tickled me. Yeah, I know. An amazing sell on the gemstone, don't you think? Um, if, if any of my bosses are watching, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was the, it was, <laughs> it was the leopards. That's what it made me think about it. Ah, oh, dear me. This is the Tanzanite closeout deal that we're going to bring to you. Look at that colour. Oh, my goodness me. That's almost... Would you all agree, like... That triple A quad A colour, rich in saturation. I know we don't use that grading system anymore, but um, it, it, it's beautifully rich. That's coming up in a closeout deal, even though technically it's never even been launched. Not too long to wait for that. Now, if you did like the puss, 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 Jasper. <laughs> oh, we're not doing it. Sorry, <laughs> they've sold out. <laughs> Ah, tickled me, really tickled me. Ah, right, anyway, Opal, let's talk seriously now, Al. Um, because we know this is an amazing gemstone that forms from... Uh, Claire's just stepped in, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 
explain to you later, Claire. Um, amazing gemstone that forms from ancient water, basically, that has become trapped within cracks and crevices uh, within the actual host rock. The more play of colour, that's those beautiful flashes of greens um, and blues and reds and yellows um, that you see within the opal, the finer the quality. But please understand as well, here in the studio it does opal no favours because sadly we have too many lighting, uh, light sources. Um, so outside in natural light or maybe actually in your home when you have a single light source, you're going to see these beautiful flashes. Um, of play of colour. Can you see it just in there? It gets almost uh, sort of drowned out by the light here in the studios. Completely and utterly natural. This is like a honey strand. How on earth is this twelve ninety nine? Sorry, Ross, I've only just seen this. Opal of any variety, even our nuggets shouldn't be twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Not going quick enough though, says Ross. Should we do a brand new low? Is that not a brand new low? Should we take it under ten pounds? You've only got until nine o'clock to make your, uh, I'm literally crying, uh, to make your confirmations. There's the warning apparently flashing on, uh, uh, flashing on Ross's system saying, do you know what you're doing, basically? <laughs> That's basically what it's saying. Do you know what you're doing, Ross? No, he says. Of course they've sold out. Of course they have. Oh, there we, that's how I should have shown you. Look. Sorry, Adam, look. There you go. Oh, wow. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. Um, should we do some fluorite? This will go perfectly with one of Claire's kits that's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour because it's all about the bicones. Tanzanite is coming up momentarily, says Ross. That's very posh of you, Ross. Um, he's a posh kind of guy. He's a posh guy. Um, fluorite, of course. Um, known for all of its beautiful colours, very spring-like I always feel about this gemstone. Um, fresh, beautiful, soft sage greens, you've got rich purples, pinks, bi-colours. $6.99, should we take it to a brand new low? This is one of the many reasons that you tune in bright and early here at Jewelry Maker. Natural fluorite, complex to cotton, yet we're bringing it to you in a bicone. £2.99, what is that? Never been anywhere near that price tag, clearly. Claire, alongside your kits. Why'd you look confused? <laughs> <laughs> That's on the face. You've got lovely bicones. Yes. They'd I be have. amazing. Yes, I have, have yes. I know what you're talking about now. Sorry, yes. Yeah, wouldn't it be beautiful yeah. alongside that? Too bad. Yes, it would. Nine. Oh my goodness me. How many do we have of these then, Ross? Because that's just an absolute giveaway deal. Uh, Lisa, Karen, Karen, Julie, Maker. Carol, you're there as well, multi buyers on this. Um, they've gone. They've gone. Here we go, Dan. Thank you. Should we do some fancy Jasper? Um, a couple of auctions until I bring you the Tans Night. Now, this has not even been launched, so it's premiering today, and yet we're promising it at a close out deal. Look at the colour of these. Wowzers. You do, we can talk about the four C's, but the most important C in this is the colour, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. A couple of auctions time, not too long to wait for those, but you can pre-order, you can actually shop ahead. How about some lovely fancy Jasper um, in these lovely elegant long chips? You get these lovely textures from them. Jasper is well, uh, an oh, two pounds, sorry, two pounds. Can't even get a coffee for two pounds. Well, not from one of those sort of the usual coffee places, can you? One ninety nine. Oh, look at the colours that you're getting here. It's almost borderline tourmaline colour uh, rainbows. You've got your yellows, your greens, your blues, your ochres, um, wonderful patternings, purple light colour saturations, all completely and utterly natural. I like the idea of these maybe being on um, sort of like a long line tassel. You know, just a couple of the chips at the bottom of some chain or something. Yeah, you'd like get that. nice movement, wouldn't you? Mm. You would, yeah. Yeah, fabulous. Loving the colours of these. If you like the visions of tourmaline, it's quite similar, I think, the, the, the palette that you're getting here. One more auction until your tanzanite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at this. Frosted duck egg jasper. It is, it is very duck egg. Look. You get the lovely speckling. You get that beautiful soft blue. 
frosted. Um, so beautiful matte textures to these. It's a jasper, so you get wonderful uh, durability and harnesses to it. In a classic 10 millimetre round, we're at two pounds and 99 pence only. Two pounds ninety nine. What's he what's he waffling That's on? That's perfect, there? isn't it? For you know the um you know if you do like for your Easter, you know the wire work nest. Oh yeah. They, that strand is absolutely perfect for that. I don't think I've seen a better strand, more suited. More suited. Yeah. Really. So you do your little ducky nests. Yes. Do yeah. ducks have nests? Oh, do they? Chicks, yeah. Your chick yeah, they little do, Easter, don't they? Easter chicks. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they do, or they kind of make a version of one, don't they? Two ninety nine, yeah, perfect. Oh, they've sold out. Perfect for the Easter makes. Are you ready? With uh, the big five, to be fair, we still talk about. We mostly talk about the the four C's, don't we? We talk about um, your carrot weight. We talk about your clarity. We talk about your cut, and we talk about your colour. Now, this is a sentence that I, I, has always been driven into me over the years, working alongside gemstones. When it comes to your coloured gemstones, colour is king. This is a launch today, and yet we're promising a close-out deal. <laughs> Look at the length of the strand. That's a lot of tanzanite that I'm seeing that will obviously be welcome additions to your fine jewellery. A total of what? 32 carats of genuine tanzanite. Now, there's 130 of these available. Oh, this is silly. This is silly, Ross. Now, we haven't all of a sudden discovered more tanzanite. I say we as if it's us here at Jewelry Maker, but, you know, the, mi the mining location has not all of a sudden unearthed a greater quantity of this gemstone. We are mining, this is quite widely recognised and known, the mine shafts, vertical shafts, deep down in through the Earth's crust, are over a 1,000 metres. And that was a while ago that I heard that number. It may well be even more than that. Now, the deeper you go, obviously, the higher the risk, the more challenging the mining conditions actually are, and generally speaking, the less tanzanite that actually is available. So how on earth are we offering you 32 carats in one strand at this ridiculous... And that's, I, have to, I don't like using negative words, but this is a ridiculous price for quality. I'm going to go back to what I originally said. With the, with, the, with, with the big five, we talk about the four C's, don't we? We talk about carrot weight, we talk about the clarity, we talk about the cut, but colour is numero uno out of all of your coloured gemstones. And this tanzanite strand has some of the deepest, richest, indulgent tanzanite blues that I think we've ever actually offered you. What is it that colours tanzanite? Vanadium. I said this the other day. If you can imagine making yourself a glass of squash, you know, the more of, your con of the concentrate that you actually put in, the deeper the colour, that's the same that comes with this gemstone. Obviously, it's not squash, it's vanadium that you're actually adding. Um, we don't use, not just us, but here at, here at Jewelry Maker or Gemporium, we don't use the grading system anymore. But ultimately, the deeper the blue, the more expensive, the more valuable the tanzanite actually is. But you're not just buying one. You're buying an entire parcel, which are beautifully drilled at the top to create the most opulent, amazing jewellery. Claire, we have 134 of these. It's never been on our screens before. Can you imagine what... Go on, I'm going to put you in that position. Oh, no. I know you Don't. hate it. I know you hate it. How, the strand itself, 25 centimetres... Five to nine millimetres. Go, have a guess. Go on, I know you hate me for saying this, but... 49? 49. 49, 99? Nowhere near. Oh. Nowhere near. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, I've, got a, I've bought Tanzanite from Jewelry Maker over the years. I've never seen a deal like this. I genuinely haven't. 
Not when you compare the quality yeah. and the price, which I know, yeah. and Ross knows. And the size and the shape. And the shape, size and the shape, yeah. yeah, exactly. I am absolute, I would recommend you all sitting down, making sure you have your means to purchase. We're gonna get that clock ticking away until the graphics actually appear. I don't want anyone to miss out. 134 might seem like a massive quantity. Not when you can, if you could see the number that I can see on my star buy sheet, you would be getting as excited as I am right now. Um, I mean, who doesn't love tanzanite? Especially alongside the kits, Claire, that you've got coming up. Oh, can you imagine know, a custom yeah. tanzanite on your tassel? Yeah, some lovely briolette wraps to be very very pretty can you hold up your tassel oh yes yeah <laughs> there's a sentence i never thought i'd say um but look claire holding up a tassel for you all can you imagine a couple of little tanzanites in amongst claire's absolutely beautiful kit that's coming oh, these at the nine o'clock hour today. oh they're gorgeous <gasps> at nine o'clock today oh oh, oh <sighs> my goodness me Brand new oh. silver components. Can you imagine ta a tanzanite in there too? Look, look, look. So many pearls. Now imagine the gemstone yes. that, that, that yeah. forms at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. Stunning. Oh, it will be amazing. Look at the start price. That's not where we're oh. stopping. No, 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 no. We're going lower than this. This is why I'm... I could tell how excited I am for you all. There are 134 opportunities. 30 have already been snapped up at £29.99. pence. I think, and I'm going to put this one out there, people are not just going to multi-buy, they might triple, quadruple. Because to be truthful, um, it's that kind of deal. It is that kind of deal. Have a little look for kicks, not right now. Have a little look. Uh, there's a website, uh, 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 I don't really know what, it's not a shop as such, but it's online. Um, some are called First Dibs. They specialise in lots of pre owned jewellery, for example. And you might think, as soon as you go on there, that they are all going to be, you know, I clean tanzanite potentially. No, 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 no. The tanzanite is very similar to what you actually source from us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this one. Can we show that, Ross? So there's a twisted, oh, it's a big carat weight, natural tanzanite bead, seven strand, but they're rondelles, right? 16,000 pounds. 16,000 pounds. That's like an L twist, that is, isn't it? I like how you give, put my name to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's got gold and it's absolutely stunning, but it's 16 grand. That's a very nice car. A very nice car. It's not 29 pounds and 99 pence, is it? And we're going even lower. Now, a big percentage of this quantity has already been allocated. Well done. I assure you, you're going to be ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic with the same. Again, I, I buy Tanzanite and I've been buying Tanzanite ever since I actually started working here at Jewelry Maker. I didn't own a single stone uh, prior to that because I couldn't afford it, literally couldn't afford it. Um, and I buy it even if I don't know what I'm going to make with it as of yet. I buy it because I know that more than likely, say in 15, 20 years time, it's only going to be available to most of us on the secondary market. What price per carat is it going to be then? We are under 20 pounds, 20 pounds. And that's still not your I didn't close even see out that, deal. That sneak in then, that 1999. It's not your close out deal. It's still not your close out deal. <gasps> Do you want to know how many solitaires you have? Let me count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 solitaires, Ross. That's already less than a pound per tanzanite. Big tanzanites. Average over a oh, carat that's each. Nice. Beautiful facets, again, amazing quality of colour. Not even stopping at 19.99. We've got Helen though multi buying, Dot multi buying, Tina Wanda multi buying. Hello to you, Kim, Audrey, Maureen, Kath, Dawn, another Kath, Pat, Caroline. So many of you are choosing to multi buy. Why wouldn't you? It's Tanzanite. It's not an imitation Tanzanite. It is legitimate, genuine Tanzanite. And this is still not your closeout deal. There was 134. Every single one of these has to go today because this is, frankly, I'll say it again, ridiculous. I, I get I'll, I get told off for saying a negative word, you know, when referencing a price tag. But somebody try and make sense of that. Can we make sense of that? 
Is it ridiculous? It is, isn't it? Do, would you have ever guessed fourteen ninety nine? No. 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 Not at all. Not for this quality. No, not at all. Uh, chips, maybe. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but, and, and, but we don't see those. You know, we don't see it very often. So, no. you know, that's, that would still have been a great... A great price for chips. I'm just thinking of the, um, you've got some rounds there. So if you, if maybe you're um, quite new, you might be thinking, oh, it's a different shape, isn't it? To, uh, to maybe if you've, if you've, if you've only worked with rounds before, yeah, yeah. but there's nothing to stop you from either. You can you just use your beading thread with those and maybe group a, two or three together and you get a lovely, um, a lovely different look. Or if you're happy to work with wire work, um, you can do your briolette wrap, but the beautiful rounds that you've got next to you, you know, maybe, yeah, any of them. I mean, you could just, yes, put, maybe put a long, long line like that. You've got your rounds. You could do some knotting and then you could put maybe a, a few of the tanzanite in between. This is jadeite. Gonna, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a perfect pairing, isn't it? Isn't that's it? Lovely. They've got really beautiful colours, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Um, 14 pounds. 70% of the bidders have actually multi-bought. That, I don't blame you. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you at the end of the day? Tanzanite of this quality and of this grade. Um, everybody ecstatic with that amazing price point? Oh. It was never your price. In here, Tinker Ross. <laughs> what a Tinker. <laughs> oh, you little Tinker. <laughs> Didn't your mum ever say that? Yeah, I say that to Lo all the time. Yeah, yeah. little tinker. Yeah. <gasps> it's not your price. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is why I've been saying it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <coughs> it's ridiculous where we are right now. It was ridiculous at 19.99. It was ridiculous at 29.99. But to suggest that we go an even lower than 14.99, this has to sell out though. Because can you imagine if I, I have to look Yesterday, I, I you know, step off screen. Um, there's my boss. Uh, there's my boss Wayne, and there's Scott, and then uh, there's the partnership MD, MD as well, Colin. Uh, Colin was like, "Ha, oh, how, yeah, how did you go today? Did you have a good show today." And I was like, "Yeah, Colin, I had 32 carats of amazing quality tanzanite, and we took it to less. Well, we'll soon see. And it didn't sell out. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine that, that conversation? Mm. He'd be like, "Well, seriously, what? Yeah. And he'd be right." Twelve ninety nine. That's ridiculous. I would I would literally indulge on this, and I'd be multi buying and create some fabulous pearl and tanzanite tassels. Yes. Do you remember yeah. how much this is per tanzanite? Sixty p. Oh. I can't get a bar of chocolate out of our vending machine for that. You're getting genuine tanzanite, yeah, one occasional. And, and, and just think, you know, you could. Um, I know we've got. I think we've got sterling silver wire coming up as well. Haven't mm -hmm. we? So. If you, if you didn't want to just use the drill hole that's there and you wanted to maybe do a little bit of wire work, you can turn it upside down um, and then you create the heart shape and that then really enhances that, you know, if you wanted to be the heart rather than, um, rather than a pair. There's lots you can do. So it's a, it's a really interesting, interesting shape to work with. And the drill hole is really discreet because it's actually at the mm. base, isn't it, of the yeah, heart? Yeah, so if you did want a bezel, you know, you could maybe work if you've got some of your bezel wire. Yes, flowers are beautiful. So if you can maybe group maybe five of them together, oh, wow. and you've got your jade eye or maybe some of the pearls, you know, in between in the centre. £12.99. Yeah. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and that's why so many have got twos, threes and fours. Hello to you, Adri. Hello to you, Michael, Mary, uh, Aminia. Hello to you, Hampshire, Kim, Denise, Leicestershire, Dawn, Gillian, Mary, Dot, Lisa, Lanarkshire, Sandra, Jane, Wendy. Wanda, Heather, Helen, new customer Tina, Karen. Um, yeah, I, I can't see all of your names because it's literally off the off the bottom of the screens. Um, good luck, those of you that haven't yet checked out. Whilst we opened, this is a premiere. It's never been on your screens before either. Um, we had 134, sorry, um, at the beginning of the auction. How many have I got? 30 left. Uh, John, I can see you there. Sally, I can see you there. Moira, I can see you there. London, Hazel, Lynn, Surrey, Beverly, Susan, I can see you all there. You will need to check out because the reality is I've got 30. That's if, if, if it carry the trend, if you like, of the mm -hmm. call screen that I'm looking right now is a lot of people getting twos. So that's basically 15 people that will be successful. That quantity won't mm -hmm. hang around. Karen Lee Sussex has just bought two. Moira, who I saw you on the one side of the screen, you've just confirmed you've just 
got two. Hazel's just got two. Leicestershire, you've got yours. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it's only available until the top of the hour, but I think it is more going to be a case of stocks lasting um, <coughs> as opposed to sort of the quantity being available um sorry as in time rather sandra diane good luck good luck june and sorry's just got two we've only got we're going to stay with this for another 60 seconds approximately we are very close to selling out it will be available um until nine o'clock but i've literally got 14 left 14 so now that's what seven people if you do buy two um and there are 36 of you with it in your baskets. June and sorry, you've got two. Alice, well done to you in County Durham. Nola, Jacqueline, Suzanne in Tyne and Ware, Claire in Cambridgeshire. Nola in Herefordshire, you've got yours as well. Multi buyers, yes. Uh, Alison in Merseyside, well done, well done, well done. Ridiculous, that was frankly ridiculous, but in the best possible way. I do have some beautiful pills. Yeah, are we doing them now? There's one of each. Starting with the Keshi. Oh, I've been looking at these. <gasps> There's two. Look at the metallic colours, even from that distance. Beautiful metallic colours. One price crash, two of you will be successful. Oh, my word. <gasps> Remember that statistic. From a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. And you have an entire strand. That's a lot of pearls oh, that's needed to be harvested <gasps> to bring you this entire strand. These are natural. They are not colored, not dyed. You have lavender tones. You have the beautiful golds. You have those lovely undulations which seem to pool iridescence. Mm. What would you do with a strand like this, Claire? Because Keshis are huge at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I uh, I mean, I'd probably um, knot in between them, do a knotted necklace, and I'd maybe work with the tanzanite that, um, that you had. And again, just group, group a few of them in, in, amongst, in amongst there. Because the tanzanite, you, you know, you've got, haven't you, you've got the blues in tanzanite, the, the, the pinks, the purples in the same way with the metallics of the, of the keshis as well. It'd be such, such pretty jewellery. Fabulous colours. There are literally two available. 149.99. You can get hold of it on your split pay for 37.49 today. Let's bring you the other, which is more of a baroque shape, and you'll see the difference. Um, there is only one, so this is actually the one that you'll be getting. Um, again, we're really wow. embracing at the moment. Once upon a time, and I said this yesterday during the deal of the day, your baroques and your keshis were literally thrown back into the sea up until about 20 years ago. Oh, gosh. I know, isn't it awful? <gasps> isn't it awful? But now, of course. Probably the Baroques, especially with the Lady Gaga House of Gucci. Um, five of you have this in your basket. Um, it's all about the Baroque mm. shape because they're a celebration and you can actually see. That one looks like a conch shell. Um, you can actually see that it's Mother Nature. Again, totally natural, beautiful, uh, metallic iridescence. So rare to get naturally metallic pearls. Um, and all beautifully uh, varied in their colours. There are, there's literally one. This is the one that you're going to be getting, £129.99. I'll leave that with you. Five of you actually have it in baskets for, the, for this one. Um, shall we do naturally coloured purple pearls? <clears throat> I mean, there's a rarity in itself. But even more than that, I'm just going to borrow my sheets because pearls really should be looked at on a white background. And also, I don't want them to roll everywhere. Oh, my goodness me. Half drilled. Look how gorgeously spherical this is. <gasps> oh my word. <gasps> oh. Oh my word. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> There's not a flaw. Everything about them is perfect, isn't it? And that colour is incredible. But, yeah. <gasps> Completely smooth. Nacre surface. Oh, they're lovely. Completely spherical. Totally natural. <gasps> We're at £149.99. pence. There are 12 available and they are natural in the colour. My good friend, uh, uh, Lindsay, who actually presents on our sister channel, she's on right now, um, I see quite regularly, actually, what she has um, on Gemporia. One of these would be an 18-carat gold with a halo of diamonds mm. on our sister channel. One. And you would pay more than what's on your screens. Oh. 
Should we do something crazy, Ross says. If you're happy right here, and I would be, I'd be ecstatic at that price tag for, for, for one. Yet on our sister channel, you would pay more. We're, there's 12 opportunities. You've got 20 minutes um, as part of your viewer's choice. Remember, split pay is available. I'm so jealous of those of you that get these. Mm. Do you know what I would turn them into? Studs. Mm. They would be amazing stud earrings. Should we take it under £100 for you? What? What? Oh. I feel oh, they're bit, beautiful. I feel a bit uncomfortable. <sighs> what is that? Half drilled? Yeah, that, that's incredible, isn't it? They are. We had the They are absolutely something else, aren't they? They are incredible. Yeah. <gasps> perfectly spherical, totally natural in their colour. And look, look how at well, well matched they are. So, yeah. I mean, you know, if you are going to do earrings, they're a perfect match, aren't they? Do you know, I'm, I'm going to say something I'm probably not going to be thankful, but I don't care if these don't sell out. Do you know why? Because I will buy them. <laughs> Quite, honestly, I don't care if they don't sell out because I will absolutely buy these. I had the conversation um, with, uh, with Ross this morning saying, we need to set up our own little Etsy shop. Mm. Because how easy is it to put those on a post? Yeah. On a post, yeah. and I would go nine carat gold or, or, or 14 I think they're even. Worth, yes, they're worth it. They're worth it. it. Yeah. And you could sell it. That takes, what, five minutes? I, I glued a pearl to a pendant bale the other day. Um, you could sell it, I think, probably for four times that price tag, if not more. Mm. If not more. I, I generally don't care if they don't sell out. <laughs> because I'll be getting them. That's incredible. Well done. Oh, wow. Done. Well done, everybody that's got those. There was only 12. Remember, turquoise coming up, labradorite coming oh. up as well as part of your viewer's choice. Shall we do some uh, rose gold clasps? Now, whenever these come to air, um, always, they've got a certain price point that uh, as part of our essentials collection. Let me just grab some tweezers. Um, yeah, they're 7 99 They're 7 99 yeah. But we have... Taking them to £6.99 for four as well. Eight millimetres and you get a pack of ten of them. So nice big bolt ring clasp. Those of you that maybe struggle with the small tiddly ones, I do as well. Um, we're going to do a special on these. Uh, a special. So the larger the clasp, generally speaking, the easier they are to actually open and close, aren't mm. they? Yes, yeah. So yeah. Um, I prefer a larger clasp. Um, bolt ring clasp is really one of those. Very strong, um, very strong. Really aesthetic and beautiful, aren't they? But not yeah, too and they, I think it, as well with rounds as well, it flows, doesn't it? That's you know, so the, the whole, you know, if you're working, say, maybe with the, um, the jadeite rounds, you, you'd want something like that. I just think it flows well. But then I'd also look at, you know, with the pearls that you've had, some of the pinkier tones that are in oh, them. Yeah. You might want to go for ro rose gold, mightn't you? Yeah, because so, it? it's going to highlight. Yeah, isn't it? it's going so to shape and colour. You know, you'd be thinking about that with your findings as well, not just gemstones. Now, we'll do something really naughty. These are essentials. We are not meant to drop the price on essentials. Oh. That's not your price. We're going even lower than that. We're not even closing here. You get 10. The rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, not the tiddly ones, the big ones. <laughs> How many do we have them, Ross? A necessity to us all. We know we need clasps. 499 is not your price. You can tell that, that our system doesn't want to go any lower because it, you're, are you having to override it? We've got a hundred <laughs> of these and we're going to sell out of a hundred of them too. We're not meant to reduce the price on our essentials because, you know, gemstones is different. We can sometimes negotiate with the price per carat of gemstones. With sterling silver, the bullion market is the bullion market. There are a hundred uh, available literally for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And they will go back to £7.99 as part of our essential collection. Oh, Ross. Yeah. Better than half price. I'm stocking up on some of these. You, because the I base get... metal in places would be more than that. That's, that's incredible. I went on, um, you know, the auction site. That yes. auction site the other day. Um, last night, wasn't it, Ross? And I showed you the photo this morning. Um, because there's a few components that I need to get hold of that we haven't got currently in stock. So I was like, right, mm -hmm. okay, I'll have to order them from there. Um, silk being one of them. And I was looking at clasps. 
like your vintage class, mm. you know, like I always yes. mention on air. Yeah. Um, and I did see, I stumbled across of your your Boltland class. They're generally speaking about that each mm. on that on that Precious auction metal. side. Yeah. I'm sure you can probably get better deals, but three pound forty nine pence for rose gold plated mm. nine two five sterling silver and ten of them. There are a hundred opportunities available. Are we going to get a slap on the wrist for this? What they don't know can't hurt them, says Ross. That's his answer. <laughs> to be fair, they're not in the they're not they're not in the office as of yet, are they? Hey ho, hey ho. Well done, Linda, Renfusha, Caroline. Hello to you, Helen, Julie, Janice. Hello to you, Tessa, Moira, Jeanette, uh, Lynn, Susan. You're there as well. Lots of you stocking up. Why wouldn't you? At the end of the day, it's something you know you're going to use. You absolutely know that you're going to use them. Uh, use them. So I need to have a little organise of my jewellery making stash because it is all over the place. My little five year old has has, has start messing around in there, and it's chaos. Compl I know exactly. I don't want to discourage her from yes, being creative, yeah. but it's absolute chaos. <laughs> um, and I'm fairly sure I'm short of finding, so um, I'll be I'll be stocking up on those. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Keep adding them to uh, your order with the jadeite that we've got coming up with Claire's gorgeous kits. They'd be absolutely amazing. Um, is it time now for the Sleeping Beauty? Oh wow. Um, so from that depleted location of source, Sleeping Beauty still holds that hierarchy, if you like, in desirability, famed and celebrated for such a pure and vibrant robin egg blue, up next in a star. I just want to read something to you again. This is from my very tatty old notebook that I love. I love dearly. <coughs> Story time, yeah, exactly. I'm no, what's his name? I'm no Tom Harding, but uh, um, I think it's more the gemstone itself that we can, we can uh, enjoy. Sleeping Beauty. From humble beginnings, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise from Arizona has become one of the most influential minds in the world. Discovered by Native Americans and mined by hand uh, during the Anasazi period, Sleeping Beauty is, is the most desirable turquoise mined globally. With very little veining, the demand dramatically escalated for this very reason. Unfortunately, though, the mine closed in autumn 2012 because basically it was mined out. It's named after the lo location. Um, if you've ever seen a, a photograph of the Sleeping Beauty location itself, the backdrop, the actual terrain of the mountains is literally like the Sleeping Beauty character, you know, where she's laying with her, uh, with her hands um, across her waist. It's almost like it has been superimposed. It's just incredible. But still to this day, so over a decade on from the mine closing, this location is always... The, the location that is mentioned first. And I, I experienced that firsthand when I was over in Tucson, um, Arizona, only a month or so ago. You know, you mentioned turquoise, Sleeping Beauty is going to be quickly followed. I had, I had a, a wonderful conversation with, uh, it was actually one of the, it was a German trader um, who specialised in only this location of turquoise. His stand, his stand had guards all the way around it. I mean, they were huge. There were some huge pieces, spheres of Sleeping Beauty turquoise that he was quoting prices like $20,000 uh, for, for one single piece. But this is the quality that Sleeping Beauty actually offered. If you look at this image, you'll notice most people think turquoise, we think about the matrix, don't we? That's what Sleeping Beauty actually offers, that pure, vibrant, vibrant blue. Um, lack of matrix, here we go. Um, and reliable even colouring. Uh, there are currently no plans to mine new turquoise because it is all but mined out. So some decade or so on, uh, has the demand for Sleeping Beauty sort of tapered off? Quite the opposite. Has the price per carat come down? Definitely not. In fact, it's going up. You see this location in still some of the biggest jewellery brands in the world, the likes of Chopard, the likes of Tiffany's & Co, the likes of Van Cleef & Arpels. 
But when Mother Nature seemed to, how, it, how this gemstone was actually produced, it seems always formed in arid locations, so desert locations. That's why Arizona has quite a few different turquoise mines. There it is. You can see Sleeping Beauty herself. But it's where the earth seems to crave uh, the rainfall. That's when you see it almost absorb the blue azure blue from the sky um, and create this fabulous gemstone. Have a little look at that picture. That's so gorgeous. Look how the cloud formation is. That's the colour that you will be getting um, in your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is vibrant. It is delicious. It is matrix free. So you get very little black markings within the gemstone uh, from this location. But it is already gone. It is already gone. So we discussed tanzanite, for example. They say between 15 and 20 years left of mining. We dis discussed Mogok Ruby saying there's less than a decade. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is already gone. It's already deplete. So we should expect to pay a premium. Now, at £129.99, that's already a, a, a fantastic deal. This was what? The only strand that our gemstone buyer here at JM is the only strand of Sleeping Beauty turquoise he's been able to buy this year. Let's just, uh, just, just mm. take that in for a second. We've, well, we're about to step into the fourth month of the year. We'd have bought a lot yeah. between now and yeah. then. We'd have bought showcases. Um, we'd have bought all different shapes and cuts had we had the opportunity. We haven't. And do you want to know why? We can. We can get hold of it but it's so astronomically expensive that this is literally the only strand we've actually physically purchased this year. This is the, jewel, the prices that we can expect Sleeping Beauty Turquoise to fetch and the establishments that we can imagine Sleeping Beauty Turquoise to be within. Pieces, oh, that's, I mean, that's beautiful. The antique Victorian Turquoise Pearl Heart Ring, 995 pounds. Isn't it gorgeous? A little bit more affordable, but it's still almost a grand. How about one of, this is one of the only websites that I could actually find Sleeping Beauty Turquoise with silver. 129 pounds though. It's the price of your strand, but you are basically getting two. Shopard, Tiffany's and Co, Dior, all using this location. And it's easy to understand why it is all about that beautiful robin egg blue, uh, blue and the minimal matrix that you've got matrix, don't get me wrong, but it's minimal, isn't it? We're not even stopping here. So that one purchase, the sole purchase of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise that we've made this year, you might be thinking, OK, but yeah, you've bought loads, haven't you? You've got like 200 of them. No, we've got 36. That's it. 36 of you will be successful in this, in a classic graduated strand. The only round, the only Sleeping Beauty strand we physically bought this year. Should we go straight down to it? Are you loving this, Claire? Yes. Always love it. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely love it now. <gasps> what would you do with this strand? I would not. I, again, I'd not that. I would just, I'd just keep it, I'd keep it really simple because I just think it's beautiful though, that graduation, it's just, uh, you know, it's uh, maybe not overwork it at all. I agree. Well, if you look at all of these designs mm. with turquoise, they are, they do tend to be quite simple. It's simple lines, they? isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's shop art, here yeah. we go. Yeah. Look at that. It's Two. about that colour, isn't it? Yeah. That's the focus. It's really, really simple. Yeah. Um, it's not, no fine filigree work. Here we go. There's another one. Three grand. Three grand. Mm. It's a slice as well. It's not even yeah. a big, big three, you know, uh, faceted stone. It's a slice. But again, I mean, an inlay. Yeah. If you if you were going to, um, you know, if you're if you're selling on, and you need that strand to say maybe go further because of that vibrancy of colour. You you could have maybe a, a little uh, bubble cluster, couldn't you, of maybe uh, three or five of them. So you'd have movement. Um, you'd have several of the of the turquoise on there. But it's still that incredible colour. And with all of your whatever whatever metal you put it with. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, I think that's the that's the fabulous thing with turquoise, isn't it? Especially that sort of turquoise. Totally turquoise. agree. And the fact that this yeah. isn't is it is actually in rounds is another thing yes. to celebrate because yeah. Yeah. you saw an image earlier on about how tur turquoise forms. It forms in veins that mm. carve its way down the mountain front itself. Um, but if you look at this image, 
You think now, why is it normally in slices? Mm. Because you're, you're, you're capitalizing on that carrot weight there from the actual veins themselves. When you start cutting rounds um, out of those very slender veins as well, you mm. lose a lot. So it tends to be quite expensive. Look at that. Do you see what I mean? It's the locations where the earth seems to crave some mm. form of rainfall. That's when you get this beautiful, amazing. beautiful blue. It is amazing. It's incredible to see it like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, forty nine ninety nine. This is a strand that should have stayed at the price um, previously. If you want to make the most beautiful turquoise earrings, then we have these. Uh, we have these to bring you. Nine two five sterling silver. Look, just wrap loop one of the rounds on the bottom of those. Aren't they pretty, Claire? Yes, they're really nice. They'd be nice with the pearls as well. That they'd be. Yeah. They're great earring findings. And with the jade eye. I'm just going to pop yeah, one of these yeah. in. Studio samples, so don't worry. Um, but look how elegant these are. Oh, yes, they are. Aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Look how gorgeous they are. Now, just one of your, a gemstone of your choice at the bottom because you've got a little loop there, very discreet little loop. There are, they are limited, though, so you need to be quite quick checking these out. We are into single figures. People have been shopping ahead. East Sussex, Lynn, Karen, Pauline, Caroline, Wendy, Kaz, Patricia. Uh, we've got some lovely chains to bring you as well if you are inspired. Make sure you check out because we're massively over allocated on those. Um, we've got sterling, oh, we've, sorry, we've got base metal chains to bring you now, um, but with variety. They are close to selling out. So, from your curb, see if I can get this right. Yeah, your curb to your, uh, to your long paper link, or long link we've described it as. Uh, you've got your Figaro, 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 Figaro. Uh, then you've got your Belcher, um, and you've also got your Singapore. There we go, Singapore. So a nice little uh, little variety of your uh, base metal chains. Each one is a metre long length, so you can customise it. I'm thinking anklets, Claire. These are great, aren't they? I don't think I've seen these. These are brilliant. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Base really? metal. Yeah, yeah. So f more affordable. That's five metres for £14.99. pence. Make Brilliant. sure you check it out because we don't have any of those. The last auction of your viewer's choice are the Labradorite, the Heathcliff gemstone. Do you see why I always think that? Mm, it's a bit like, yeah, a bit moody, isn't it? Edgy and moody. Moody and mm. broody, but also quite romantic. Yeah, very beautiful. I, 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 when I was uh, doing my GCSEs, I, I remember studying Wuthering Heights oh. and I remember writing something about about Heathcliff and he has got that he's so passionately in love isn't he so yeah I know that's what I always see when I look at uh, look at ta uh, Labradorite sorry because you from the exterior it's this dark magical gemstone dark and mysterious and a little bit moody but then you just catch it in the right angle you'll see this beautiful aurora borealis uh, labradorescence radiate uh, from within this I agree with you Ross Ross has just said this is some of the best labradorite that he's actually seen faceted oh. beautifully um, yeah to showcase that magical phenomena effect um, that occurs within this gemstone it still is we don't actually have much labradorite these days but it still is a firm favorite with mm. our viewers isn't it yeah yeah we don't see it very often that's a great shape for it isn't it, it really accentuates the the phenomena of Labradorite, that's wonderful. Oh, lovely. And again, quite versatile in terms of, mm. you know, it can be teamed with something delicate like your pearls, but it mm. can also be maybe something that could be quite deemed as quite masculine, yes. as we said yeah. earlier on. Yeah. Uh, very versatile. £24.99, pence, and we are no way near your, uh, your viewer's choice saving. This is the closing auction of your viewer's choice hour, so make sure you make your confirmations. Should we make sure it's a special one? Yes. Yeah. Big Labradorites from £24.99. The graduation is there to a single figure price, £9.99. See, one of those, you could take that fancy shape on if you've got the, the base metal chains. They'd be great um, pendants, wouldn't they? Yeah. Set up a whole stall. Yeah. That. yeah. I mean, that was what, £14.99? For the price that it was meant to be, this strand, you, you could get the chains yeah. to go alongside it. Yeah. Just one, on one of the Labradorites, you have nice movement mm -hmm. again, that, that great shape. Should we give some money back? Yeah, why not? <laughs> what a wallet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or 
like Beatrix. <laughs> Not 9.99. How many have we got then, Ross? Starting with 80. Ah, Pauline's multi bought. Nola, Tracy, Hello to Angela, Susan, Karen, Moira, Carolyn, new customers, Alwyn. We have what? Oh, You've got lovely. seconds to get the tanzanite. You need to be quick. If it's in your baskets, it's not going to stay there. Not because it's necessarily... Well, no, it will sell out. Uh, but also, it's viewer's choice. So everything disappears from the system in this hour. You have to check out if you've got your heart set on it. Nobody is paying 9 99 Hello, Jill. Hello, Paula. Hello to Nina. Hello to Susan. The graduation, again, I'm thinking as a, as a twist on your malas or your long line knotted necklaces. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. What are you doing? Oh, these are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Tiny movement. You're seeing all those flashes of the different colours. Blues. Wonderful. Yeah, gold. Greens. <gasps> $7.99. Wow. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I'd, I'd actually That's use very, this very potato. good, isn't it? Yeah, and look how, you know, when you put them with the round, they're going to pop out, really pop, aren't they? Yes, that's very nice. Yeah. And then I'd do a pearl tassel that you're going to show yes. us in the next hour. Yes. Well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be very nice. Do you like that? Yeah. Stay where you are. We're going to do the deal of the day. <laughs> Wall of Fame. Okay, the Wall of Fame, the other side of this very short break. Those amazing kits with Clara coming up. You've actually got an extra 10 minutes to get hold of these. Naughty, naughty, Ross. Um, but stay tuned because, like I said, massive show today. Gorgeous kits coming up with Clara in the next hour. And Dave with your master cars, uh, carved type AJ die. We'll be back after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you all to join me on Tuesday for this incredible Jadeite Masterpiece Collective. Um, during this incredible showcase, you'll be hearing from our Jadeite vendors on the challenging landscape that we now find ourselves in and why going forward, these impressive opportunities that we're able to bring you are going to disappear. There's just a handful of goods that we'll be bringing you at incredible closeout deals and I think you'll agree when you see the material, it's the finest we've ever had. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know? Um, you know Alan. Alan's one of our one of our our, our amazing best editors. People. Yeah, and he is one of the best. He was the one that was strategically lay across the Shears launch. For <laughs> can we just show these? Um, this is. Can we just show? Well, this is your wife that's made them, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a little little marshmallow people. Yeah. Look at those. Can you see this, Luce? <laughs> How clever. <laughs> How That's so clever. funny. That's so funny. She's genius. She's genius. She? Yeah. So. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Lots of the marshmallow men being handed around. <laughs> Keep dialing through <laughs> for the last hour. Is that the, all right? Thank you. The graphics. You better share him. The graphics <gasps> are about to be uh, to be taken out for the tanzanite, that labradorite, those amazing pearls. And speaking of, I feel really low down. Speaking of amazing pearls, um, that's better. Claire, your kits are gorgeous. I know. <sighs> I know. You don't want this, do you? Do you know? You know when you make a piece of jewellery and you, and you do it like, I love this. Oh. I think, I think. Don't share it. I <laughs> she goes again. <laughs> it's art, oh, Claire. This is so beautiful. It's really lovely, isn't it? So but you've knotted these? Yes, so, yeah. So they're knotted and then, yeah. I mean, the amount of pearls that you get in the kit is amazing. The pearls are beautiful. Oh. And then such, such clever, really, really clever components that fi the findings are. Yeah, because that's adjustable because it's a clasp. Yeah, it, it, really, really well thought out. And, and uh, so they do a great job and really beautiful, really, really beautiful. I love this piece. Absolutely amazing. Now, it's coming up in a few moments' time. But first, the Wall of Fame. How could I forget that? I'm so sorry. Uh, starting us off this morning, it is Abby, your number 210. Lovely wire work here, Abby. Oh, very nice. Um, hi, all. Ooh, that's lovely. Heavy, too, my sister said when I gave her this eight millimeter, uh, sorry, eight gemstone pendant inspired by Caro. I hope you like it. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all the waffers. Thanks, JM, for helping us bring smiles to our loved ones with lots of love from Abby. Oh, Abby, that's, that's nice. beautiful. 211 is from Sandra. Morning, Sandra. Ah, oh, stunning. Apps. I love the blue lace. Here's my entrance to the wall, uh, entry to the Wall of Fame. Uh, I made a jet square wire wrapped pendant. Oh, thank you, uh, for one of your uh, from one of your strands, and added some silver chain loops to make a pendant. Uh, the other is a wire wrapped blue lace agate matching bracelet, which is half wrapped and half linked. I hope you like it. Good luck to all entering. Much love to you all. Two hundred twelve is from Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Oh. Wow, look at Oh, that. that's lovely, isn't that's it? Look beautiful at all the colours. It's rosary linked, is it? Yes. That's Amazing. Very nice. Loving the colours, very opulent. Mm. Uh, the necklace in this week's entry is made with black agate chips, white dolomite chips, and gold colour pyrite. Uh, I had to use 0.6 wire to fit through the holes, so the rosary link is, is a bit flimsy for my taste. Um, I love it. The pendant is the chips wired into an extra large jump ring and covered with resin. Good luck to everybody That's entering clever. the WAF this week and thanks to all at JM. Isn't that amazing? It's really Bit of a multi-mediums there. Uh, number 213 is from Denise. Good morning to you, Denise. Oh, Ooh, beautiful. That's beautiful, isn't it? 
<coughs> Good morning. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week, consisting of both aquamarine rounds and faceted stones, coupled with rose gold sterling silver. This was a present for a gentleman's wife, uh, and he was unsure of which length she would prefer. So I went for a lariat style so she could adjust, uh, adjust it. Uh, good luck to all, hoping for a win, as I now need to replenish my aquamarine stocks. Um, fingers crossed, then, D. Number 214 is from Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Ah, look at that. Wow. It looks like it's been photographed on a beach. Isn't that amazing? Hi, it's all. Amazing, isn't it? Look at those pearls. They are incredible. This is a present I made my mum. Beautiful pearl knotted necklace. I really enjoy pearl knotting. Thank you for teaching me. That, that I mean, that, that's high-end jewellery straight away. It is, isn't it? Amazing. If you love pearl knotting, I hope you're watching right now then, Vivian. 215 is from Trisha. Hello to you, Trisha. Um, always beautiful makes from you. Yes, amazing. Bit of uh, chain mail. Uh, dear jewellery maker, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a Byzantine triangle bracelet with an aquamarine cubes. I hope you like it, kind of guards, and that's from Trisha. Number 216 is from Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful, sweet. Springtime colours. Spring it? fresh yeah. colours. Uh, hi all at JM. Thought I'd send you uh, a picture of my latest make. It's jadeite strands from Jewelry Maker with gold-plated sterling silver findings. Um, loving that, Jenny. Absolutely beautiful. 217 is from Hayley. Hello to you, Hayley. Wow. Ooh, Love it. Beautiful. Please see my attached entry for the Wall of Fame. The Labyrite connector is fabulous. Uh, and I just added a tassel from uh, a topaz head pin and some broken chain from my stash. Good luck to everybody. And that's from Hayley. What a good idea. Mm. There we go. Recycling. 218 is from Katie. Hello, Katie. Oh, look at those colours. I love snowflake Stunning, obsidian yeah. and we hardly ever see it. Hello, everybody. My entry this week is a long line knotted necklace made using snowflake obsidian. Uh, it features both nuggets and rounds, uh, and it is knotted with black thread. Hope you like it. We certainly do. Lovely photography as well, isn't it? Very pretty. The little strategically dotted pearls as well. Uh, last but by no means least, we have Gail. Hello, Gail. You're number 219. Oh, very bridal. Beautiful. Please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame, South Sea Pearls in a necklace, bracelet and earrings. The 12 pearls were from Charlie Barron's show. All products from JM. I'm keeping these for myself. Ooh, uh, good luck to you. all the uh, that enter the Wall of Fame and that's from Gail. I don't blame you, Gail. Mm. I would too. That's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. And fingers crossed for the draw. Now, if you do love amazing pearls... <laughs> this necklace is stunning, Claire. And you're going to show us how to make this, right? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. The, the, the amount of pearls that you get in this kit. I'm not sure I've had pearl, that many pearls for... Or maybe once in a birthday kit, I think. Six strands. Yeah, yeah. And sterling and silver. How, and how lovely. I mean, the, the, the pearls in the, the main part of the necklace are exquisite, but I loved having those, the smaller. Because you don't yeah. often see those. Do, do we? Don't and the sterling... You know, the, the sterling silver means you can create these beautiful tassels. Well, it's a, it's it's it, the, that's what I mean. The, those the, the findings, those components are so clever, so so clever. It does look quite jubilee. Yes, it's quite regal, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. In that in that gorgeous crown. Yeah. Uh, so not only are you getting this amazing component, which you can see there is what Claire has uh, threaded her tassel onto, but if you cast your eyes back up here, this is actually a clasp, isn't it, Claire? Yes, yeah. So the that open and opens and closes, yeah. you've got a lovely parve set feather, uh, parve set feather, but then if I show you the reverse as well, you'll see it literally clips together like this. That's amazing. Isn't it lovely? Gorgeous. Ooh. I want this kit. I want this kit and I'm, I'm going to copy your that. design. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. But how many strands did we say? Six? Yeah. Six strands yeah, yeah. of beautiful pearls. Imagine this at, in Tiffany's, let's be honest, because it is the kind of, uh, kind of piece of jewellery that you can imagine. Mm. Well, yeah. without all the pearls going around, the rope of pearls going around the neckline, this olive leaf pearl tassel necklace, gorgeous, £4,000. Now, I know that's gold. I know it's gold, but... 
The main feature is the actual tassel, and it's very similar, isn't it? Very, very similar. £4,000 or as one of your components that you create from the kit, mm. from the kit itself. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love this piece of jewellery. Now, natural coloured, yeah, freshwater pearls, not dyed, graduating from six to eight millimetres, totally natural. Here's the strands, they're premiering. I can't believe the price of this kit then. This with the Jadeite show that's coming up mm. in the 10 o'clock hour. Brand new. Oh. Um, cubic zirconia and sterling silver clasps. Never been seen before. So you get both of those. Look how gorgeous they are. And then four strands of these amazing seed pearls, which I just love. They create so much texture, don't they? Mm. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Did you just hear what Russ said? Yeah, and I, yeah. I completely agree. Ross has just said this is one of the nicest kits he's seen. Mm. I totally, totally agree with you there, Ross. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is. It's, it's. It's one of those. It's like a. You know. It's. It's, it's falling in love with. Like I said, there's a piece of jewellery at the end of it, but it's also the individual components in, in the kit. You know, every every strand in there, every the findings that you've got, they're just perfection. So so clever. It's, I mean, what you've made is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. It, it, and it's, and it's um, I would say it's, um, how can I put it? It, uh, it, it? Sometimes you'll get projects where you're doing lots and lots and lots of different techniques. This one is more, uh, fewer techniques, I would say, more repetitive. You just take your time with it, which is actually a really nice... It's quite mindful. Isn't yeah, it's a yeah. nice, pro really lovely project. But I would also think with this as well, you can make this amazing long line necklace. But you also think just how many other pieces of jewellery, you know, you... If you were if more you wanted, scrupulous Yeah, if you, if you pearls, weren't going to have it as, as, you know... As indulgent. Yes, yeah. Do you want to know how many we have of this kit? Um, 75. That's it. I'm sorry. They're, they're naturally coloured pearls, so it was always going to be a limited quantity. And you get two strands of the naturally coloured pearls, yeah. those brand new sterling silver components, and four strands of the seeds, uh, the seed pearls as well. Now... Oh my goodness me. Start dialing through as soon as you possibly can if you've got your heart set on owning these because really we're taking it to the price of one of those naturally colored pills. The, I wish I had I wish I had 275 of this kit yeah. or 375 of this kit because then I would absolutely say I'm joining you on it. Definitely, I mean, we've taught pearl knotting in the past. You can look that up, you know, watch back um, on our YouTube channel. I love that regal tassel top. If that, or you could be a top of a class, couldn't it, if you wanted to create multi strands? Yeah, this, I, that's, I think that's the thing because the, the, those components are so clever. Um, you know, you, you, you could do... Uh, you could do a, a much shorter if you did, if you didn't want it. You could have like a multi strand mm. um, and, and work them in slightly different ways. There, that, that, because they're so they're really clever. They so they look incredibly sleek like that, don't they? Where we're seeing them from the front, uh, but then because you've got so many connecting points, yeah, there's loads you can do with them. Loads and loads you can do with them, and that to me is that. What a great finding, really clever. Well, you said, uh, it was said in the Wall of Fame earlier on, wasn't it? it? Didn't know what length, so went for the lariat, which is basically what you've done here, isn't yeah, it? You, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. adjustable yeah. because you've put the actual clasp. Yes, you, you change it. You can, that can be moved up and down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, two strands of naturally coloured uh, pearls measuring six to eight millimetres, plus then you get four strands um, of your beautiful little seed pearls and uh, they're at three to four millimeters in their size brand new sterling silver tassel connector brand new sterling silver leaf clasp um, the only the only negative really is the fact that we do not have enough of these to go around unfortunately 75 are available that's it I love the fact that here if I actually just pull this back a little bit and you can see at the uh, so at the top at the bottom of the tassel you've got the larger colored pearls because you've got you've got so many you've got so many of them 
I mean, oh. you could, you know, it, it'd still be, it, it'd be still be, a, a, you know, an amazing pearl tassel, wouldn't it, if you didn't have that? But I just, you know, you're getting so many because you've got those two, those two lovely strands. I do like that. I think, I think with the tassel, I think it does work. It does. Sort of like that weight at the end. Of well, that's what Tiffany's has done as well, haven't they? Yeah. They've put, they've yeah. put, um, so sort of those large pills at the bottom there, so you can actually, uh, I suppose, it helps with the weight of them mm. too, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I wish I had more. I wish I had more of this kit. It's gorgeous. If there are any left, it's a, it's a big if, though. Um, I'd be joining you. £599.99. pence. Considering that there are two strands of naturally coloured pearls, that's feasible. Considering you are getting four strands of your, uh, of your seed pills and those lovely sterling silver components, split pay is available. Susan and Brian, Sarah, Eleanor, Lorraine. Well done, Lorraine. Multi-buying, I, I would too. I would too. Hmm. Spit, uh, yeah, you can get spit pay. <laughs> split pay for £49.99. pence. That's the price of one of these strands. That's the price yeah. of one pearl. Because yeah. they're natural. They're not bleached and dyed. They are naturally coloured. So then when you, when you think about that, that how in, the, the work that has gone into, again, matching a, 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 a strand like that... Mm -hmm. Because even, even if you, you know, maybe you went for a slightly um, shorter length and you wanted to maybe do um, earrings, you know, you Sweet. could, and yeah, and so maybe a not a bracelet as well. You know, you think, so you, you take those um, three, the three colours on a, on a head pin. Yeah, that'd be, that, I mean, that'd be gorgeous pendant. Yeah. You know, earrings, loads and loads you can do. No, absolutely. Loads. The potential, the potential yeah. of these. And look, I'm looking into the, uh, the photograph you are right now. They're colour matched as well. Can you see? Literally yeah, adjacent perfect. to one another. Perfectly yeah. colour matched. Yeah. So we spoke about stud earrings earlier on. They were naturally coloured filled, as is, as is the two strands. Two strands that you're getting here. Yeah. Um, absolutely amazing. Gabrielle, Nicolette, Susan and Brian, Angela, Pauline, East Sussex, Sarah, Eleanor, Lorraine, uh, Nicolette, you're there. I've also got Maria, Angela, Dorothy, <clears throat> Karen, Christina. New customer wanting five of these kits. If you do check out... Kathy, Caroline, you're there as well. Angela in Buckinghamshire, if you want that too. Uh, quantity again, check out those baskets. We only had 75. Um, Anita, you're there as well. If there's any of this kit left, I'm going to get it and I'm totally going to replicate what you've, uh, you've created. So the sterling silver alone, just for these two components, they would be £29.99. Oh, each. Yeah, because they are. I mean, they're stunning, aren't they? If you look at them like that, they're beautiful, simple shapes. But like I say, I think it's that, that, you know, that the engineering side at the back of it is so clever. It's a really lovely clasp. And then you've got a big connector there mm -hmm. um, that, you, you know, you could put an awful lot onto. And, you, you know, um, you can see as well how many, you know, you could go up to maybe if you've got some, um, you wanted to add, I don't know, if you've got keshis or something like that, because of the way that clasp is, um, you know, it's going to sit. It's going to sit really well there. Well, as you well. could you could create a multi with strand. Smaller ones, yes. Couldn't you? Yeah. And gather it together with yeah. this too. Yeah. You know, use it almost like a you know like we would do with our curtain tie backs. You yes. know, create a, yeah. a swag of pearls. I mean, that's such an elegant, isn't it? Ele really, really elegant, elegant design. So beautiful. You know that little tassel top on its own. That's twenty four ninety nine. I beg your pardon. And then the leaf is twenty nine ninety nine. And you get a little jump ring as well with that tassel. Oh, do you? Top, don't you? Yes. Oh, here yeah, we go. That comes, that comes in, in with the um, with yeah. the tassel top. Yeah. Half the stock's gone. And that is not your kit price. A big price crash. We're not talking about ten percent. Not even twenty percent. A big price crash coming your way, and we're still keeping the split pay in. That would be amazing, though, wouldn't we? But listen, why do we do this? We have to manage the, you know, the volume of calls. You get two of your multicolored, naturally multicolored pearls. Two strands. Here we are. There, there they are. You get both of those. And then four strands of your white three to four millimeter seed pearls. In total, six strands of cultured pearls 
and then you get the sterling silver components. In 18 seconds, we are going to drop that price. Any questions that you have for Claire, feel free to message us because we are live. There we go. There's the two that I was talking about that are naturally colored. So you get, you're guaranteed those two and you're guaranteed four of your seed pills, which I love and we really ever get. I know. I was thinking about really ever. Thinking, I can't remember the last the last time I saw them and they are they are lovely, aren't mm. they? Really, They're really lovely. challenging to drill. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody pays the final low, regardless of when you decided to make your purchase. <gasps> Squeezing it under hundred pounds. Remember the tassel top should be twenty-five. This one should be thirty uh, thirty pounds. <clears throat> Twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. I mean, these are naturally coloured, natural, and then you're getting four strands of your seed pearls. You'd never in your wildest dreams imagine this necklace to be a hundred pound. Never in your wildest dreams. No. And that's basically no. what it is right now. Yeah. That's <gasps> Lincolnshire's just bought three. Don't blame you, yeah. I would as well. Anita's just bought two. Tracy, Dorothy, Susan, Claire, you can still get hold of it on your split pay as well at £33.33. And 33 pence. Uh, Charlotte, well done to you, Susan, Cambridgeshire, hello Claire, Surrey, Heather, Maria, Gabrielle, uh, Tracy in London. Uh, and, and if you do replicate this piece, please send it into the Wall of Fame because oh. it's, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, but there were only 75 of the kids, so <clears throat> I've got Gorgeous. a little froggy oh, in my throat here. Have you? <clears throat> there we go. I think, yeah, this is one of my, my one of my favourite. The kids today what, are all some time? of my favourite. Yeah, I think so. It, I think because it's um it's just got it's, it's a real like beauty and elegance it is beautiful. to it. Every single component is you know, it has been lovely to work with. Yeah. Really, really lovely. I love it when when it, when even like uh, the guys in the gallery also go, oh, God, it's beautiful, you know, elegant. When they start saying that, you know you have, yeah. you, you, you've, you've struck gold really yes. in your design. Um, oh, look. Oh, at look, yes, yeah, see, that's beautiful as well, isn't it? <gasps> that's, Gosh, look at that. a lot of pearls that you're getting. Oh, that's lovely, Al, look at that. I mean, <gasps> all for 99 99 plus you're getting that amazing oh. sterling silver. I mean, there's an alternative for you. Uh, there's an alternative. Half the, well over half the stock has gone, actually, and we've got loads of you with it still in your baskets. Um, good luck. This is the, I'll tell you how many we have left. 22. Mm. Um, which means Cambridgeshire, 58 of you with it on the phone lines and on the web. Maker, Maker, Janet, Angela in Surrey, Angela in Buckinghamshire, Dorothy in Lanarkshire, Karen, Christina. There's an anonymous maker who wants seven. You will need to check out because there's only 19 available. Uh, Buckinghamshire, Susan in Warwickshire. I can see you there on the phone lines. Press your option one and speak to our call centre. Hello to you, Ida. You've got yours. Lanarkshire's just bought two. Norfolk, Tyne and Ware. Nancy in Bristol. One is, oh, I can't, but I, I'm, I'm, I am jealous. that you, mm. I love this kit. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I agree with you. One the classiest kits I think we've actually brought yes, to wear. Yes, yes, yeah. One of the classiest kits and one of the classiest pieces of jewellery, Claire. Oh, thanks very much. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. I loved, it, I loved making it. I really, really did. And it's knotting, isn't it? Yeah, so that, it, it's, uh, I think that's, um, you're thinking about the construction of it, but because, like I say, because those, the, um, the components, the, those bindings are, are so clever, just everything flows so there's not um and don't get me wrong i like problem solving in in projects i love that but there isn't any of, of that you? in this it's just the whole thing yeah i do i hate problem solving oh no i like that but i like it if it you know you solve the problem i mean if if you don't solve it then it's frustrating, frustrating. but this is i think because they they you know they just the, the, those two components are so clever that's absolutely beautiful and again adjustable because you've used the clasp yeah. Almost to sort of secure yeah. um, that anchor point yeah. within the yeah. lariat itself. Yeah. Oh, oh, Claire. Yes. Does that mean that this, hang on, let me just figure it out. You could wear it like a scarf, couldn't you? Yeah. So you could undo to, that. Yeah. So, so that's the other, the other great thing is that the, the, the um, attachments that you've got on it, on that class, and I'll show you when I, when I start it off. So if you don't want to, it, because you've got a lot of pearls on there. So the, the great thing with that, that uh, <coughs> class <laughs> is that it's a, a really secure closed loop. Yeah. So you can add jump rings if you want to, but if you want to be <laughs> absolutely sure, you know, that, um, you, you know, um, 
it's going to be really, really secure because the weight of the pearls. That's why that clasp is so clever because it's got that really thick uh, it's, connector. It's pronounced, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So you can get lots of attachments in it if you wanted to, either your, you know, your wire guardians or if you wanted to add in jump rings there. But yes, yeah, so you could have a scarf. You could have it because um, the weight of it would fall at the back, wouldn't it? So yeah, can you see, can you see what I mean? That's, that's a lot clearer now. That's what if you have a look at that uh, the loop on there, it's really really solid uh, sterling silver. Nothing's going to come out of that. So if you're working with that alongside your wire guardians, you know, because don't forget, there's a lot of pearls there. It's, yeah, it's a it's a it's, it's going to be very very secure. Amazing. Very secure. Absolutely amazing. Well Beautiful. done, everybody. Absolutely That's stunning. Lovely. Um, limited, we're down to the final 10. Christine in London's bought two. Kathleen, Annette, Hannah, Susie. Uh, <coughs> That's guest designer Susie, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, of course it is. Susie. Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't? It's a very Susie. It is a very, yeah. Yeah, very Susie piece. Yeah. Uh, Nancy, Ida, Lanarkshire, Cambridgeshire, lots of multi buyers. Uh, lovely designs, Claire. What's the total length, please, says, Ooh, says Maria. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Uh, have we got the... Um, I've got a... Uh, have we got the big... Uh, no. Big ruler. Might have a smaller one. There's only seven of these kits left now. Um, we have got another kit to bring you. I'm going to say approximately a metre. I'd say about a metre end to end. Long, maybe a little bit more. What do you think? Uh, Try and find the ruler. Well, hold that, hold that thought, Maria. Well, Hannah, hold that here. thought. Here we go. Claire's dusty ruler. Dusty ruler. <laughs> <laughs> what a woman! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh while I'm trying to do maths. That's, that's not oh, a yeah, good. Def I definitely right. shouldn't. No. To do so maths. there's thirty. 30 yeah. Oh. Sixty. It'll be the next one. Sixty. It is. It is about. It's about. It's about a meter. Uh, yeah. So yeah, what? yeah. It's about yeah. just shy of a meter. So how beautiful! <laughs> how beautiful! Claire. So yeah, so you get an idea there. So what it? That's what it oh, would. Oh yeah, show us it on. So that's what it would look like if you. There's five of this kit left. It's gorgeous, Claire. Oh my eyesight's so bad. Shocking. There we are. Look at that. And so you could, you could as well have it. Um, you could have it like that, or you could have it to the. Asymmetrically. Yeah, couldn't you? To the side, like that. There we are. Oh, where's Claire gone? <laughs> Why does nobody shout that when Claire puts pearls on? Is it just me? Is it only, is it only me that's, that gets that treatment? Where's Claire gone? I'd say, how rude is that? Is what, because of suddenly very elegant and... That's what they say it to me for. I oh, know. The cheap. What a pair of Rudy's. I know. Rudy's at the next kit. Now... Beautiful pearls. There's oh. five left of the previous kit. Gorgeous, Claire. Yeah, Absolutely lovely. gorgeous. Yeah. Cultured pearls. Ah, oh, again, all about that pure, classic white pearl. Look at the luster on these. They're like silk. Mm. Oh, sterling silver, little spacer beads. Then we have a different variety but one of your little toggles. Let me grab the tweezers for that to show you because where have they gone? Where have they gone? I've, I've lost my tweezers, but I've gained a marshmallow man, <laughs> which I'm quite happy about. Oh, thank you. Um, look at this. <laughs> Did you hear Ross <laughs> there? Ross just went, oh, I've never had marshmallows before. I've, I've only ever been as exotic as a flump. <laughs> oh, the, the attention to detail on this. They are, there. yeah. They've got the parve setting on the bale. And again, if I just, you can see uh, there's like a cross underneath, hidden underneath, parve setting all the way around, full 360. I'd be adding this to the first kit, actually, because mm. yeah. um, you can make different versions. Yeah. Still not done because you also have. Um, some beautiful monochrome rutile cords. So very Chanel, this kit. Very, very yeah, Chanel. So but these will make the tassels, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. This is the, the tassel part. Um, well, potentially, it's entirely up to you. And maybe drawing down to the bottom of the pearl. So if you wanted to make the Tiffany's and Co. piece. Yes, you could do, couldn't you? Yeah. You could do this with that, this kit. Yeah. And like you say, the monochrome would be, be stunning, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Did you not get given this kit? No. No, I didn't. Oh, no? No. Because I can imagine this on maybe the Infinity Sterling Silver Chain to, yes. to replicate what you've done yes. with your coloured pills yeah. here. And then you make the... And then the, you make the tassel out of yeah, the gemstones nice. coming up. Nice. That's what I'm visualising. Um, plus, you've got sterling silver little spacer beads to get in there as well. Um, now, the kit quantity of this one. Oh, we've got 150. I'd love to see the tassels on the Wall of Fame. Should we do something extra special? Extra special. That's cubic zirconia. Can we? That's cubic zirconia in sterling silver. Sterling silver spacers, which you get, they're 2 million in size and you get 40 of them. Uh, 925 precious metal, genuine white freshwater culture pills. These are 7 by 8 mil. And then your lovely monochrome black rutile quartz, which are 2 millimeters full, 38, uh, 32 centimeters strand. So, yeah, I mean, imagine that Tiffany's and Co., but you've got your rutile build making the actual tassel and then the pearls at the bottom. Or a bracelet as well might be lovely, mightn't it? Oh, go so on. You, yeah, go on, tell not, us more. Not your pearls. I'd maybe think, yeah, not your pearls. Gosh, that's good, isn't it? £34.99. pence. Yeah, so I think I'd not the pearls, and you'd have enough, and you'd have extra for earrings as well. Then I'd have the uh, the black rutile as the, uh, the main part of the tassel, probably with the sterling silver spacers at the end. Mm. And so you'd have, I mean, that, again, what great jewellery, you know, like a tassel bracelet. Unbelievable. Lovely movement as well. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got big quantity of these. Remember, we were saying in the previous kit, the actual tassel top itself should be twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, it's very, very clever, and the detail on it is 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 beautiful, isn't it? Really, really lovely. And you think about tassels, the gemstone tassels, you know, pearl tassels. You know, they're so. I just think they're lovely, lovely. Ah, oh, beautiful, really. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, Susie made me um, an incredible jade item pearl oh, she's necklace. Lovely, isn't she's she? One of the sweetest souls. Yeah, she is. And I wore it out on Friday night. Um, the amount of people that that commented oh, on that nice. necklace, yeah, um, because of the pearl tassel yeah. and everything. It just, yeah. yeah, so many people mentioned it. Uh, they're all the rage at the moment, mm, absolutely yeah. everywhere. But you have to pay for them. Shall we take this kit? Bear in mind, I've just told you the tassel top, the sterling silver component alone, should be £24.99 on its own. We're going to take the whole kit. We have got a big quantity, a nice little bolt-on, if you like, to the previous kit, or if that was maybe not within budget, then something. You could be making tassels too, because we're going to take this kit under £20. Wow. Uh, Caroline's saying this kit's to make a bracelet. Oh, there we are. There we go. Yeah, but we could do tassels if we wanted. You're the designer. $19.99. That's a saving off the tassel top, your genuine cultured pearls, and your black rutile quartz, and the sterling silver spacer beads, basically for free. That's a... That's Gorgeous. a big deal. We've got a big quantity yeah, of them, though, that's, haven't that's we? That's fabulous. What would you do with this kit? I would. That's that's. that's You'd make the I'd bracelet. I'd make that bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would look amazing. It would. Absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, and the tassel tops are they easy to work with? Yes. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'll show you. I'm going to show you how to work with the clasp if you haven't, because I hadn't worked with a clasp like that and how to attach into that. Because um, such like a little cross at the bottom yeah if i turn a matrix of wire that you just then you can attach into so i've i've done a couple of um i've used monofilament with mine but you know you could use whatever you, you're beading through nice towards. and strong and it's not it's yeah, tucked away rings, yeah yeah tucked away so it's not going to get exposed yeah. and you know you're not you're not going to create a friction and rub the thread or cord and, and don't forget as well with with um when you've got those uh micro strands like that if, if knotting isn't isn't your thing you, you don't want to um you don't want to knot you know you just you just pop those in between as well yeah. that, that's a nice look and, and when you've got that um you're going to get a very, very different look depending on um, how much you know the the, um, the inclusions are in the gemstone. So it would, it would be very, very striking the darker gemstones in between the pearls, a real contrast. Or some of the the lighter ones again would look very different. So you could, what you'd almost looking. have a little sort out, would yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, lots of you there. Lincolnshire's just bought three. Pauline's bought two. Anita's bought two. D Lynn. 
uh, Pauline, hello to you, uh, Northamptonshire, Sue, Surrey, Ava, hello to you, Eva, sorry, Alwyn, uh, Surrey, you're there as well, Angela, Surrey, so lots of Surrey getting involved, Sue mm. in Somerset, Merseyside, Lorraine, new customer wants two, Cambridgeshire, Tracy, uh, Tracy in Norfolk as well, uh, we had a bigger quantity of this kit, and again, any questions, mm. uh, feel free to message us, because we are live here in the studio, Andrew in London wants three, Caroline, I can see you there in Manchester, Tracy's just bought four, why wouldn't you, I mean, like I said, that, that tassel top itself should be 24 99 mm. look at the detail on it, as yeah. you can see it there it's exquisitely great. encrusted exquisitely encrusted with cubic zirconia any questions text in it's because uh, claire is a fountain of knowledge and talent well no you are who you are. you are you are you are now just before we dive into the demo we have some bicone strands to bring you individually now lots of you have been asking about have we got something available? Have we got the silver components on their own? So what am I doing now? I'm really confused. <laughs> Who's saying it's illegal? Is that Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> Wayne? George is <laughs> off, she's on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> whilst the cat's away the mice will play and all that so those of you that messaged in asked asking for the sterling silver components on their own and there was a message literally live we can show you there's been a few have they oh okay but we'll just show the last one the latest one Wiltshire morning ladies for those of us who already have a large staff stash of pearls can we have some of this type of finding on their own? Only because Wayne is really naughty. Really, really, really naughty. And but you weren't alone, Wiltshire, by the way, asking, uh, asking for your pills. There were lots of, uh, uh, lots, a, a few messages actually that came through. And, and you've been raving about these components, so it's understandable. Mm. We have got bicones to bring you, so maybe you want to create a bicone tassel. Mm. In 60 seconds, how many do we have though? 81 oh. do you know what i'd be getting it as well as the previous kits yeah because i think i think you will want to yeah and you could do yeah. you could do non-pearl versions yes yeah so if you have a look at if you have a look at that one this is one that i'll be using on the demo so you can see there how, <gasps> i mean look at you know it's, oh, it's okay. beautiful isn't it it's not gonna fall off now no 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 though. no it's, there's the silk look there we go so this is part of claire's demo using the bicones so the tassel connector, there is 1.9 grams of sterling silver. That's this one. And then in a silver leaf, you have three grams. So uh, combined together, 4.9 grams of precious metal. And then, of course, the cubic zirconia on top. Um, so there we go. You've asked the question. And if we can deliver, we always will do for you. In two seconds, 81 of these are available. Uh, I think there's going to be people like you, like you, Wiltshire, who are probably thinking, I've already got pearls, or um, I've got other gemstones that I'd like to actually create tassels with. That tassel topper on its own is £24.99. This one, £29.99, normally. But Georgia, who <laughs> is away, she will know nothing about this because she's on her Ollie Bobs. <laughs> I don't think she could actually hate you, Wayne. 81. Half oh, my gosh. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Yeah, look at the so many of you there. <laughs> so many of you. You wanted it. If we can deliver, we absolutely will. But just so you know, and, and this is not to make Georgia out, to bless her out, to be the... Um, uh, <gasps> You know, to be the sergeant major because she really isn't but we wouldn't Ooh. be allowed to do this had georgia not be uh, have been here rather uh wow 39 pounds 99 pence only susan and brian have bought four karen's multi-bought lanarkshire's multi-bought buying four wiltshire i can see you there um oh. hello uh wow claire gorgeous design got mine going to copy yours i would oh, do exactly thanks, the same Liz. Liz. thank you i would do exactly the same has that kit sold out 
80% of those of you on the phone lines and on the web at the moment I'm have multi-bought. Mm. This might be one of the fastest ever JM auctions in terms of time frame. It, what time are we on right now before it sells out? It's about to sell out any minute, any second. Oh, 15 minutes until we bring you uh, your jadeite. You have the beautiful white tiger tooth, which is absolutely incredible. You have that amazing, amazing donut. Um, you also have the strand and you have your floral master carving. These are absolutely exquisite. And I would use them alongside these clasps, definitely, for sure. Um, on the verge of selling out on the verge of, it's pointless putting these in your baskets and just leaving them there um, because they're never going to land on your doorstep if you do that. You have to make that confirmation. Well done, well done, well done, well done. So we'll bring the bicones. So if you have a little look at the tea bar at the front there, you've got aquamarine and these are the ones that Claire's using and also citrine. So if you wanted to create bicone tassels um, or knotting like Claire is, uh, then you can grab those. Those graphics will be introduced throughout the course of the demonstration. So okay. over to you, what are you going to demo? So I'm going to show you, I, I, I did a knotting demo um, a, a couple of weeks ago. I think actually maybe a week on, on Saturday. So yeah. you could look at that on YouTube. So I'm not going to spend too much time knotting. I'll do a couple. But I want to show you how to start the knots and then to finish them and mm -hmm. then how we do the tassel. So to try and get those um, to get those in. So I've got my um, I've got my components here and I've got my uh, I'm going to work with the silk and I'm going to work with the bicone. So I'm going to show you how I start it with the um, to attach directly into the clasp and then um, how we then end it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add in uh, one of the smaller bicones so that's the first thing I'm going to do onto my silk so I have cut the silk down you would use if you're working with your silk you'd use the full length of, of silk but just for um so it's a little bit easier what gauge of silk is this this is um 0.6 okay yeah six mil so I'm then going to use a um uh, one of the wire guardians and that's going to go on next and then back through so this is if so you'd be doing it like this if you want to have it directly into the class which i quite like because i didn't want to see too much um uh i didn't want to have too much like too many um jump rings or other findings into this i really wanted to make the most of that that nice really secure class but what we need to do is we need to pop that on so let's just pop that through here so that's going into this so before we start anything, because obviously, so we've got, if we think about our, as always, open and closed uh, links and loops, we've got our closed loop here, lovely and strong. And this is about to be, although it's open at the moment, it's now gonna be a closed loop there. So that's gone in. Then I'm gonna go take the needle and go through. There we are. That's gonna go through there and bring this down so that is how you would then and then I'm going to tie my first knot so this is how you would start it so and then I'll hold this up and we can see how lovely and secure that is okay so that now let's make sure that we've got that so it's nice and neat I'm just going to pinch that a little bit so that's gone in there so if we now look how secure closed loop uh, sterling silver closed loop with that guardian now and the bicone there so I've got that you could also if you wanted to do multi strands obviously you could get lots of guardians uh, or jump rings uh, if you wanted to into that into that so you can see how that's going to go so then we could start um, knotting so you keep knotting all the way down so if I then swap to this one so I can then show you how you then and we can see a couple of knots as well now so if we look that's what we've just done so we've done our first one and we've knotted in between okay and so i'm coming towards the end i've knotted all the others i'm coming to the end so now what i want to think about is i'll do a standard knot so i'm going to just do a normal knot so i'm going to knot with um just a t pin so i've got let that fall and do an overhand knot pull this through get my T-pin 
and pop that in and then slide slide all that make that knot smaller keeping the teeth in in there slide it so it goes back down to the either the pearl or the bicone and then just slide that in so i've now got that's going to be um these are my last two gemstones to go on so i'm not going to um do a knot now in between this one so i'm going to pop that on that's going to go down and i'd normally tie the knot but this is the last gem so that's going to go through and let that fall and then going to take another guardian and that's going to go through and then through and remember the, the little wire guardians are very clever because they'll just protect that that silk so the reason why we don't knot in between um, those last two is because now when we go back through because obviously we've got all that silk now so I'm then going to take that last bicone and come through. Just take your time all the way. So I'm going to hold that, pull that down. And again, make sure that that's sitting nice and neatly. And then that's where our last knot comes in. So you'll have knotted everything the whole piece like that so like I was saying you know it's it's a really lovely I mean it's beautiful beautiful jewelry um, but it's a really lovely project as well um, because that knotting can be very very therapeutic and I think you you just because you're taking your time with it you really actually appreciate the components and the gemstones mm. you're working with as well seeing them like that it's a, a knotting in between is a really it's a nice it's a nice way of working with your gems so that's how you would um, do the main body of the um, of the necklace um, so you can see so I've got the wire guardian really lovely and secure here and then this end is what's going to attach onto our tassel so to make the tassel so if i move that out of the way i'm going to work with the same with the bicones here and we're going to make something that that looks like that okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'd be taking a really really long length um and i worked with a good sort of uh, meter of um i work with monofilament but you know it's whatever um you know the, your beading threads that that you choose to work with and maybe go think about the, the color that that you're going to work with so you're going to have a long um a long length of that and so the first thing that i'm going to do so if i take some of this so if we imagine that again that this is a really long length but i'm just going to keep it short so that it, you can hopefully see all of it on screen so we've got our long length the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take out so on the to have something uh length like this i think i'd got 14 13 of the bicones and then um one of the larger citrine at the, at the bottom so i'm going to take these so i've got my two four five so you take your your 13 off there so I'm going to start on the one end and I'm going to thread all of the smaller so these would be your pearls if you were doing the um, the pearl tassel so I'm going to thread these on so the lovely thing here um, and again actually with the um, bicones is great you've got a really big drill hole um, but the good thing with you know monofilament or if you're working you know with your um, your different threads uh, all the pearls I was able to get like a double a double thickness through so that was really good so I'm going to pop all those on so I've got all the small the small ones on for one one length just one part of the of the tassel so I'm going to take my short end so if we imagine that this side had got the long length um, the rest of the meter mm. so I'm going to take the the small one I'm going to go through the large that's going to go at the bottom and then I'm going to work my way back through all the smaller. I hope you can see this um, monofilament. Yeah, we can. Yeah, so I'm going. So the only part of the monofilament that's exposed is literally just around the citrine. A tiny, a tiny yeah. Bit. And the, and the thing with this, then, that's the great thing with the monofilament. Um, you, you, you're not really seeing. You don't see it again against the um, the citrine or the or the pearls. So I'm going to go up through so I've gone all the way back through I just need a little bit more than that and you're going to pull this until you've got I would go at least say um, if you can have 10 centimeters of that small 
side. And then I'm just going to add one more on and we're going to tie a knot there because we want to make sure that as we're working our way down through the... So you can see I've put, popped one on there on just one side and I'm going to tie a knot. I want to keep it so that it's too... I don't want to pull it too taut because we do want nice, nice movement with it. So we will now have a short tail and a longer tail here. And you're going to keep going and to making, so if we look at this one, you can see there's my, the short tail on here, and here's the long tail. And you keep going, keep doing that, so you're going, you, the next one would be, I'd thread on my 13 smaller bicones, then the citrine, then work my way all the way back up until I was at this point here. Okay, so you can, you can do as many, uh, as many as you want, see how you think, you know, it, it best fits. So then this part now, what, what we've got, sorry if I get my big head out of the way, can you see um, what I've actually done is um, I've just put a little kink in uh, the monofilament. So this bit is a little bit fiddly. You, can, you could try and, uh, if you've got some very fine wire, you can work with... Um, you can work with that and maybe make yourself uh, a needle. Again, I did show how to make um, uh, needles on, I can't remember what day it was, um, last week. So it's just you get basically do a tiara twist with a fine wire and then you can almost curb it um, if you needed to do a needle like that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get that so that it's coming up through. So I'm going to push it down. Uh, and you know how I like to blame uh, tools or something else for my failing. So you would actually, this is gonna, I'm gonna make it look fiddlier because I can't get too close to it because of my big head will block the, the view. So you'd be a lot closer to this. So if I just get a bit more of a kink in there. And so I'm pushing that in. And what we're aiming to do, there we are. So we want it to come back out. Hopefully everyone saw that there. We want it to come back out the other side. So can you see it's got hooked in to that section there. So if I just pull it like that and maybe turn it, that's a much better so you can see. Can you see there how that is then going up into that section? Okay, so you're going to try and do that a couple of times, as many as you can. Just keep redoing that, that bend there. So you'd be going back through. And obviously, it's going to get fiddlier and fiddlier as this gets tighter. So if you find... Um, so I'll, I'll just tie that off. If you find that you're just getting too frustrated because everyone's patience levels are, are different, I mean, you can... You, it, it is absolutely doable because that's... You know, I have done it. But then the other way, if you didn't want to do it like that... If you take some jump rings and try and get quite small jump rings and then I'm going to just hook that on here and we're going to hook into again that section there and I'll hold this up so that you can hopefully see from the, the bottom but remember you're not going to see, you're not going to be seeing, um, you know the bottom's going to be facing down, you're not going to be seeing up into the into the bottom there, are you, of the tassel? So if I show you that, that, this is the bit that you obviously wouldn't be seeing when you're wearing it, but you can see how that jump ring has then hooked into that yeah. bit there. So does that matter? And then that is going to get all hidden in that bit there. And you could have more into there. And then that one hooks onto, because you get the jump ring in it, uh, which I think I've lost. So remember, we've got our um, wire guardian there. We've got the loop there. And that will then go into... It's <laughs> a really awkward... Um, maybe my head's grown. <laughs> I hope not. It's good for um, tummy muscles standing like this. So then I'm just going to add this in here and I've used a different colour jump ring so hopefully you can see the, the, the workings of it. And uh, there it is. There you go. Oh, Claire, so that's, that's awesome. how you'd attach and use both of those. So, yeah, if you need sort of, you know, more, the, I know there are lots of demos of knotting, so that's why I didn't want to do too much knotting, but to show you how you could, you know, use in those, those components because they are amazing.
Absolutely beautiful. Well, of your uh, sort of the larger kit, the one that uh, you've used to make this yeah. amazing necklace, there are four left. Yeah, There's, I enjoy them, everyone. They're yeah. lovely, so lovely to. Four left of that kit. More quantity on the uh, uh, the one which features uh, your rutile courts there. And how many left have we got of the cast bundle? Oh, it's sold out. There we go. That speaks volumes, doesn't it? Um, four left of this kit. Uh, you can get. The only way to get hold of the class now is actually in the kit. So where you'll get the six strands of pearls, two of which are natural. Nat those, those beautiful peaches and pinks, naturally coloured. Um, now, Claire, you're uh, stepping <gasps> out for a bit, aren't you? I am, yes. And then you're coming back. I am, because yeah. Because what have you got coming oh, up? Oh, these are, I love them. I love the. I absolutely love them. I'm so excited with these. Um, the sh the shape of these. Um, the gemstones in, in the yeah, pendulums. In, oh, they're lovely. If I sort of show you that one there, so I've enjoyed the, the kits today. Are I love them. Yeah, they really Just are. So pretty. So so pretty. And you get the candle as well. There's a yes, little there's a can candle. Yeah. So yeah. you've just got a candle now. Yeah. You've just got a few nice I know. candles. That's lovely. Yeah. Gem just need a home candles. to put them in. Yeah. Well, yeah. soon, soon. Yeah. What a what one. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so Claire's stepping out for a bit, but she will join me again after this amazing opportunity. These are here's the candles. Look at them. They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And you've got your gemstones in the top there as well. Coming up at 11 o'clock, approximately. And um, there's three different varieties of these. I am going to be joined by the amazing talent that is Dave Troth in a few moments' time. And he is bringing to you for the first time ever master craftsmanship of your Type A Burmese jadeite. That amazing That's tiger's exciting, head with the tooth. Uh, yeah. That's launching. The largest donut disc that I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and the best oh. colour I've ever seen. The best colour. Wow. That I've ever, ever seen. We also have, um, I mean, well, floral carvings. We've got your pikus, and we have strands of natural type A jade eye. It is a showcase not to miss. Join me after this. <laughs> Hi guys, I'd love for you all to join me on Tuesday for this incredible Jadeite Masterpiece Collective. Um, during this incredible showcase, you'll be hearing from our Jadeite vendors on the challenging landscape that we now find ourselves in and why going forward, these impressive opportunities that we're able to bring you are going to disappear. There's just a handful of goods that we'll be bringing you at incredible closeout deals and I think you'll agree when you see the material, it's the finest we've ever had. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be completely and utterly wowed because this next showcase is nothing short of art and of course introducing it to you all today is the wonderful Dave Truss. Thank you Al. Hi it's Dave. It's a real pleasure to be here. Um, if any of you uh, joined me yesterday on GEMS, uh, we did an incredible Jade Night Day and the reason that we did that is because the window is closing. That mm -hmm. was our message to our, uh, to our collectors, those of you that have been collecting with us for the past three years, particularly with Taipei Jade, I heard messages from uh, collectors um, that have now 70 pieces in their wow. esteemed collection of Jade, um, and we had valuations coming in for the Jade, which is exciting. Yeah. We had uh, collectors that have got involved in some of the previous Jadeites that we've bought to, to, to our collectors around the world, and, and one of the people had bought a Jadeite from us, right, a pendant. Um, for I think it was 149 pounds. They had it valued for 3,245. Wow! And that's a genuine valuation mm -hmm. from our collectors, and that's exciting for me because we know we're bringing that, that kind of quality of jadeite to you guys. What's even more exciting is um, even with the kind of 12-hour stint that I did yesterday, even with the three years that I've been working primarily with the jadeite here at Gemporia, even with going to, to Hong Kong every year for like the previous 10 years. Even with going to Myanmar, going to the Jadeite market, going to Kachin State where the only mines exist, I have to say, and I even said it yesterday on every single show, I promoted this, this time slot on Jewelry Maker, this is a different caliber entirely. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I bought to our collectors, and it obviously completely sold out, uh, a 197 carat Jadeite pendant. Okay? And um, it was billed as the largest Jadeite offering in our history. Today we're going to dwarf that with the, the piece that we have for you, the Haigu, which is just absolutely phenomenal. And um, there's four pieces that we have for you. None of them are jewellery. We didn't want to set them into jewellery. We didn't want to bring them over into Jamporia because, we, you know, of course, to make them affordable, we we'll put them in silver. And uh, our one promise to Bernard was, he says, I'll offer you these as part of a closeout because of the closing of Hong Kong, but you can't put them in silver. Okay. So he... he and look, there's, we're always looking for loopholes. He was obviously saying to me, you need to be putting these in platinum and 18 karat gold. But I've kept my promise to him. What I'm going to do is bring them to you loose. Okay, and we're going to give you the most incredible deal. It's down to you guys to put them into platinum or 18 karat gold. What you are getting right now, I don't care if you've got 70 pieces, 200 pieces, all of them are crazy, all of them are incredible. All of them, we've seen these astronomical valuations. You haven't seen anything until you've seen this showcase. Um, this is the Jadeite 
that dictates how it's cut. Okay, this isn't, and Wayne knows all too well, you know, when we, we order JDI, well, we've been fortunate enough to order JDI over the past two years. Okay, so we go to Bernard and we go, we'd like this, we'd like that, show us what you've got. This you don't order, no one orders. Mm. Okay, this JDI is sent to Hishan or Kotan, mm -hmm. um, has many different names, that iconic ancient location where the, the finest carvers exist. Okay, and I've been to Edo Robstein, I was there last week. And that's, they're, they're the finest carvers in the West. Okay, they are, they're magicians. They're true artists. They've got like a 500 year history. The finest stones, their history is the finest stones from Brazil went there. Um, and, and we see all the stones that we find elsewhere in the world go to Edo Robstein. Everything except jade. Jade doesn't go there. Jade, go, the finest jade goes to Kota. And it's worked on in a handful of in, incredible studios that date back. They can literally trace their ancestry back to BC when they were working with the nephrite. Um, and today, they're working with the world's finest jade. And look, w whatever piece we're going to bring you is fine, but can I show you something? I'm probably going to step out of shot for one second. I want to grab the high goo, mm -hmm. which is uh, unbelievably impressive. And I want to show you what I showed Elle a moment ago. This is the only time any of you will have seen, and I'm going to say it, imperial jade, right? So as it stands like this, this is unbelievable color, wow, okay? Um, it's the best color I've ever seen, yeah. the size of it. And the size isn't even the most impressive feature of this. If you've ever seen the most incredible omphacite jade, you know the material they say, it's, it's, it's essentially an over-saturation of imperial jade, and they shine a light on it, and they're looking for imperial green. There is imperial green locked in this stone. I'm going to show you from across the room. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's, that's imperial green. When you shine the light on it and you get that incredible color, that, what, you're, what you're witnessing, what is buried within the crystal structure of this stone is for the first time ever imperial green. Oh. And we have less than 100 opportunities of this. And, and by the way, it goes all the way around, look. Yeah. So it's not, it's not you know, the size isn't the most impressive feature. It is when it's this quality, but have I seen jades this size? Yeah, I see them, see them in, um, in, in when I was in Myanmar, right? Mm -hmm. And they're rocks, okay? Because when you have a boulder, the reason that they, they buy them blind is they, they walk up to these boulders, the, the, the Chinese uh, buyers, that have this incredible history. They don't go to school for this. It's passed down through generations, and, and it's amazing to witness. They've got like a, a metal rod, essentially, and there'll be four or five elders, and they'll be tapping this boulder, right? And they can tell by the vibrations this is how incredible it is. The, the vibrations tell them if there is crystallized jadeite within the boulder. That's amazing. And what they're looking for is that. Okay, but it might only be 1% of the boulder that has that. The rest of it might be green, might be exciting, might be opaque, still incredible, it's still impressive. But this right now is the one in a million. Wow. It's literally the one in a million. And to have 100 of them yeah. is one of the most impressive opportunities you've ever had. And I, I'll tell you right now, had we followed uh, Bernard's guidelines and you know just set this into 18 karat gold it could be you know 10 grand and you probably think oh you know bull crap well let me show you something I'll take you to Tucson right now mm -hmm. this is one this is a wholesale price oh my gosh $10,325 that's that's the reality and by the way I'm just going to be frank, and I'm not a Jada expert, but Bernard is, Sally Heuer is, Roland Schlussel is, and the people that I've you know, tried to learn from over the last three years. You know, these are the guys, like I always say, I've forgotten more about Jada than I could learn in a lifetime. because it is, it is literally their life. You know, I deal with hundreds of gemstones. You know, I did a deal in Edar Obstein, $200,000. And, and it was about seven or eight different gemstones. You know, I go to Burma, I'm looking for rubies and spinels. People that work with jade only deal with jade. Only deal with jade. I have to know about quartz, have to know about corundum, we have to know about zoocyte, we have to know about diaspore, chrysoberyl, and, and, and jade is a, a part of that. These guys, it's all about jade. And that is a lower grade than this. Mm. That's, a, that's a, you know, a, a fact, a measurable fact, because you've got the discoloration. So you can see, the, and it's still beautiful, okay? It's a matter of preference. Uh, you've got those, those black moments coming through. Now, I picked that up, and I had the same phone that I have today at Tucson. That's what I took the picture on. And I tried to shine the light through it. That material is opaque. Wow. You didn't see the light coming through. But still, it's impressive, it's beautiful, and it's 
$325 wholesale. Wow. And I said to the gentleman, I said, how about if we take them all? And he said, there's only one. Wow. There's only one. It's 10 grand. So what's retail on that? Uh, here it might be, well, you know, we know how we work. It might be 12. We might sell it for 12 grand. But really, whoever buys that is probably selling it for closer to 50. Yeah, absolutely. You worked in the retail yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, jewelry world, the high jewelry world, and you know 400% that. so minimum. Carried away. It's not like mm. hyperbole. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. That's how people make money. That's why that can sit in the window of a store for eight months. 100%. Because they're going to make a 40,000 pound markup on it. Mm -hmm. Right? We're not, because we'll make that disappear in a minute. So we're like, okay, we'll take a really small margin, fine. Uh, but that's the reality $10,000. And I, who have brought to you, and there's no getting away from it, I don't know, what, 600 items of jadeite over the last three years? You know, I've got collectors who have 100 pieces. So maybe I've brought 1,000 pieces of jadeite. This is one in a million, but for me, it's the finest jadeite we've ever offered you. And, and yeah, it's impressive to have that size. I think that's really special. But to have that size and that crystallization, that's the reason it's not a donut and it is a haigu. The haigu is the most auspicious carving at uh -huh. this size and, and it's very specific okay what you're actually looking for is that that central hole this is how it works has to be exactly one-fifth of the diameter of the outer circle it has to be exactly central this is perfection and you know what i'd do i'd do exactly what that gentleman's done I'd, I'd whether you want to take it to a bench jeweler or you guys can do it yourself i would put uh, essentially a ring of platinum around the outside and i would actually put a diamond in the center yeah and I'd go really high grade on the diamond because you don't need a large diamond in the center of that. I'd put maybe a pink diamond in it. Oh, wow. Or, or, or you know, a naturally colored canary diamond. That would be amazing. And I'd go, you know, you know I'd, I'd go, if you can, go internally flawless. Because you don't need a carrot diamond to go in there. You just need a few points and you put it in the center and you've got one of the most impressive jades that exists. That exists. That's the reality. And, and like I said, we've just, there's no getting away from it. Live on TV, you're eight foot away. I shine my phone light through it like a piece of tracing paper. And, and the color that came through wasn't yellow. It wasn't blue. It was imperial green that you witnessed, that you saw. I'm not even going to bring this as our first offering today. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm going to let you know about this. This is the ultimate piece. If you get one piece from us today, and we have some of the most impressive, well, we have the most impressive jade eye that we've ever taken ownership of, ever taken ownership of. Um, we've got some of the most auspicious and incredible mythological, culturally significant carvings that was done in Khotan by the true masters. Now, the factories all over China, and that's what they are, the factories. Where this was worked on was a studio. Bernard sen sends the material there. and he, uh, he, You're going to hear from him in a moment, but he gets material like this about every five or ten years. He gets jade out every day, but material like this maybe five, every five or ten years, and he sends it to the elite carving facility, and he doesn't even know what's coming back. They decide. Wow. And they say the jade decides. So, for instance, we have the most incredible um, ice white type A jade in a moment's time. Oh. And he sent this rough there, this incredible material, and it came back as, as the baihu, which in, in Chinese symbolism is the white tiger of the West. Okay? It's the king of, of, of all the beasts in Chinese history. And they carved that. And it's literally the face of this mythological white tiger that has been worshipped for thousands of years, carved then into the body is the fang. And it's because, you know, they had the material to do it. And it's, it's not translucent, it's transparent. Now, wow. I've, I've done a showcase of white jade out before, and it was impressive, it was beautiful, but I've never, ever seen anything like what you're about to see. And, and it is absolutely phenomenal. That, that will be the first piece we start with. But I want to just talk to you about what's happening in the market. So the Rob Report is something that is put together um, at the end of every gem show, every notable gem show. So like Hong Kong and Tucson. Tucson being the first in three years. They, they talked about the seven ultra rare precious stones that they saw. And it's like Grand Didierite, Sandwana Emeralds, uh, Cashmere Sapphires. And of course, this, this suite of Imperial Jade. I want you to remember that color, because that's what's locked inside the haigu that we have for you. And this is from my good friend Roland Schlussel. And they say, offered in a suite of three translucent Burmese stones, a pair for earrings and a matching ring, the imperial jade that Pillar and Stone showcased at its booth at the GJX show stood out for an obvious reason. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, it's the color, isn't it? No, 
Roland Schuster says it's very rare that you have the glow from the inside. Wow. He then goes on to say, a co-founder of Pillar and Stone, one jade in a million has that. Wow. And this color in a bangle would be $12 million. You've essentially got a bangle there. Yeah. You've essentially got a bangle there. And it's the one in a million stone that has that internal glow. I believe that suite was somewhere north of a million dollars, and it's 49.75 carats. Wayne or Ross, can you just tell L the carat weight of just the high goo? I know it comes with that wonderful strand. Just the high goo. Oh, my goodness me. I've never seen anything like um, that before. You can feel the weight. Yeah. It's, it, like I said, it's translucent. It's like a stained glass window. Everything. The, the, the texture as well. Yeah. 255 oh. carats. Okay. 255 carats. That sweet is 49 carats with three stones. Wow. That's one stone, and it's 255 carats. That's amazing. Okay. It is amazing. But as we go through this, thank you, Ross. This is my, my good friend Roland Schlussel, uh, one half of Pillar and Stone. On the right is Nata and our good friend Jake. Um, that's the other half of Pillar and Stone. This is their incredible booth. That article that he's holding, you know, Jade on the In Color magazine, the fifth uh, pillar of the gemstone world, was written by Roland. And you see those two jades there, those tiny little donuts. They're $1,200 yeah, at wholesale. At wholesale. You know, that carving in the background is yeah. $11,600. Wow. This is the, the harsh reality of, of jadeite in 2022. That's $10,000. This is 7,426 pounds Goshwara Jade Donut Pendant available today on the First Dibs website. And then I want to talk to you about the incredible piece that we're going to start with today, which is absolutely going to disappear, especially when you take into account <coughs> the price that we're going to do. And I want you to remember what Roland told us. He said, for Jadeite, we are now at the point of no return. Today, Taipei is exclusively a top-tier investment gym. And we've worked with this material for 30 years. And once the material that we have in our booth is gone, we can't afford to get back in. So we're diversifying into tourmaline and spinel. Taipei Jade is now the most expensive gemstone in the world. And you're about to get an offering of the rarest material worked on by the most skilled artists. This is, we are coming straight in at the highest level mm. one can obtain jade. Okay, there's, there's one thing to have a cabochon. There's one thing to have a ring or a pendant. What we're offering you today is in many, many ways the material that money can't buy. And, and when it is available, they let the market decide. You're extremely fortunate that we exist at the moment when there is no market. There is no market. And we're going to give you the most incredible, incredible deal. Um, this is from Bernard that I wanted to, to read out to you today. Okay, this is exactly what he says about the offering of four pieces we have. These carvings are the most time-consuming. He says that these can never be cut to order like our other offerings. He says, we have to rely on the gods for the jade coming out of Kachin State for an undertaking like this. 200 carats or more is never easy with consistent color and translucency. We may only get material that is suitable in one lot every five or 10 years. For the white material, we have to re rely on the skin of the jade boulder, which is no easy task. And this is why it's sent to Haitian or Kotan to be worked on by the best carvers in the world. Many have auspicious symbolism that is determined in the studio. The jade dictates its own path in collections like this. And then he says, look, the last time we were able to do this with the same carvers was in 2007. Wow. He's carving jade every day in the studios around Beijing and throughout uh, you know, the, the whole of central China. But the last time he had a parcel, essentially, or a, a, a lot of rough that he felt was the quality to send to Kotan was in 2007. Wow. That's why we have four pieces today. It's not a showcase where we have you know, 30 pieces. I did a day of jade yesterday. This is four incredible pieces. And the first one is the white tiger. That is what we're bringing you. It's a large carat weight. It's the most gem material I've ever seen. It is ice white Taipei jadeite. And it's going to sell out in a moment's time. And I'm just going to, you know, this might sound crazy to some of you. We have 200 of them. We have 200. Sounds like a lot. You wait until you see what I'm going to do for you today. If any of you joined me yesterday, you saw that it wasn't just about joining us for a Jadeite event. I'm telling you the window's closing, but I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to put this into your collection. Okay? The window's closed for me, 
you know, as things stand, I've been told by every single one of our Jadeite vendors that we now no longer can do deals on Jadeite. They are in preparation for the Hong Kong show, which we think will take place in September. A lot of them are looking at taking their material to Munich Gem Show. Mm. At the end of the day, the window is closed for me, and I'm bringing you what we have. And it's not a oh, geez, sorry. This is incredible. So the White Tiger, or the Baihu, known in Chinese as Baihu, is one of the four symbols of the Chinese constellations. It is sometimes called the White Tiger of the West. It represents the West in terms of direction and the autumn season. It is known as Baioko in Japanese and Baiko in Korean. I hope I pronounced those right. And you know, they say in Chinese culture, the, the, king, uh, the tiger is the king of beasts and has, has been presented with this symbol in pinyin, or, or king, as it's termed, on its forehead for centuries. According to legend, the tiger's tail would turn white when it reached the age of 500 years. In this way, the white tiger became the kind of mythological creature. It was said that the white tiger would only appear when the emperor ruled with absolute virtue and or if there was peace throughout the world. Because the color of white uh, of the Wuxing theory also represents the West, the white tiger became a mythological guardian of the West. Wow. And this is just, I mean, like I said, the rough was sent to Kotan, and this is what came back. Even Bernard didn't know what came back. And it's almost like a symbol of honor to Bernard, because he's like, this was deemed good enough to carve the Baihu into. And as you said, it, you know, you have transparency yeah, here. Yeah, transparency. I mean, look, for instance, it blends perfectly into the, 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 the fang as well. Yeah. Um, as you can see it rotating here. I think Adam's done a wonderful job there of showcasing just how gemmy yeah. this material is. Yeah. It, it literally looks like ice. Yes. Ice it gem. It does. And it's pure, vivid white. I, I mean, as... As you just told us, you know, the, uh, the tiger is, like you said, the king of all beasts. Yep. It is one of the most significant symbols. It's the guardian. Yeah. And, and the, the, the ancient myth is that at the age of 500 years, the tiger turns white. And, and that's when you need this legendary material. Wow. Wow. It is the king of all the beasts. Of the four constellations in ancient Chinese symbolism, this is the one. And you've got it right now. You have the opportunity to get this. This jade that formed for millions of years in the skin of a boulder in a mountain range in northern, northern Burma determined what it became. It became one of the most significant symbols throughout history. And it, that's an indication of the quality of the gem as well. 100%. The fact that, okay. Forget, you don't need quad A. Yeah. You don't need, uh, you know, type A, you know, or D colored, internally flawless. This incredible symbolism which was carved mm -hmm. by the masters in ancient Khotan yep. in a studio when they, un when they unwrapped this parcel the jade spoke to them yep. and this is the, the, the mm. symbol that they decided this jade deserved. This is its badge of honour. It's the ultimate isn't yeah, it? Yeah it's for sure 100%. It's, no. I don't even know how to price <coughs> this. It is essentially priceless but what I will say is we're going to do a crazy deal because we got a crazy deal. Um, I can't believe the quantity that we have. 211, to be exact. And I just want to let you guys know yeah. that because there's going to be more than 200. In fact, yesterday I did an, a few incredible jade auctions that you know, aren't carvings like this. Yeah. And, and, and routinely, I remember vividly, actually, we had 360 people miss out on, on one of our auctions. Oh, gosh. We had hundreds of people miss out across the day, if not thousands. And I talked about this showcase throughout yesterday. Um, so there's a lot of us joining us now. And, and your audience over on GEMS as well will follow you today because you spoke about this 100%. Showcase. And I want people to see it. Mm -hmm, I yeah. want people to see this very small, incredible offering that we have for you. We, like I said, I've got people that have hundreds of pieces of jade eye. And it would be you know, remiss of me if I wasn't to mention even where they could find something like this. Mm -hmm, you know, it wouldn't course. be fair. Yeah. If, if, you know, these people that have, have their pendants, have their earrings, have their rings, their bracelets, their bangles... If they want this caliber, mm -hmm. they want to elevate their collection, it would not be fair of yep. me to not mention this unbelievable opportunity that we are able to bring to our collectors today, our global collectors. It's not just about Jewelry Maker. It's about the group. Yep. It's about Gemporia. It's about Gem Collector. Yep. It's about our global audience. Mm -hmm. This is the opportunity 
of, I'd love to say a lifetime, but I think that would be playing it down. I think it's the, oppor the, the, the opportunity of a generation. Yeah. And I'm going way. to give you a deal that means that you, and I'm going to say this now, you're going to be able to multi-buy on this. What? I'm saying that. I'm saying it. But this it's is going not down. transparency. Pardon? It's transparent. But this is what this Jadeite event is about. You know, I'm saying the window's closing. I'm not going to price you out. Mm. I'm going to put it in your collection. I've, I've never seen Jade like this. You guys at home, if you have, you're extremely fortunate. This is as good as it gets. And, and if we can, I'd love to start this auction right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, the fact that you've given us that... Uh, wow. Literally, 10 gone straight away. OK. 11, 12, 13, fine, that's fine. 14. There's 211. I don't know how long they will last. Um, yesterday, I had a very special piece of jade, and it sold out in the same manner. Mm -hmm. Those people bypassing the contact center. We have a lot of global jade collectors that are just desperate mm -hmm. to get the world's finest goods. And it doesn't actually get fine in this. Does it get bigger? Yeah. Very rarely does it get bigger in this quality. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget what we have as an opportunity right here. 20 carats of type A white jadeite. And the best carvers in the world aren't concerned with conserving carat weight. They didn't go, what would be the best shape <laughs> to, to hold onto the carat weight? No, look at the detail that these carvers have put into this incredible mythological creature. They've even tapered it into the fang, which yeah, is extremely amazing. wasteful. It's extremely wasteful. They don't care. That's what it's about. They say in Kotan, the jade dictates what it becomes. I love that. Uh, it's amazing. And yeah. I, I love it. It's what, a, what a way to, to, to work with jade. Bernard sent this off, and he doesn't go, hey, guys, can you cut me um, seven five by threes or whatever? <laughs> he sends it off, and then he unwraps it yeah. you know, months later. And this is the ultimate badge of honour. And this is the only gemstone which has that, has that yep. story behind, yep. really. Oh, 100%. There's no other gemstone that has a history that dates back no. thousands of no, years. No, no. Thousands of years. This is your moment. And, and before this completely sells out, I'd like you to hear from Bernard. He felt uh, compelled to, to, to speak to you guys directly about what's taking place in the market. Well, why we can't get Jadeite going forward. Now, we'll all appreciate that English isn't Bernard's first language, but he wanted to address you in English so that you know, you know exactly what's happening. Um, take a listen to this. As you know, there have been no mining for some time in Kyrgyzstan now, which has drastically changed the market for Jade. Taipei goods are at an all-time high here in the market. I want you to understand that these goods will not leave Chinese market in future. We will provide the type C for you from now on, and I hope your customers understand. He literally finishes that by saying, we're going to provide type C for you from now on, and I hope that your customers can understand that, because Taipei, as, as has been the, the, the mm -hmm. case for 500 <coughs> years, doesn't leave China. And even in China, this material is very rarely seen. That's from Bernard. You know, when, when we were sent this offer and, you know, he showcased it to us and it was, of course, done over WhatsApp and he's showing us the torches and showing us this material in a studio in Kotan. We, we said absolutely, but he wanted to explain to us, you know, how important this opportunity was. Look, I, I actually can't get over what Adam's captured there. Just that it's high beautiful. Of polish, the water content. Yeah. It is like ice which is actually the, the, the highest testament you can give to jade. You know, because jade is judged by what they call the water content. Mm -hmm. This is frozen water. That's amazing, you know, isn't that's it? That's exactly what it is. It doesn't look real. And the, it's, it's the water it's content that gives it its translucency? Yeah, so, you know, in, in, um, and I love this about the, the Far East, their, their descriptions of gemstones is so vivid. Okay, so water content isn't about, it's not like a, an opal, it's not about the actual water content. It's to do with how clean the stone is. Wow. You know, in, in old Europe, you know, we would talk about the fine water diamonds. That's mm -hmm. how we would describe them before, modern gemology. There's modern gemology, there's labs that's seen these jades, but still the Chinese stick to that tradition that everyone can understand. So, for instance, when they have the nephrite from Kotan, they call it mutton fat. It's not sexy, it's not like marketing. No. You know what it should look like. Yeah. You know, pigeon blood red. Yeah. The rubies. I mean, God, if it was here, we'd never call it that. No. But I love it because we know exactly what it looks like. Yeah. An ice jade 
does exactly what it says. You talk about the water content of jade. Frozen water is the highest accolade that, that a jade can possess. Wow. It's not opaque. It's absolutely incredible. It's completely type A. There's no polymer. There's no resin. There's no dye. And uh, you want to talk about transparency. You want to talk about translucency. Oh, Elle's going to show you right now. Well, I can figure out how to put my... Uh Torch on. I mean, Here that's we go. done by hand, by the way. You know, by, uh, you know, possibly a family that have been cutting jade for a thousand years or more. My God. That's, I mean, that is incredible. And I, I am actually worried now that I said that we're going to be able to multibar on this because how is this not five figures? I know. How is this not going to be five figures today? Forget four figures. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Move my tweezers. Let's hold this it this way. Class. Let's just hold it like this. Should we lie it down? Yeah. You wow. pass it over it. Like, just slowly push it over it. So we can just see each part of it just lighting up. I mean, look at that. It's just crazy that we're able to do this. I want to say a special congratulations to those of you that are multi-buying today. Alison, you've got four. Isabel, you've got two. Anne, you've got two. Let's show you our first price. A price that you know you're not going to be paying nowhere near, but let's just put a price on that screen. Wow. OK. Now, there's just over, oh, there's loads of you there. It's the only carving of its type that we've ever seen here at uh, Gemporia, not just jewellery maker, at Gemporia. And it is the ultimate most, it's the most symbolic hands down. I mean, I've certainly spoken to you about tigers and the significance of tigers uh, within Chinese culture, deemed as the protector, isn't it? It, it is the protector of all. In the Chinese culture, the tiger is the king of the beast and has been presented with a pinion, which is the king symbol on its forehead for centuries. Well, that's because the markings are on the Absolutely. forehead, aren't they? According to legend, the tiger's tail would turn white when it reached the age of 500 years. In this way, the white tiger became a kind of mythological creature. It was said that the white tiger would only appear when the emperor ruled with absolute virtue or if there was peace throughout the world. Because of the color white of the Wuxing theory also represents the West. The white tiger became a mythological guardian of the West. And is there a chance? For, uh, yeah, we'll see the price first. Oh, that's amazing, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm absolutely going to destroy that price. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to destroy it. It's going to be ridiculous. <gasps> if we go back to that incredible depiction of that ancient Baihu, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the white tiger, could you take the graphics out for one second, guys? Look at that yes. face. Look at yes. that face, right? That is the, the, the face, the symbolism of that incredible mythological creature. And then take a look at the detailed carving that is on display right now. It's unbelievable. Yes. It's unbelievable. Right. Do you want me to give you your final price? Let's do it. Okay. There's, I well, mean, everyone. I'm going to ask for a minute clock. You, and um, the reason I'm doing okay. that, as I always say, it's not for me, it's not for Adam, it's not for Ross, it's not for Elle. It's literally for you guys. You've got, 60 uh, you've second got a clock. minute to get on the phones. And if you're on the phones, you're probably in a two minute queue. It's a free mm. phone number. Yep. I would literally stay on the phone. And at the same time, open up the app. If you've never used the app, you're in a queue anyway. Just try and uh, get, get on the app. It's the only way you're going to navigate that large queue. Mm -hmm. um, or use the web. Whatever way you can, there's one of these. There's one opportunity like this, and it could be yours. Yeah. Now, uh, I want to apologize to the team in the gallery. This price might sound uh, crazy, but for the last 24 hours, I've been doing the best Jadeite deals in the world, and we've not ever seen an offering like this. It's no. going to go crazy. I want to apologize to our contact center. I want to apologize to Gems TV, who share our contact center. Because anyone who's calling up for Gems right now isn't going to get through. Because <laughs> true. those guys are going to be preoccupied with getting through the hundreds of calls that are going to be coming through the lines in 10 seconds. I mean, wow. You're not going to believe this. Even I don't believe this. And I know I'm going to do it. The trans, uh, I, I, uh, like you said, I'm the gemmiest jadeite. Uh, what I'd like you to do is 
take 900 pounds off that price. 99 pounds is your price today. Take 900 pounds off that incredible deal already. And it is literally one of those pieces. I think you, you locks head knot, wear it like so, super 100%. simple. That's exactly how they would in in China itself. 100 percent. Like they say, you know, look, gold has a price. Yeah. Jadeite is priceless. There you go. That's it. If Ninety-nine. You buy, you've got interest for, uh, for split payments of forty-nine pound fifty. Get two of these. Uh, get three of these. Get four of these. Get as many as you can. I don't care if the trade comes in. Don't care if you've got a store. You might have an Etsy, an eBay. Yeah, you yeah, might have yeah. A physical store. You've just secured one of the most exquisite and incredible master carvings of Type A white jadeite that exists in the world today. Absolutely, absolutely. We've never had a carving like this before. I mean, this showcase is literally made up of what? Four, fi four pieces? Four pieces, yeah. After four this items. Gone, that's a quarter of our showcase gone. This is the biggest quantity that we actually have. Yeah. And you watch how quick it's going to disappear. Huh? Yeah, and I mean, that yeah. That worries me for the remainder of the show. Look at that. I if you're not multi buying, I'm worried. If you're not multi-buying on this opportunity, I don't know what's going on. I mean, you're never going to get the opportunity to see something like this again. And that's as someone who buys the jade for you. Yeah, even Bernard doesn't know. We can't order these. He finds them once every five, ten years. He sends them to Kotan. And even he doesn't say, hey, guys, can mm -hmm. you just carve the tiger into this? Yeah. He wouldn't. Yeah. You know, it's, it, I mean, that would be rude to yeah. the carvers of Kotan. Uh -huh. they, the jade decides what it becomes. <laughs> Look at, look at that, you said look, the water content, look how it yeah. glides down the back. Uh, yeah, you see that, it's incredible, it's gem crystal, it's crystallised jadeite in the skin of the boulder. But then on top of that, the, the incredible polish, that ice jadeite appearance. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm looking at this, I mean, I'd love to join you, so I, I can after the show. After the show, because this is the kind of thing that I know that my husband would like to but, wear. But you're not going to get one. No, I know. I There's so many people there. To, to every single one of you. I mean, even if you call up now, I can't guarantee you one of these. No, I know. Um, I'd, I know. I would suggest using the app. I'd suggest checking out your basket. Mm -hmm. It will be taken from your basket if, if it's not checked out. We're only taking confirmations on this exquisite collection. I can't get at this point in the the auction. I can't guarantee that you're going to be successful. No. But I would say to you, be be on the phone lines. Be in with a chance. There was only 211 of these. And uh, there you go, I can see what? I can see at least 20 or 30 Gems TV buyers on the phone. Yeah, yeah I'm not who surprised. Who joined me yesterday. So it is one of those, the most competitive auctions that I've been involved in. Um, it is going to take maybe a couple of minutes to get through to your call, but th that is the nature of an auction like this, a price like this, an opportunity like this. <sighs> a symbol like this. Yeah. The hits, I mean, this is the, 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 the most significant gemstone in Chinese culture. Yeah, and it's the and white it material. Is... It's completely natural yeah and like i said this was sent to kotan wow. and uh, the jade I d d decided what it would be carved like i mean yeah there it is the perfect perfect example of your taipei ice white jade I, in the most symbolic symbol you know as i said the king the protector um that wonderful you see it don't you in sort of celebrations and sort of dragons and it's dragons and tigers um, and there is a very good reason for that not only that look how beautifully it tapers down um to like it just here to that fang Again, symbolism all the way through, from end to end, to the fang of your type A jadeite. That, I mean, it could literally have just been sort of brought to an end here, couldn't it? But no, we want to continue that symbolism to the fang of the tither itself. It's busy, isn't it's it? It's got that curve. It that is curve. extremely busy. Oh, it's got that curve. I love that. Right. Just want you to know, if you didn't join me on Gems yesterday, I'm talking to the gallery, you don't know what I was doing over there. No. I've not done at this price. And I was never done at this price. My call screen is full of names, and I don't care if it sells out now, Ross, I'm still going to give this deal to our collectors, and this continues throughout the other incredible three offerings as well. This is the first auction that you can experience with me as part of this showcase, and everything else is in the same vein. We're squeezing everything out. What did I say at the start of this showcase? The window is closing, but I'm going to make sure you get it in your collection. I said you're going to want a multi-buy. That's what I said. I said you're going to want a multi-buy, uh, which means that I'm not done at 99.99. Give me a minute clock, Adam, please. Thank you. Let's do it. Start that clock. In 57 seconds, it probably will have sold out. Yeah. But I'm still going to the most incredible deal you'll ever see on a 20 carat Type A. Yeah. White, pure white, jadeite carving. 
sent to Khotan, mined in Kachin State. Every 10 years, they find something like this in the skin of the boulder that is pure, that is impressive, that is, you know, crystallized. And they get sent to Khotan, to the carvers that have been working with jade for the emperors for thousands of years. And only then does the jade reveal itself to the carvers. And Amazing. What it is going to be carved into. 14, 13 seconds to get on the People phone. are actually coming back and up, upping their order. I, would, I, said, I said at the start, I, yeah. multi buying. When I saw you on the phone, I said, those of you that, that aren't multi buying, I'm going to kick yourselves. No, done at 99. Well over half the stock has gone, but oh. Ross, take it to 69 pounds, please, for our collectors right now. I can't be beaten. I couldn't be beaten at 999. I certainly couldn't be beaten at 99, and it's 69. This is absolutely ridiculous. That's the price, that's the price of a perfume 16, next door. That's yeah. the price of a perfume next door. Right. And you've got the rarest and most valuable gemstone in existence. And we've got it on split pay for you at £34.50, which is sacrilege. And I uh, said to you... Said Wayne's to every in shock. Of, well, look, Wayne, this is what it's about. This is exactly what it's about. It's what we said we was going to do. You know, this event is about you guys getting... The, the most esteemed collection of jadeite in, in the world. And that's what you're getting, 69 pounds. That's amazing. I mean, like I said, Susan and Brian's got four, 50. Barbara's got three, Lynn's yeah. got two, Renee's got two, Teresa's got two, Anne's got two, Isabel's got two, Jane in Greater Manchester's got two. Every single one of you should be multi-buying right now. You should mm. be buying fours, fives, tens if you have the funds available. Yep. You could buy 10 of these and still be hundreds of pounds under a thousand pounds. Yes. That's ridiculous. It is. We've got some messages to share with you, Dave. Uh, Tipperary, I received my pics. Uh, Pixu, oh, this is amazing. Uh, by yeah, disc and landscape plaque yesterday, the best carvings I have seen, and now I have 90 pieces. And this is what we've managed to accomplish together, you know. We've, we've awesome. managed to build these kind of private family collections of jade that, you know, for generations, for thousands of years, has never left the Far East. I mean, that's a museum of jadeite. Yes, it is. Right there. It's charge admission to people who want to come to your house. Yeah, totally. Hello, Lorraine and Derbyshire saying, Dave, because of you, I have strands and carvings in my family's legacy jewellery, and I know they will live on uh, um, in my family for years and years. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, Dave, Absolutely. isn't it? Uh, and that, that means the world to us, you know, because it's one thing getting this material, but to make it affordable, to make it accessible to our collectors is another thing entirely. Absolutely. I mean, wow, 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 wow. I've never seen such ice white. Yeah, pure. Pure. Crystallized type A jadeite of this color and with this mastery in the carving. We are massively over allocated. It is a pointless exercise putting them in your baskets and not checking them out. Look, uh, guys, I've actually instructed our team as I did for the whole of yesterday. Mm -hmm. Usually we're quite uh, relaxed with that. But we're giving you a moment's grace to check it out. But if not, we, we are telling our team to remove it for those of those those of you that join us on the phone lines and want to get involved. You know, it absolutely. Is, we have been over over allocated on every single auction that we bought you yesterday. It's going to continue today. Uh, we're, we're we're in 2022 and we'll bring you Taipei. Do you want right. to know how many's left? Go on. 18. 18. And well, 150 people with it in their baskets. Uh, I, I mean, I'm terrible at maths, but I can tell you right now. Yeah. That that doesn't work out. No. Well, does it? It doesn't. So that's going to be uh, uh, you know, quite a few of you that are going to be disappointed. If you've got your heart set, check out. Check out, check out, check out. Um, it's the biggest quantity of the showcase. We've got nothing even remotely close to that okay, quantity. Okay, it's the yeah, biggest right. quantity of the showcase, and we have less than 20 left. Yeah. Which is worrying, because everything else we're bringing you has, has less than half the stock. There are, we know that, well, we've got people with eight, nines, and tens in their baskets. Trade, would you guess? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And like I said, we don't discriminate. Everyone's welcome. If we can supply the trade, great. It's a badge of honour for us. Absolutely. Absolutely hand-carved. What an amazing work of art. Historically, the most significant gemstone uh, in, yeah. in the East and also the most significant symbol. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. And, and look, it's 20 carats carved by hand in, in the, the legendary location of Hishan or Khotan, where the, the most famous carvers exist. Now, um, it's on the verge of selling out. We will okay, keep you updated. That's amazing, Dave. Absolutely. Now. This is, uh, just remind me how many of these we have. So, 97. Okay. 
97. That's a lot, though, because this is a big piece. Absolutely, it is, and, and it is very, very cultural significant as well. This is material. This collection was all sent to Kotam, and uh, like I said, when, when they get it back and they see the, the material that we have, this is one of the most iconic images. Now, the last time we bought anything like this, it sold out in a heartbeat. We just heard from a collector who got that. Um, this is um, the, 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 the cabbage, as it is. In, in Chinese symbolism, which signifies posterity and wealth. Mm -hmm. and, and look, you can see it, you know, it symbolizes wealth. While the cabbage might seem humble, in Chinese culture it actually represents prosperity. That's because it's named by Kai, or white vegetable, is a pun for a hundred wealth, okay? So you've got that. Um, and and in, in, you know, Taiwan's cultural treasury is a cabbage made of jade. They say if you find yourself in the National Palace Museum in Taipei, you'll definitely want to check out the jadeite cabbage. This is the material we're talking about, that color, that material. And then you've got this guy, who we uh -huh. know, we've bought once before, he's my favorite, the Pixio. Okay, there is a, an image of it in a jade on the far left, um, you know, priceless artifact essentially, with the cabbage at the center on the right in bronze statue. And we have this depiction today. And this is the one Bernard was most excited about. Mm because he sent this material, and you can imagine what the rough was like. Like I said, it's from the skin of the boulder, that kind of white, beautiful color. And you can see the exact depiction that you'd want. There's only 97 of these. We just saw 211 get snapped up. And there he is resting on the symbol of wealth yeah. live in the studio. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. This is divine. This there he is. is incredible. And here is the Chinese cabbage. It's, uh, again, massive and, uh, just symbolism. Wanna, for those of you that didn't join us for the sellout auction of the first time we ever brought the pics to you, to you guys, uh, and you can see it there in the daylight recordings where you can see the quality of the jadeite mm. up close and personal. Again, that kind of ice content, the detailing that is here in the pics residing at the top. Mm -hmm. But the pics appear to have their origin in the Han Dynasty, which is like 260 B.C., Again, I just want to remind you the kind of history we're dealing with here to 220 AD, where they are found mentioned and were originally called Tauba in the chapter 96 of the Book of Han. Okay, and that is it in the, the, the National Library. That's wow. that. And the transcript, literally the transcript, an annotation describes the female and male pixus to have antlers like deer, where the male has one antler and the female bixi two. In tribute to the legend of the ferocity and prowess of the pixu in battle, it became synonymous with the army in ancient China. The word pixu interp uh, interpreted as meaning fierce beast and also brave warrior was used as a symbol on battle flags and banners. Now, Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty, uh, Dynasty declared that the pixu who obtained and guarded the master's gold, and he said to bring fortune, they say, would forever be known as the treasure of the emperor. It is said that the emperor declared that only the royal personage could possess a pixu, and it was strictly forbidden for all others to own one, including officials. The officials could own it. This law, literally written into law, was kept through to the end of the Qing dynasty. Wow. For, so for over a thousand years. Only emperors. Only, only, only you know, royal personage. Not even wow. officials or lawmakers. It was written into law until the end of the Qing dynasty. And this is why it's the ultimate symbol. This is what every collector in the Far East wishes to obtain because their, their previous generations could never obtain it. And, and that is the cultural significance of this, said to guard your gold, bring you wealth. And those two uh, depictions combined in this is probably the ultimate, mm. ultimate um, cultural significant piece and a massive carat weight at that. Less it's than 100 beautiful. Of yep. It's absolutely beautiful. Carved on both sides. Yeah. Very much a sort of 360 degrees work of art. It's a master carving. Yeah. It's a master carving. Um, now I understand this is a bit more limited. It's less than 100. Should expect. Yep. And it's a giant carrot weight. Yeah. And the previous piece was 20 carrots. And it sold out. And it sold out, and there was over double the quantity. This is going to be another. Very fast sellout. Let's bring in the graphics for this. Even the bale is actually carved uh, into the solid, oh, sure. into, into the type Hidden, of jade. Hidden. Yeah. Um, guys, just so you know, we're dealing with 145 carats. 145 carats. Yeah, 140. So those, those, that set of three that you, you photographed over in, uh, in Tucson yes. were like 40 something? 
50 carats, weren't they? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, the Imperial Jade. Yeah. It was in the Rob Report, yeah. They, they were uh, 40, I think, just 50 carats, just below 47 point or 49 point something carats. Uh, that was Imperial Jade, but, yeah, it was, over, yeah. it was north of a million dollars. And this, the Pixu, yeah. um, is 145 carats in that beautiful white material, in that ice jade. Um, and like I said, we've only ever been able to bring the Pixu to you once before because you have to have the finest jade to do it. Alison, Susan, Brian, Teresa, Dawn, Jenny, Anne, Erica, Maker, Maker, Pamela. Right, that's what, 10% of the stock gone? Maybe 20% of the stock gone? Yep. Okay, here you come. There's no price on the screen. Is there a price on the web or something? Why is there so many people uh, joining us on the phone line? Nothing, no, okay, nothing. Okay, good, because this is going to be an epic auction. This it, it, most likely will be the last time we ever have a chance to own the Pixie. Okay, because you can't ask for it to be carved. It's so culturally significant. That the, like we said, the jade dictates that carving. And to have this huge rough, this wealth, you know, they, they've carved that incredible symbol of prosperity, of wealth, which is the, essentially the cabbage. You know, we know in, in the Taiyan, Taiwan uh, treasury, they have that jadeite carving. Yeah. And to have that with the Pixu guarding that wealth, the symbol of prosperity. So this is the most, what, what the most ferocious, did I? Yeah, let me the read it to you again. I love this. I love this. That's really cool. Has, I, I like his character. Yes. I love this guy. Uh, so we know the Pixu, um, the history of the Pixu dates back to the Han Dynasty, okay, which is dates back to 206 BC, and and we know that because it was found mentioned in uh, chapter 96 of the Book of Han, and there there is the Book of Han in the museum. And they say an annotation describes the female and male, and they call it uh, the Tao Ba, I think, to have antlers like a deer, whereas the male, the Tin Lu, has one antler, and the female, Bixi, has two. In tribute to the legend of the ferocity and prowess of the Pixu in battle, it became synonymous with the army in ancient China. The word Pixu interpreted as meaning fierce beast, that's what it means, Yeah. Uh, and also brave warrior, was used as a symbol on the battle flags and banners. And I believe that the Pixu is like the, it's almost like the head of a dragon and the body of a lion, I think. Uh -huh. Or perhaps the other way around, I think it's the head of a lion and the body of a dragon. But they say Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty declared that the Pixu, who obtained and guarded the master's gold, and we spoke about this last time, you know, I believe it was the male that went out and collected gold coins and gold, and they, they, they've, I've read into it, their belly is meant to swell up so they can, you know, hold as much gold as they can. And then they'd come back and the female would guard it. That's how they work. Like Amazing. The the but in, in, in more modern culture, they've kind of just become one creature. So you don't tend to have the male and the female. It is just the pixel. Uh, and, and that's what it's become. But the history is that. Now they That's say, uh, you know, the emperor um, of, of the Han Dynasty decreed that the Pixu who obtained and guarded the master's gold would forever be known as the treasurer of the emperor. And let's not forget what forever means. It means now and, you know, then Always. and going forward. Yeah. But today, it is still known as the treasure of the emperor. It is said that the emperor declared that only royal personage could possess a Pixu and it was strictly forbidden for all others to own one, including officials. I don't know about you, but it makes me want one. Yeah. Just imagine what it does in Chinese culture. Yes. You know, where, yeah. where you know, the, the, this history is their history. And this is the material that they were told. No, you can't own it. You can't own it. Um, including officials, by the way. And this law, it was literally written into law, was, uh, was kept through the end of the Qing Dynasty. And uh, here is that incredible depiction. We've had it made into a piece of jewellery here. This is going to sell out without even a price range screen. And we have less than 100 of these. Um, half the stock has right, gone. Okay, then just give me a minute clock. We're not even going to give you a price of what it could yeah. be or what it might be. I'm just going to give you one incredible deal. You've got 60 seconds. Uh, uh, take a real good look at this, the one that Elle is holding. Showcase that. Half the stock has gone. There are over 150 people with, it, uh, uh, with us online and on the phone lines. The last time we brought you a Pixu, it sold out very, very popular amongst our viewers. But you've got to remember, this is not jewellery maker. It is not just jewellery maker, rather. It is gem collector. It is gem poria. It is the trade. You're getting 145 carats. Again, look at that. Master carving. Two Phenomenal. symbols, really. It's two symbols. Massive yeah. That's what symbols. I mean. That's the testament to the jade. Yeah. That's what Bernard said. And by the way, I just want to be frank with everyone. There are more of these. 
in, in, in China with Bernard. He wouldn't sell us all of them. Oh, okay. And actually, it's the one time I've ever done a, with, a deal with Bernard where he's, he said he's also keeping one. He's just welcomed the birth of, of uh, his, his daughter, which wow. is incredible. Wonderful. And um, he's kept this for her, you know, because he's never had jade that's been sent there and come back like this. Now, um, go to 499. That's not our final price, but I just want to put that on the screen for you because it should be our final price. Yes. This absolutely should be our final price, but I am in the mood for doing the most phenomenal deals for our collectors today. Love that. Okay, 499, great. Love that. Adam, I'm going to ask for one more minute clock. I don't know what's happened to me. After being a jewelry maker for like a year now, I used to hate have the we clock. Changed I think you have. I used to hate you the love clock. It. I used to be so disparaging. You were like egg rude timer, about it. Egg timer. Yeah, and now, and now you I'm love like, it Adam, now. give it's like my theme tune. Give me the clock, mate. <laughs> but this is this is what it is. We're part of this big family here. And and, and just like I did yesterday with the jewellery, um, I said to every one of you that's tuning in today, I'm not just bringing you this jade. I'm putting it in your collection. I'm making yeah. it unmissable. And uh, this is going to be no different. I, I've never done a carat weight this large with this level of, of value and desirability for the price I'm about to do. Gosh, for the price I'm about to do, it's ridiculous. It's so beautiful. Again, I, I love the fact that you've got the, sort of the white. And yeah, then... the, the bleeds into the, the, the yeah. green. It's beautiful, and that symbolizes the skin of the boulder. Oh, I love it. You know, the skin of the boulder is where you get find the whites or the purples or the uh -huh. reds, and it bleeds into the, the green, it, which is... It, it you know, would be that way around, wouldn't board. it? Yeah. It would actually be that way around. Oh, it's so beautiful. Two seconds. Right. Guys, we're going to do you this one incredible deal, £149. It is yours today. £149 gets wow. you 145 carats, which means you're paying just over £1 a carat. Which is incredible. And then you've got this artistry, this carving, this incredible material. £149. It is your incredible deal today. Uh, it's a bit of a pro there's a bit of a problem. What's the problem? We physically can't crash to 149. Okay. Have you got a pen and paper? Is this paper that I can use? Or is this hobby? I mean, yeah. We've got a pen, some paper, we write it down. We're going to put it on the screen <laughs> so we have to do it. And you tell the contact center, Dave said, with 149. Is that a pen down there? Where? Is this a pen? No. Hang on. Thank Here we go. Um, I, think I think Wayne's going to try and override it. We weren't meant to take it any lower than 199 pounds. It's doing it. I said we're going to do the maddest deals today. I said we're going to do the craziest deals. £149. It is yours today. And if Ross can't, if we can't do it, and I understand there are things in the system, then let the contact uh, uh, manager Wayne is here. So that's great. <laughs> it's happening. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's on your screen. So we are making this a reality. It's £149 for every single one. And you can still get it on split pay. Yeah, you're still going to get it on split pay. So obviously it's going to be lower than yeah, what you're seeing. I can't work. I can't even work out on split pay. So I can't put anything down here because my math is terrible. My math is dreadful anyway. too. £149 to every single oh one. Oh my. Less than 100 of these were available at the beginning. My call screen again is full of names. I don't know how many are remaining. Yeah. We are going to do our best to get that deal but that is in the contact center say no it says 109 as they tune in you see dave holding well, we're gonna uh, even uh, if we sign. have to manually change it yeah oh it's over it's been overridden look Here we at go. wayne wayne tech, check tech him out guy, isn't he i know he's the guy you go to when you can't get the printer working yeah i think there he is look totally at him. celebration <laughs> how many did we have how many have we got left Oh, we had 97 at the beginning. Okay. 70 have gone. Well done, congratulations. So, yeah, check oh, out, no, check out, check out. £37.25. I'm glad I couldn't figure that out. I, I probably thought twice about it. <laughs> oh. The uh, Northumberland Jennifer Stewart wants to be known by Ted, Caroline, Cynthia, Pauline, uh, uh, Angela, Patricia's got two, Elizabeth in South Yorkshire, Lee, Maker, Patricia, Michelle, Elizabeth, Claire, Gabrielle, Lynn, Maker, Maker. Uh, good luck, congratulations. I mean, if 50 of you Morty bought, it's gone. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The detail, just, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's sublime. Yeah. And there he is. My big, big, pizza. big carrot weight. The uh, available quantity is actually not, uh, not accurate. Turn it right around now. the other way. You yeah. see his little face there. There he is. There's I his love little him. face. I love him. He's amazing. I do, isn't I love he? him. I think he's great. You know, that fierce little warrior, isn't he? Chilling on his cabbage. Yeah, chilling on his cabbage, guarding the cabbage, guarding, guarding the wealth. I love it. 16 of these uh, remain. You can get it home for less than £40. Pounds. Absolutely. And, and Do you know uh, what I've picked up from you? Go on. Less than 40 quid. I know, I know. I hate <laughs> it about myself. But I try and be more it's professional, true, but though. it just comes out, yeah.
40 it is true yeah. 40 pounds and you're getting one one of the, the most no not one of the most valuable yeah. commodity yeah it's treasure master card treasure and it was known as treasure it's still known as treasure the treasure of the emperor yes that fierce little warrior that is guarding and collecting the gold for its owner i want a pixel on an actual pixel an actual one yeah cuz my dog just brings in twigs yeah. Uh, and just shreds them on the set. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't mind one of these little guys that goes and just brings gold. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be <laughs> fantastic. It wouldn't be as angry then. You know, like, oh, what you got? A big gold coin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you very, very much. I want one of those yeah. too. My dog just eats twigs and is just sick everywhere. Imagine <laughs> <Just, just, laughs> if you had one of these and they were just sick and it was just piles of gold coming out. It'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he's really cute, your dog, though. Yeah, he's really, really cute. So is really this cute. guy. Look at him. What's your dog called? Teddy. Teddy. Yeah. Pixu. Pixu. You should I have want... called your dog Pixu. I know. I should have done. I should have done. You're right. I mean, he wouldn't bring you gold, but but still. Yeah. Um, there's only ten of these left. So many of you there. I mean, I can't believe the the carrot weight that we're actually offering you. Is like huge. I said, one of the largest ever opportunities for Jade yesterday in our history. Hand. Uh, was also a higher price than this. Yeah. Was was uh, an incredible uh, jade pendant that was not too much larger than this. And then you've got this carving. You've got this level of detail. You've got that level of jade. Mm -hmm. And we're at 149 pounds, 37 pound 25 pence. I know. Split pay. I know. Interest Silly. free. Interest free. Interest free. I mean, we should. We let's at least charge interest. I know. Goodness <laughs> sake. What is going on? We, we don't charge you to call us. We're not going to charge you <coughs> interest. I know. Thirty-seven pound twenty-five for a work of art. For, a, for, a, for a, 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 yeah, a work of art in an organic, incredible treasure that lay buried for for millions of years. Yeah. In the northern part of uh, Myanmar, in the mountain range, it comes out in boulders, and then he's sent to the legendary location of Khotan, where these carvers who have been carving for, by the way, Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty, uh -huh. would have had his pixus carved in Khotan, that is the tradition, and now carving it for you guys at Jewelry Makers. So to all oh. of you that are multi-buying, well done. Obviously, each and every single one of these will be individual to you because they yeah. are not machine they're not copies. parts. Yeah, they it's not are like counterpart. when you're buying a copy of a piece of art and the artist just signs it. Yeah. This is, each one is done by the artist. Exactly. So you've got those minute differences that can only be created by the human hand. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. There's a two minute queue on the phone line. Uh, it's a free phone line as well. Yeah. but. There are only five left. So this is why when Dave was suggesting maybe downloading the app or going to all the 100%. W's at jewelrymaker.com, there's no cues there. Pointless exercise, putting it in your baskets and leaving it there without yeah, checking 100%. it out. Uh, I mean, this is the number one globally most sought after gemstone in the and, world. And probably the most globally sought after depiction. Yeah. You know, the, this, this incredible piece of art. And like I said, you can't order it. It's not like, I guess we'll have 40 of them. It's not Argos. This is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Materials sent to Kotan, and those guys open it up, and just like they have done for since, what is it, 320 BC, mm -hmm. the jadeite dictates how it wants to live, how it wants to live on forever. And this is that beautiful treasure that we're talking about, and I love. That's all natural, whether it's all type wow. Now, 130 still in baskets. We're going to leave the final oh, four no, with you for obvious reasons. Um, wow, Dave. So this is a showcase of literally... Four. Yeah. Can I just show something again? Because mm -hmm. I just want to do it again. Do this it. Is... I don't blame you. Please, Please tell me there's... I mean, it's a stupid question, but I'll say it anyway. Please tell me there's quantity of these. I mean, there's quantity, but there's not quantity, if you know what I mean. I, I mean, That's... that is imperial jade green. Yep. Um, it's coming up in one auction. Yeah, can they pre-order it? Can we pre-order this, Russ? I want definitely to? want to. Tell me how many we've got. 98. Okay, you just saw how fast 97 went. 98 of these. The most piercing. I don't know green. how, but people have pre ordered. Good. And, and we should make it available to everyone else. Make all 98. It'll be sold out in an auction's time. That's okay. I want to give Let's you the opportunity. Let's do it then. Do it. Yes. Do it. Put it on pre order right now, please, if we can. <sighs> One auction away. And now we go to our master carving. Oh, this, this is This beautiful depiction of, of the butterfly in that floral setting. This, I mean, that is like a, a you know, it's... Do you know... And do the you know, I, again. Sorry, Dave. Um, 
I started working in a jewellers, a very expensive jewellers that had the likes of Bulgari, Cartier, had, you know, it was expensive. Sorry, I'm had, just looking at the... Uh, it's amazing. And they had wow. one single piece of jadeite. Yeah. I'm going back 20 years. Mm -hmm. It was smaller than this. It had a floral carving that doesn't even compare. The colour doesn't even, it didn't compare. And back then, 20 odd years ago, um, that was two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, well, look, there's, there's a very distinctive uh, colour pigmentation to this material. Mm -hmm. Very distinctive. You're going to see it for yourself. Um, and you've got these moments of, of other colours captured in this as well. This is so it beautiful. is sensational. But it's, it's almost like a, a slight blue colour. Yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. It's like almost like a blue green that you're getting here. Spearmint, it isn't it? It's yeah. like a spearmint. Yeah, well, it's, it's almost like a, a very pale Olmec blue that we're, we're dealing with. It's probably, for me anyway, the most exquisite carving I've ever seen. Yeah. And if I saw this at Tucson, if I saw this at Hong Kong, I would never ask the price. I, I genuinely would never ask the price of this material. That's so gorgeous. I mean, we, we, we are in the realms of, you know, impossibility right now. It would have taken, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 hours to carve this. That level of detail. How many do we have of these? 98. Okay. Sorry, 72. Oh, God. Is Not that because of pre-orders or what? Is that we've, we only had 72? I think uh, it's a case of that's literally all we had. Okay. Literally all we had. People have already purchased ahead. But I don't no, know how. I'm, I'm all in favour of it. If there's a way you can find a loophole in the system, exploit it. Yeah, uh, totally. If you get this material, you can beat that queue, which is like two, three minutes long. Why not? That's live in the studio. Look that at that. Is it beautiful? How do you, I mean, to, to effectively have an amazing a flat piece of yep, jade yep, yep. and then create it's a tablet colors. of jade Yeah. And, and they're bringing it to life with that three-dimensional um, display. To create curves, you know, the natural curves and, and again, folds again, of the flower. You know, it's not opaque. I want you to understand that. So you've got this, look at this thickness of the material. That's the, you see that. Look how mm -hmm. thick this material is, okay? Wow. It's just a phone line. But you can see, that, like I said, it's like tracing paper. It's crystallized material. You can see it all the way across. That's unbelievable. You know, it's not like that is crystallized jadeite, gem grade jadeite that's been used for carving in Kotan. What's the carat weight on this, Ross? 140. Okay, 140. It's huge, carats. it's huge. Yeah. I'm going to do a crazy deal on this for all of our collectors. I mean, you've done crazy I know, deals. I, have. For I, know. I don't even have to say it anymore, do I? No. I don't have to say it anymore. I, I love this one. For me, this is literally, you know, if you can imagine an artist with a paintbrush. It's like a Renaissance know. painting. Yes, or totally. Like but it's, not, it's so much more than that. It's right. carving. No, it's not, we're, not, we're not painting with pigment on paper. No. This is jade eye yeah. being carved. Maybe a hundred hours work in every single one of these. Yeah, because they're going to invest that time, aren't they? Because you're looking at one of the most valuable commodities yeah. that exist. It's not machine exists. cut. It's not like, also as well, remember, with the round brilliant cut, it can be done extremely quick because mm -hmm. the machines are set up for that. Yes. So they're, they're calibrated for that. And then that's all they do. So mm -hmm. they're just like, da, 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 next one, da, da, da. This material is, is done by artists. And this is their canvas, the jade eye. I love um, that. We're going to bring the graphics in right now. It's 140 carats of Taipei master carving jade butterfly and flower pendant, gem crystal, full love crystallization that. of these goods. You guys are incredible. You're already on the phone lines. I think you recognize <laughs> that the window is closing. You recognize what is happening in the marketplace. Um, if, if it's possible, could we hear from Bernard uh, again, mm -hmm. uh, that, that clip that we heard before where he talks about what's happening in the marketplace and why, unfortunately, going forward, he will provide us only with type C goods. This is maybe one of your last ever, certainly of master carvings, your last ever chance to acquire something this incredible. Alison's just bought four of these, well done. Um, this is Bernard addressing you in English. As you know, there have been no many for some time in Kyrgyzstan now, which has drastically changed the market for jade. Taipei goods are at an all-time high here in the market. 
I want you to understand that these goods will not leave the Chinese market in future. We will provide the Type C for you from now on, and I hope your customers understand. The most limited item that we have had. 25 confirmations, 95 of you with it in your baskets online, and that's not even including the people on the phone lines. You are loving this one. Absolutely. I'm going to make this really simple for everyone tuning in. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do two crashes. The two okay. crashes, I'm going to do a crash. My first crash is a crash that I 100% guarantee I can't be beating on. There's, okay. there's no way at all. Um, and you can have a look. It has to be type A, though. I want it be carved in Kotan by the masters, and we can tell by the depiction. Um, the first price will be the price I can't be beating on. Second price is a price where you're going to want to put this into your heirloom family collection. Adam, you know what I'm asking for. I'll ask for that minute clock. Thank you, mate. He's already there. I'm going to start the clock right now. So essentially, you've got two minutes to get involved. The first minute uh, is a moment's grace, essentially, because this is where the price that I know that we can't be beating on anywhere in the world and then you'll have a minute before it sells out. Wow. Yep. This is how we're going to do it on this auction. I'm not surprised that this one is... Well, they've all been incredibly popular, but, yeah, this... I love... This is art in, oh, a, in a beautiful, 100%. beautiful gemstone. It's just even and it's, how... It's, it has that global appeal, right? You yeah. We love the Pixu, but it has the, it's the symbolism rooted in the Asian culture. Yeah. This... You know, these, these depictions are found throughout the world. Of course, of um, course. And, and it can symbolise many things to many different people. I think the butterfly is the symbolisation of something that is fleeting. And this opportunity is fleeting. You know, like I said, the window is closing. We've got this moment's Fragility. Time. Yeah, fragility, beauty, oh, grace. Love. And then we have the, 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 the flowers as well, which symbolise so many things to all of us. We'll all have our own interpretations of what we're witnessing here. I know what I'm witnessing, rarity. 500 quid, can't be beaten at that price. That's the wow. first price I'm giving you, 140 carats. And I'm looking at that and thinking, is it the lotus flower? It certainly looks like yeah, the lotus yeah, yeah. flower, of no, course. of course. Yeah, I, I am with you on that. Yeah. I, mean, I love these moments of the honey colours coming through, which is jade eye. It's crystallised honey jade eye that you're going to find throughout, dappled throughout mm -hmm. your masterpiece. OK, we'll take one more minute clock. This is the minute where you need to be on the phone lines. This is the minute where, once the final price comes in, it's going to be too late, I would imagine. We only had no, uh, 72 of these. 72 is all we had. And we've seen quantities of 200, of 100, gone. You've been in three-minute queues. We have nowhere near the quantity available right now. And that clock is ticking. Uh, you've it got is it there. Ticking. It's like a stained glass window. That's unbelievable, isn't yeah. it? That, that level. Is phenomenal. That seconds. level of trans transparency. Yeah, trans like I said, it's like a stained glass window. Oh, jeez. There are 15 left, Dave. Oh, well, we knew this. I and mean, we could stay at this price on 15. Yep. Yeah, I can see the queue. But I'm not. I told you what today's about. I told you what we're going to do. Wow. 15 left. 87 of you with it in your baskets. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. It's absolutely exquisite. I get 140 carats. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. You ready? £179. Pounds. Wow. £179. Pounds. I told you what we're about today. We've got your split pay that makes it accessible. My prices make it affordable. This is rarity on another scale. The mm. price on your screen is what I cannot be beaten on. And I'm going to 179 That's the price of a London Blue Topaz next door. Yeah, yeah. which, no, let's be honest, London Blue Topaz like a, is... Like a six-carat London Blue Topaz. Yeah. Not 140 carats of Taipei Masterclass. Yes. Jadeites from the legendary location of Kotan. So we go from Kachin State to Kotan, and it's here on your screen right now at £179. Wow. I know what I'd rather pounds. spend £179 pounds on. Definitely. Look, London Blue Topaz is special, it's great, it's got a place, but for me, if I've got £179 pounds and uh, I walk past two booths, and one's got a uh, nine carat gold London Blue Topaz in the window, and the other one's got a master carving mm -hmm. from the legendary location of Kotan and it's certified type A jadeite, and it's over 100 carats, and it's translucent. I know. Red. It's not even a, an internal debate. Oh, well, there's no, it's yeah. not even a, an internal debate. No, it's it, not. It's, it's not even straight a question. Too. I apologise, but that's the truth. I'm yeah. all about rarity. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And, and it doesn't and get any rarer than this. It's irradiated. Yeah, it's treated. 
This, no, no polymer detected, no resin, no dye. This came out of a boulder that's been lay in a mountain range for over a million years. And you've just got it for 179 pounds. You've got it for 179 pounds, like it's a standard auction. Do you know, there's literally, how many left for us? Six. Yeah. Six of these are left. It was the most limited. It's huge and it's so so wearable as well, don't Yeah, it really is, it truly is. I mean, uh, we did we had a can you see that pearl necklace that Claire actually demonstrated in the nine o'clock hour? Can oh, you yeah. imagine uh, maybe substituting out what, what she'd made a, t a tassel, but this on a long line necklace of cultured pearls? Oh, 100 percent It'd be stunning. It would be absolutely gorgeous. But legacy, that's the word that we Family heirloom, heirloom. jewellery. There's jewel look, that's the difference, right? You've nailed it. You walk past those two booths. One's got the London Blue Top as a nine carat gold. That's, I, I'm going to get that for the Christmas party. And then there's the other booth, same price, this tablet of carved jade eye. Mm. That's the one you're putting in the safe. Yes. You know, so that you've got the, the one, and you go, that looks nice with my dress. Yeah. You get it, and you're like, yeah, lovely. And then there's <laughs> this. Yeah, that's the difference. It's true. Yeah, no, I mean, like, London Blue Top is beautiful, but y m very few of you are going to put that in a safe and hand that down through the generations. And maybe you would, that's great, but. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Um, amazing. And this window is closing, remember. The window of opportunity. The last few seconds, because we literally have four chances left. Um, wow. Uh, just remember, though, because the last year, Hazel's just bought three. Why not? Uh, exactly. You've got two. Uh, you've got Erica. You've got Anne. You've got Dawn, Susan. You've got Brian. You've got Michelle. You've got Beverly, Teresa, Sue, Stephanie, Lee, Hilma, <coughs> Errol, Maker. Hazel's actually got four now. Uh, oh, well Marianne, done, West Yorkshire, all of you guys, congratulations. Oh, Alison in the city of Bristol's got four as well. Amazing. Um, this is the reality. Why wouldn't you? If you and can. That's ten, essentially almost 10% of the stock between two collectors. Two collectors. They've just bought 10% of this, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. That's a, and, uh, all power to you, to all being able to, yeah. to do it. 100%. You'll look back on this day, on this occasion, and go... <sighs> we might see you on the Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, probably. You know? I do, uh, yes. Take I do this think in and so. they go, well, this seems to be, you know, Taipei, Burmese Jade, you know, this incredible depiction, uh, you know, 140 plus carats, sensational, translucent, gem grade, um, well done, congratulations. They won't be saying that number though, will they? No. They won't be saying 179 No, they will probably write down a number and they, 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 the person that he's handed it in going, why are you giving me your phone number? And they go, no, that's, that's the valuation. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to those of you that joined us for this incredible elite collection of master carvings. And of course, we've saved the best till last. Oh this is, goodness. for me anyway, and I have to you know, just be upfront with you, for me, this is the most exciting auction I've ever been involved in. Most exciting auction I've ever been involved in. It is absolutely ridiculous it, it, what I'm about to do for you on this. I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely it 245 speechless. carats or 255 carats? 55. 255 carats. Oh, it's my as close. Goodness. You know what? Can you just do me a favor, Al? Yeah. I know we're going to shine the light through a Nogan Duck. Can you just hold it up? Sure. Just hold it up from there. We're not even going to get a close up. Just look at that. Look at that color. Are you for real? That is, that's as close as you're ever going to get to Imperial Green Jade, right? And then within the internal structure of the gem, when light passes through it, there is Imperial Green locked within. It is absolutely nuts. Now, we have, I think we have 97 of these. Am I right in saying that? I guarantee. There's going to be 500 people miss out. I guarantee it, because this is absolutely yep. the finest jade opportunity we've offered to our collection. And I don't think you know that's something that you. It's obvious. It dwarfs the largest jade we've ever brought to you next door. Dwarfs it, mm -hmm. which is fine. But like I said, that's not even the most impressive feature. The most impressive feature is that colour, and the internal structure of this haiga. That's mad. And I would say you have to get this valued. Yes. You have to. Yes. And I would say, oh, you know, a few of you need to get this valued. No, no. It's imperative that every single one of you gets this valued. That, what you're looking at is jadeite, type A jadeite from a boulder. Mm. Okay? They find something like that once every five or ten years. It's over 200 carats. It's polished to perfection. Look at the, 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 the shape. Look how it curves inward towards the center of the hole. Yeah. Look at how it tapers out towards the edge, so it gives you that wonderful finish all the way around the edge. It's phenomenal. And then it's translucent. Yeah. 
It's apps, and Elle's going to show you because you're probably going, no, nah, it's not. It's, it's opaque, isn't it? No, no. The light's going to come through this. And what's more impressive is when the light comes through it, it unlocks the imperial green color within. This is what they do with like black jade. They look for this. They look for this color. That's imperial green color. Wow. Madness. Madness. We shouldn't sell this below five figures. And you're saying, Dave, what do you mean five figures? I'm going to show you um, the material that I saw at Tucson. Okay? So this is the Rob report. They talk about that we've spoke about it. Seven ultra rare stones found at Tucson this year. That's what they're looking for. Tell me that isn't the color coming through this jade. That's the color. That is the color. And, and, sure and is. Roland Schlussel is quoted as saying, when we're looking at this 49 carat uh, suite of imperial jade, it's very rare that you have the glow from the inside. And then he says, looking at the one before last line, one jade in a million has that. And this color in a bangle would be $12 million. That was, that was <coughs> written a month ago. And then this is Roland and his wife, Nata, and the Pillar and Stone booth. Uh, they are incredible. Uh, Roland himself has been awarded the Rainer Diploma from Christie's mm -hmm. Auction House. He's the, the author of that article that you're seeing him holding. Um, these jades. Yeah. These jades on his booth. $1,200. And I mean, they're lovely. $1,200. The jades that they're sat on, those intricate carvings. Yeah. Over $11,000. Wholesale. 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 Yeah. And you're probably thinking, really, what, what else did you see at Tucson? Well, I saw that. I saw this. $10,325, that is. It's not, it was opaque. I have the same phone with me that I took that picture on, that I showed you this jade through this morning. I shined behind that, and nothing came through. And then I said to the gentleman, well, OK, it's $10,000, cool. How, what about if we take all of them? He said, no, I've only That's got it. one. That's it. I've only got one. Wow. And yours is a, a more impressive color, I would argue. It doesn't have the, the black uh, uh, mottling. It's genuinely the biggest deal in, in jewelry makers' history. Yes, it's, I got I'm The biggest deal in, in the group's history. And by the group, I mean I'm widening out to Gemporia, 18 years. It's the biggest deal we're going to give you today. Because if, if we go to Tucson and we be conservative and we say, OK, we, we might be able to get you another one for $10,000. The price I'm going to do today is absolutely incredible. And I want you to be sat down because when you hear the final deal on this, you're not going to believe it. It's the most impressive collection. Here's another one. This is a Goshwara jade pendant on first dibs today. It's £7,400. And, uh, you know, compare the colors. There's, there's a, uh, look, yeah. at the look at the mottling of color with the browns on the right yeah, of it, that, okay? It, 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 it's nowhere look near. Look at the consistency of color yeah. that we've got for you in our jade. This is crystallized, beautiful jade. I cannot actually believe what we're about to do. And Bernard himself reached out and he said, look, he's talking about this incredible collection of four incredible auctions. He says, look, these carvings are our most time consuming. These can never be cut to order like other offerings. And uh, we have to rely on the gods for the jade coming out of Kachin State for an undertaking like this. And then he says 200 carats or more is never easy with consistent color and translucency. We may only get material that is suitable in one lot every five or 10 years. Now, for the white material, we have to rely on the skin of the jade boulder, which is no easy task. And this is why it's sent to Kotan to be worked on by the best carvers in the world. And he talks about the symbolism. But then at the very bottom, he says, the last time we were able to do this with the same carvers was in 2007. Wow. It, wow. Um, let's bring the graphics in. I'm not going to keep you waiting. This is going to be, mark my words, the most impressive auction in the group's history, which is nearly two decades. Well, want, 20 have almost gone. Yeah, well, I mean, what, that's, is that a quarter of the stock, essentially? How many? Yes. Okay. They're all going today. They're all going today. These have been on pre-order. I would hate for anyone to miss out on this. If you have 100 pieces of jade, if you have two pieces of jade, five, 10, 15 pieces of jade, this is the best jade you'll ever own. It's the best jade I will ever own. I own it. That's why we don't have the full 100. I think we have 97. I own this. What? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what? what? No, no, no. You get, you get the strand as well, just so you know. 
But, um, um, and that's fine, and that's great, and it's amazing, and you get the shades of jade. I did, I, white, I did not know you get, you get the, the spinach sp green, you get those kind of blue colours, you get the russet tones, but, and, and in fact, you show that, Al, and I'll show this. Okay. You show the strand. It's, 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 but, it's unbelievable. That alone, yeah. That alone. Someone tell me the carrot weight just in the, that. I thought this, this was maybe something that we bring separately. Nope. It's included? Yep. Eight millimetre rounds? Yep. That's almost 500 carats on that, uh, on that strand alone. Yes. 489? Yep. Do you know what? This auction alone... What did I say? It's the biggest deal. Yeah, but I thought in I our was group's just history. assuming... No, but we have... I mean, like, look, I'm never... And I apologise for this. I'm never going to focus on that strand when this is here. I mean, yeah. I have to just be honest. Like, I mean, yeah, if, the, if we were just bringing you that, it's amazing, 500 carats, 400 and whatever carats. Yeah, the but... most impressive shades of jade. But there's no way I'm going to even talk about that when I'm in the presence of this. But I love that Adam's put it all together, and you can see this incredible offering. Collectively, we're offering you the craziest deal in our history. And, and that's why I said to you, we should, this should be in five figures, minimum. Mm. It's not just, oh, oh great, guys, look. Um, here's a, you know, sometimes we see, like, uh, something carved out of jade and it's just opaque and it's like yeah. a dog or something. Well, like, look at this, it's uh, 2,000 carats of jade. And it's like, well, yeah, it's jade in the loosest sense of the term. Yeah. I'm talking about you try and get a light through that dog. <laughs> you know, you try and do it. There's a reason they yeah, yeah. carved it into a doorstop. You know, yep. and then there's this material. Or it turns out like face rollers yeah, and things and, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, great, cool, let's put it in a candle. Okay, are you telling me the Chinese are allowing that material? Mm -hmm. This material, not no. a chance. No way. And that's why, same reason we can bring you, we could, we could gravel your drive with certain diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Golconda. Yeah. They're, they're two different gemstones, although chemically they're the same. Look One in a million. That. One in a million is what I'm holding here. In the words of Roland Schlussel, probably the most respected authority on jade, certainly in the Western world. And I've, I've not ever been in the presence of a jade that you can see from like 15 feet away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's madness. Yep. And it's not just, hey, look, that's a jade and it's what color would you call it? Is it um, like a sort of apple green or, no, no. That's as close as you're ever gonna get to imperial green. It's the closest I've ever got to imperial green. I agree. Okay? And then, I'll show you something even more impressive. You're 15 feet away, okay? Well, I mean, like, I'm saying that like I'm a, a tradesman and I know. I have no idea. I'm saying that's a good guess. Oh, I don't know. But look at that. that that's look how far incredible. Away look how far away you are. Oh, my goodness, Dave. That's absolutely incredible. Crystallised Taipei jade. And when you get the light, that's imperial colour. Yeah. That's a yeah, color. it's that it's those moments of transparency that's literally and, and, throughout and again, the whole. I'm just going to go back to what uh, our good friend Roland said, and he said, "Look, one in a million has that." So, you know that sentence along the second to last line, going into the last line. One jade in a million has that. It's very yes. rare that you have a glow from the inside, and that color in a bangle is twelve million dollars. And we've got 255 carats in this. And then let's take a look at the strand. Let's 489 look. carats. Yeah, and let's inspect the kind of jade out that's on off here, you know, just there. Oh, it's gorgeous. You've got, like yeah. I said, you've got the shades of green, really. Yeah, all shades. You've got the white. You've got the, the incredible and impressive, beautiful greens. You've got the spinach greens. You've got the apple greens. You've got some beautiful kind of almost old make blues. Jane's got three of these. Susan's yeah. got two of these. Yeah, well done. We, we don't even have 100 opportunities because I own one. Have okay. you got yours? Yeah, for sure. You think I'm going to come and join you today and just let it slip by and Wayne convince me to go on the wish list? Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. Look, the wish list is great. It's amazing. Like, it's, thank God we have it, but it's useless right now in this function. Mm -hmm. no, telling me right now someone's going to send this back? No. No one. No. No one is no. sending this back. Not in their right mind, anyway, That's would right. send it back. No. To, well, yeah. If, the, if, you, if you do... Mm -hmm. I will definitely be taking it. Yeah. You want to send this back, I'll come and collect it. Yeah. Because that's crazy. But anyway, Ross, you give me a price and then I'll give you a price. 
And that's how we'll do this. Ross? You give me your best price, Ross. You give you know, your you've got best what, what, price. The collective price here. 489 carats in your strand, 250, I can't even do the math, but 255 carats in the Haigu. That's impressive, man. That's I don't good, even, that's good. I actually yeah. don't know if I can beat that. That's it, auction over. <laughs> Congratulations, well done. That backfired, didn't it? Yeah, backfired I, I, I thought you were getting, come in at 10 grand or something, man. Give me something to work with. He's, like, he's, like, he's just come in at like, the deal, like a rock bottom deal. He's like, yeah, yeah this is my best deal. Yeah. Like, geez. Basically. Okay. All right, then fine, we're, we're, we'll, we'll do our best, we'll work with that. Um, how many do we have left? How many's left? 47 left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Adam, let's do it, let's have that minute clock. Start oh, wow. It. This is, take a drink wow. in, have a good look at it. I it's like, incredible. yeah, this, you will be the custodian. I've never seen, ever, ever, ever seen that colour and probably never will again. Never will again. Like you said, it is, it's as close to imperial yeah, I mean, that we'll ever see. Well, let's see how imperial it is, ready? Let's take a look at the strand on Elle's hand. Uh-huh, it's beautiful. Well, that's green jade. Yep. Yeah, we say this is an incredible green jade strand. Mm -hmm. How amazing is this? You know, look at the colours. Some of those are bored. That one on the far right on my screen is, we'd say, look, it's bordering on imperial green. It's bordering on imperial green. Is it? <laughs> yeah. You know, this is the reality. Yeah. If that's, if that's green jade, what's this? Yeah. And, and that's what is on offer right now. You've got 10 seconds. Wow. 10 seconds. We did have 47 left. Um, I don't know what we have left now. 30, 40. 20, I don't know. Oh. All right. Ross, you forced me into it, mate. Um, take a thousand pounds off the price. And I want to say a massive congratulations to every single one of you That's that incredible. has joined us throughout this incredible event. We did a whole day event yesterday, nothing like this. Me and Elle have joined you this morning um, and, and we're thrilled that you guys could join us, You know that you could collect these incredible treasures from Catching State. We're in triple figures. We're at 249 pounds on four uh, split payments. Give me a minute clock. What? Yeah, give me a minute clock. So I was just about to say, Dave, you've won. You've this is my final deal and I'm leaving. <laughs> my final deal, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it to you guys. This is what you've been waiting for. You were circumnavigating our own system. Mm -hmm. You were getting in and already pre-ordering this. We had less than 100. And what I'm about to do is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most ludicrous deal. And I'd like to say that I've ever done, but I, I guarantee the most ludicrous deal the company's ever done. Yeah, I did. The company's ever done. And let's go back to that piece at, at Tucson that we just saw, the one with the calculator in shot. That's how they show me the price, on a calculator. Because I don't want to say it. Because it's, <laughs> so it's so expensive. I don't want to say it out loud. $1,325. Yeah. Yeah. At Tucson this year. That's wholesale, that's trade, times it by five, times it by three. A lot of jewelers do that as well. Yeah. Show the, show the price through the, calcul through the calculator because you don't want to verbalise it, basically. And then we have this, and then we've gone, oh, we're also going to give you 500 carat strand as well. Yeah, exactly. Right. In addition. Again, massive congratulations to you guys. Everyone pays this final low price. And just do me one favour. One favour is all I ask of you. Please go and get this valued. Please go and get it valued. Share them with me if, if you feel comfortable. Share them with Elle. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to get this insured. Yes, For the definitely. correct replacement value and, and to the hundreds of you that are going to miss out on this deal I want to apologize mm. you know deals like this even to the, the, the most um, respected jadeite dealers in the world only get them every five to ten years we got as much as we could yeah we got just under a hundred opportunities for our collectors here at jewelry maker and and you know we haven't even put it on our sister channel we've come to you and we've offered you this incredible deal and we've put the strand with it as well Half the price. Hey? Half the price. That's your deal today. That's your incredible deal today. £199. Yeah. We're doing it. And you got the four-way split pay Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. You got everything. Thank you for joining us. Thank you wow. uh, for, for, for being part of this incredible event, something that will live long in the memory here at Jewelry Maker, and mm -hmm. myself and Elle personally and the whole team that's involved sure. in this. But this is something that is irreplaceable right now. And even Bernard himself 
has told you that. We're at 499 for the most impressive jadeite piece of jewellery that our company has ever seen. The, the, the whole company. 20 years, pretty much 20, 20 years. years. Yeah, 20 years. I, I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. You can yeah. get that home for £124.75. Uh, yeah. Interest free, of course. But imperial green. Yeah. Susan, Jane, you've got three. Patricia, Hannah, Linda, Jennifer, Susan, Brian, Erica, Isabel, Eileen, Jane, Margaret, Leah, Christine, Deborah, Perry, Susan, Mary, Lynn. Uh, collectors joining us globally as well. It's nice to see our gems collectors as well. Um, it, it is, like I said, the most insane deal mm. that we've ever done on, on J9. The, not just in carat weight, in color, in quality, in translucency, yep. with the strand. The ability to be able to do these incredible deals is, is fading fast. We will not be able to do this going forward. Yeah, I mean, we've been quite open and honest about that and sort of shared with you that, um, uh, you know, we get d incredible deals from a, a few uh, internationally recognized jade traders. Um, Vernon has said, look, we can't sustain this anymore. Type A jadeite, I'm not going to be able to offer you. We're going to have to sort of welcome, really, your type C. Um, so seize the opportunity to grab these. We can see you on the phone lines. Hello, Alan, new customer, new customer. West Midlands, we can see you there as well. Get this home. Absolutely. I've never seen anything like it, and I probably will never see anything like it again. Unbelievable, Dave. Uh, I'm going to ask for a minute clock. Pardon? I'm going to ask for a minute clock. There, how many is left? 20. 20 left. Everyone pays the final low price. We're not leaving this show today with any of these. And I'm not taking postage and packaging off. I'm not taking 50 pounds off. We're going to do a wild deal. Um, and, and, you know, look, Colin's not in today. He, he works from home on a Tuesday, which is great. Put my phone on mute uh, and then, you know, just leave the building quietly. This is for you guys. This is for every single one of you for the last three years that has been with us, that have collated uh, your, your, your incredible collection of jade. You know, some of you have 100 pieces, some of you have 70 pieces, 60 pieces. I can mm. see people in a queue from Gems TV. I can see you loyal collectors from Jewelry Maker. Yep. Um, this is a thank you to you guys for joining us, you know, for, for our jade opportunities over the last couple of years. Unfortunately, going forward, this is completely off the table. Even when we could get jade over the last two years, two to three years, We've never seen anything like this. This should be beyond the realms of like us mere mortals, shouldn't it? We shouldn't be able to uh, get this into our collection. Well, it shouldn't be anywhere. It should be price and application. It should be five figures. Yeah. Right, I'm going to apologize now, and uh, I'm not apologizing to anyone except the contact center because this is going to go crazy. There's, what, 15 left, 20 left? OK, uh, 299 pounds. That's my final deal of the day. Um, the, the biggest and finest Jedi opportunity ever, and we've just done that. Oh, and we're giving them the strand still. You're not taking the strand away from this deal, Ross. They're getting it all. 200, uh, Ross is just saying, you said 299, I did, right? yeah. Said it, he yeah. says, I just want to make sure. It's live on TV as well, so we have to do it. It's 299. Oh. And you get the strand, and you get the four-way split pay. It's your opportunity today, uh, and I want to take a massive moment to thank those of you that are multi-buying, like Jenny in Gloucestershire, like Anjum in Essex, like Patricia in Lincolnshire, like Maker in Greater London, like Susan in Essex. Every single one of you has the ability to do it. There is six left in the world. You've got to be on the web checking mm. out or, or the app or, or wait in the queue. It's a free phone number. I don't know who's going to be successful. There's just names over there. That's absolutely incredible. I can't believe we've actually add a zero to the end. Yeah. That would and still an be an deal. amazing deal. An amazing absolutely. Deal. There are five of these left. Don't let it slip through your fingers. Because the reality is, Dave, could you get more of this quality well, of colour? We, we couldn't get it, like you said, if you put a zero on the end of that price. You know, if, uh, two songs, $10,000. Yeah. Like all sales trade, that's to me. Um, and you've just got this for £299. And a finer quality. You know, yours is transparent, translucent, should I say. And it has that imperial green locked in the crystal structure of this. And you've got two. Norfolk, you've got two. Essex, you've got two. Anjum, wow. you've got two. Gloucestershire, you've got two. That's amazing. Literally five. That's... 10% of the stock between four of you. Yeah. But savvy shopping. We've got Leah there looking for three of these. By the way, there's five genuine opportunities. You know, That's you it. Don't think, oh, it can't be me. I can't do this on the app, whatever. I'm saying to you, pick up the phone, pick up the app, get on the web. Yeah. And one of those five could be coming to you. Collectively, it's like uh, almost 800 carats. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, across the strand and also the amazing... 
Haigu. 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 Yeah, incredible shape, which is, you know, that central uh, uh, hole, in, it has to be one fifth of the diameter. It has to be exactly central. You've wow. got that wonderful divot that leads into it. You've got that rich, beautiful color. You've got the translucency and the, the, the finest green jade that we've ever achieved here at Jewelry Maker. And oh, it's incredible. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know really, I really don't know if Too we left. could ever, if we could ever, well, we won't be able to repeat anything like this. Yeah. £75, Dave. Yeah. On split yeah. pay. Interest free. Yeah, like you said, we don't even make anything on split interest. pay. It's crazy. The final one. The final one. Out of 98. Yeah. 98, basically huge custodians yeah 100 percent. like i said please go and get it valued i said that at 999 go and get it valued. yeah yeah yeah. and i i, Same, I totally agree with you it's it's it needs to be valued to get it, it added sure, to your insurance yeah. i mean like you get that on your insurance and, and you see what you can get for 299 after you know what i mean yeah because you're not a, getting a jade like that again to go back to sort of the, the sort of com um the conversation that we had a few moments ago ago it's you know, think what gemstones you can actually get for £299. Yeah, even here, which is where we do the best deals. I would yeah. get maybe a Kunzite or something. Kunzite? Yeah. Morganite? Morganite, yeah. And yet you've just got the most desirable in the world at the largest kind of weight ever with translucency, with the, the, the right colour criteria for that price on your screen. Well done. Incredible. And congratulations. Incredible. Dave, from uh, on behalf of everybody and all the collectors that got involved, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. And to you guys, I hope your picture you know, brings you wealth, brings you gold. Uh, and uh, I hope you get training that little dog. I will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, you know, I hope you enjoyed this incredible collection. I hope you go and get it valued, and I hope it lives long in your family for a very long time. Wow. Thank you. Gosh, isn't he incredible? Thank and well done to every single one of you that's managed to get hold of your the finest type A jade that I have ever seen, hands down, ever, ever, ever. Don't go anywhere because Claire is joining me for the remainder of the show. We've got some more beautiful kits, brand new, premiering today. And of course, your demonstrations. What else, sorry? The points, pendulums and sterling silver wire as well. And then we have those lovely Buddha candles. So we'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 to 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very jealous of each and every single one of you that got hold of any of those opportunities. Did you see them, Claire? They looked, they were beautiful, weren't they? Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Um, not to be. Uh, you know, you, th you might think we've peaked. Oh no, we've got more amazing, amazing goodies to bring you. Brand new premieres, and of course, demonstrations with the beautiful Claire McDonald. Now, just before we step, ignore Claire for a second. Is that all right? Sorry. Yeah, no, she's trying to find something. <laughs> so don't worry. We'll just ignore Claire for one minute. Yeah. And I'm going to bring you a few components because she's trying to track something down. Um, who's into crystal healing? They're crystal grids, meditation, uh, sort of the whole uh, mala, chakra vibe. And if you're not, that's absolutely fine because they can actually be incorporated to, into, into jewellery, um, maybe for the facet and the shape of the, uh, of the actual stone itself. But I'm about to introduce pendulums. Now, I know that uh, a couple of our Your Get Favourite guest designers um, and certainly some of the Jewelry Maker family are hugely into it. And actually on our sister channel as well, this is huge on our sister channel, uh, sort of your chakras. These are the pendulums that are coming up within Claire's kits. 
But I'm going to start with these, right? Oh, kits first. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. So I tell you what, I'll bring you the kits. And then we're going to step into... But you can pre-order those. Then we're going to step into the demo. Now, it's three separate kits. They all come with one of these beautiful Buddha candles, which I think I love these. If I tilt it forward, you can see you have the gemstones actually within, and they smell amazing. Each one, so you've got your amethyst, amazonite, and also your rose quartz. You also have individual gemstones. There's the pendulums. There's the, which one do you want me to start with? Let's do the rose quartz, that makes sense. There's a hundred of each. Then you have these lovely heart, in fact, let's just scooch it over like so. Then you have your heart sterling silver connectors. And then, if, you, if I show it to you this way, you also have your bezels. Now these bezels are 925 sterling silver. Let me grab the tweezers. And they are there waiting and ready for you to put in these beautiful, are they garnets or spinels? So a little look, jog my memory. Here we go. Bear with us. Is that the rose quartz? Yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought that was spinel maybe. Black spinel, yeah. 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 Oops. Little black spinels. Three of each of those cabochons, like I said, waiting, ready to be put within your sterling silver bezels. Um, I mean, wow, Claire. Oh, you, I love them. You, 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 that was the first thing you said to me this morning, actually, how much you love these kits. I, just, I think that I think the, the, it's the shape of the, um, the large gemstone, isn't it? It's, it's, it's so on trend. And they're just, again, really lovely, lovely components that all fit together really well. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you know you can make it's, it's quite simple. You know once you've um, uh, once you get it sort of like to fit around that uh, the pencil part of the gemstone, so it's a really really simple to make. Just love. I, I really really I like this style of jewelry. It's interesting and, and um, it's quite delicate. As yes, well, isn't totally, it? totally. And tactile as well. You know it's a nice. Well, we've chosen nice some shape. gemstones which are very uh, very significant in crystal healing. If you go with mm. that, fantastic. If you don't, that's also fantastic as well. Mm. Um, but pendulums. Um, there's a reason why the pendulum. If you look at the one that's closest to me, just for ease, um, there's a reason why it is faceted and tapered down almost like a pencil and that's because um, it's believed to channel the energy of the gemstone towards the actual heart itself mm. so that's why you tend to wear them as necklaces or uh, or long line necklaces at, at, at least now you're getting the rose quartz which we know is all about love don't we it's all yeah. about um, self-love it's about radiating boundless amounts of love it's about being kind to others being empathetic um, I, when I spoke and I, you know so Susie's really into this as well as mm. you are too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I, not nowhere near as knowledgeable, but yeah. It's, well, it's, it's, I just think I think a lot of people have been, haven't they? Over yeah, this? and I think it's, it's yeah. because everything that's gone on the past mm. couple of years. But mm. I had a conversation with Susie a while back, uh, and I was saying, you know, she's like, "How are you feeling at the moment?" And I was like, "Do you know? I'll be honest. I kind of beat myself up a little bit for not actually seeing mum as often as I should do. Mm. She doesn't live local to me." Um, and she was like, "You need rose quartz. You know, you, you know, overcome guilt mm. and things like that, mm. which we all do." From time yeah, to time, we're quite yeah. hard on ourselves, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, we are. Yes, you'd never, you'd never be to anyone else, would you? How you are to yourself? No, that's a, true. That's really yeah. true. These kits are beautiful, and don't forget, you get the lovely candle. Have you had your candle lit yet? Uh, I have had one. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> My mum would say, it's not the mouth it comes out of, it's the mind it goes into. You bunch of rotters. <laughs> All right, does this sound better? Have you lit your candle? Does that sound better? No, go with the first. Go with the first. Have you had your candle lit? Yes. <laughs> and what was your experience? Very lovely. <laughs> I need to stop now because I'll just keep going and going and then get fired. <laughs> this is your fault. 
It's totally your fault. Does it fill the room with fragrance? <laughs> It's a long burner. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I go? How did this happen? I don't know, but I'm genuinely panicking about how I get it back to the actual candles. Oh, dear me. You're a naughty one, you are. I didn't start you did. it. I'm talking it. about those candles. Yeah, yeah, of course you were. Of course you were. Um, loving these. Beautiful. I mean... I know what this kit is going to, and also I had a few conversations before the live show. Um, a couple of people messaged me asking the price of them. So I know what they are going to, Claire, and you would pay that price for the candle on its own. These are sterling silver components. They're 925 sterling silver bezel cups. They're beautiful black spinel capuchons. I know you can't see them the best on there, so I'll move them off. There we go. Beautiful little cabochons to go in your bezel cups. There they are. All 925 sterling silver. And then you have these uh, heart blanks, aren't they? Well, called soldering accents. Yeah. So, so what I would always think with those is, because you're getting so many, um, again, you go, it's, it, you know, it's, it can be quite time consuming to, um, to cut out, uh, file, you know, um, make it all yeah. lovely and neat, polish and those. Safe. Yeah. So that's why I just I just took a couple of them, um, each of the different ones, and made little stacker rings with them because those so soldable accents are so useful, so so useful. Yeah, and you can obviously waste if you're actually cutting it out of your silver. Yeah, sheet, you? yeah, and, and the fact so if you think about you know say you, for example you wanted to do um, earrings with them, mm -hmm. you'd need them to be about the same sort of size, wouldn't you? Yeah, um, you know, and to to do that Ooh, as well, I that's like that's those. that's quite. You know that that can take time so i just think when you've got those pre-made shapes yes you can add them to um you know in with say pendants and other things so i've put some with wire writing um you know, don't forget as well you can stamp into these so yeah you know and, and the fact of they are such great motifs aren't they you know yeah. heart is we're not even stopping at night 24.99 we've got three kits rose quartz amazonite and amethyst Look at that, Claire. That's gorgeous. Thank you. So that, that's you know that's uh, that's doing your uh, your wire writing um, with your sterling silver. Well, we haven't so it seen means wire writing can... for a while. Yeah, yeah. But we, and, and you don't do it very often um, and, and solder it. So it's it's nice to be able to to solder it and then have that little. Your wire writing is neater than my actual handwriting. It's, it's neater than my 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 writing. <laughs> <laughs> my writing's <laughs> dreadful. Look at that. They're absolutely gorgeous. Well, in twenty five seconds we are going to significantly drop that price tag. Now, if I've never done soldering before, which I, I assume is what you're going to be demonstrating. Yes, I'm going to show, yes. Is it, show it, is, it, is it a scary technique? No, it isn't. It isn't. I would say have, have some confidence of um, maybe, maybe have a go doing some um, stacker rings first, some mm -hmm. plain stacker rings. And then all you're really going to do is we, we can do this in different um, layers of soldering. So it's just breaking it down, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely breaking it down at different stages. And don't forget, you get the candle as well, so you can create that create, uh, create that create. You can create that lovely ambiance. Yes. <laughs> whether you do it, whether you whenever, make, whenever, whenever you just, if you decide to burn your candle whilst you're making jewellery, or you decide to have it on but later on, whenever. I don't stop it now. Behave, you terrible lot. Absolute <laughs> rotters, aren't they? Seventeen ninety nine. Because so I was looking at these as well. I was thinking, um, these would be nice little pots as well for, you know... Um, Plant pots? Yeah, for your succulents and things like that once you've finished. Have you got succulents? I've, I've, I've got a couple of... I've got a couple of succulents. Succulents in your in wooden woman? <laughs> <laughs> partial to a succulent <laughs> they'll be lovely for your succulents um what are the ones the the pearl the pearl ones texted oh yeah know. string of pearls string yeah of pearls, there we go <laughs> I didn't I like get on those. well with that. I love them, but um, yeah, I ruined them. I'm not going to lie. That's a string of pearls right there. In fact, can you pass me that succulent over there? Oh, yes, here we are. That would be lovely. Just because we oh. can visualise it. Oh, is he stuck in there, is he? Oh, don't, we won't ruin oh. the set then. But you can oh, yes, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's all going oh. wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh, but look, my you goodness. can imagine it, can't you, afterwards? You yes. <laughs> It looks good. These they're meant to drape. 
that's her. Oh, that's my meant. goodness. It's what they're meant to do. Yes, it is. You go in next, you find your string of pearls out in little pots like that. And that, that pot is ideal for that because it's a bit taller, on, isn't it? Yeah, you put yeah. them on a shelf and your string of pearls dangles down. <laughs> you do, that's what they, they do. But in the meantime, you've got some really lovely, you've got some really lovely gemstones and, we've had, and sterling silver. And we've had other um, candle making yeah. as well, haven't I we? I bought so, those. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. Them. Yeah. So you yeah. will, re uh, yeah, absolutely. You will use them again. Um, obviously, any questions for Claire about regarding best put the pills back, in not um, there we go. Uh, any questions that you have for Claire about the techniques that she's actually done uh, with these beautiful uh, kits, then um, keep dialing through, yeah, because we are live here in the studio. Carol, Rebecca, London, Susan, Northumberland. Hello to you, Alex and Maura, Carol, Rosalind, Jackie, Angela, Leslie and Pauline. That's what I'm going to buy you, I think, as a moving in present. What? A succulent? A succulent. Oh, thanks. Thank you. And maybe a candle. Thank you. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, for your new house, Thanks. your new pad, yes. £17.99. pence. If you saw that in a garden centre, mm. I like a little mooch around a garden centre. Yeah. On a Saturday It'd be a afternoon. nice, a nice high end, like it fancy would be garden centre. A posh one, yeah. get And you'd probably like be paying yeah. £17.99 for that on its own. What are you doing? Not going quick enough? We're going even lower, says Ross. Surely, I mean, that's a lot of sterling silver right there. For the candle on its own, which is gemstone encrusted. We've actually got the sprinkling of, of, of rose quartz on the top. I mean, this is part of, um, uh, this is, you know, it's all about sort of being mindful and, uh, and looking after oneself. This is a gemstone, as we know, unconditional love and friendship. Even if you separated these uh, components, and that was a gift. Yeah, and, and so if, you know, if um, soldering isn't your, your thing, those, um, the hearts that you've got there, if you, uh, whether you use your hole punch or, yeah. or, or you drill them, you know, you could, you could stamp into them as well. You don't have to do it, put a jump ring through. Those are individual sterling silver pendants. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah Which, yeah. you know, put them on a chain, that's going to be, a personalised pendant like that is going to be more than... Twenty pounds, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And did you did I hear on the grapevine there's sterling silver wire in today's in this hour? Yes, I think we've got some, haven't we? So, yes. um, yeah. so if you wanted to yeah. replicate uh, Claire's stacker rings, you can absolutely do that. Mm -hmm. At fourteen nine, we're getting it's getting silly now. I mean, that is that's, that's, that's precious metal. Yeah, I think I think even at, um, you know um, craft fairs that you know, small ones, you're going to be, it's going to be more than £15 it, for a sterling silver stacker ring yeah, like because that with a heart on silver. it. Yes. It is 925 sterling silver. When you start... And that's for one. Yeah. When you start looking at actually personalisation, I mean, go on to, not on the high street. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that app. Yes. Absolutely yeah. love that app. But as soon as you start personalising something, mm. it gets silly, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, Ross is giving you the candle for free. Isn't he? He's generous, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, you've you've already got lots of candles now, haven't you? <laughs> Did you buy these, Wayne? Have you lit these candles? <laughs> you have. Wayne's partial to a candle, you know. He buys a lot of them. He's he's particularly in, uh, uh, you know, particularly particularly likes a, um, a gem encrusted one too. It's so pretty, isn't it? it is That's pretty. really, really Genuine pretty. Nice cords. They smell lovely, these. Yeah, we've all been yes. saying that today. Yeah, they do. They do, they do. Uh, Luce is nodding as well. For the silver, it's, you actually bought this kit then? I would go and have a look as well at um, looking to get in, because you'd usually get individual soldable accents mm -hmm. from, from places. So the fact that you, you know, you're getting that many of the um, at the hearts is, is really great and like I say they, they're uniform so you know you could um uh it's lovely, lovely. yeah it's quite, you want them to all look like. uh, yeah it's they beautiful. smell literally like roses um really gorgeous really lovely beautifully floral so you know this time of year yeah it is ridiculous mm. price I know I know I know I know Wayne let's do the Amazon night now if I'm allowed a favorite this is my favourite. Yeah, I love Amma's Night. Amma's Night, so, so beautiful. Hey, what is wrong with me? Goodness sake. Again, you have your little Buddha candle. There's the Amma's Night, which is inside. This is all about communication. Um, I think it relates to our chakra colours as well. 
But yeah, uh, uh, Amazonite is a gemstone is believed to help us with, um, help us communicate with others and those around us. So you get that within the Buddha candle. I think this one's going to be really popular. Um, already going on pre-order. Look at that. I mean, it's, yeah, I love, I love this shape. The cabochons that you're actually getting here, well, 925, um, bezel cups um, then you get the cabochons to go alongside which two aquamarines and one clear quartz mm. so can you see there's the clear quartz these two are your aquamarines and then all of your beautiful 925 sterling silver stars which are about eight millimeters in this size you're getting 10 of those pieces as well and obviously um the pendulum itself so that's where you created yeah, so it's our, that one there yeah Look at that. This has been snapped up. You're loving the Amazonite one. That's so gorgeous, Claire. Absolutely yeah. stunning. So believed if you're into crystal healing to help us communicate with others, um, communicate correctly as well. Mm. Yes. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that's so important mm. uh, to be able to sort of convey what you're feeling and vice versa. Mm. 14.99. That's incredible for the silver work alone. Maria, Northumberland, Paula, Chantal, June, Carol, Alison, Leslie, Donna, Yorkshire, Gloria, Karen, Christina, you're all there. You would, I'd, pay, I'd expect to pay more than £14.99 for that candle. Yeah, definitely. And again, stars, which are very, very, very popular motif, aren't they? Yeah. Again, like with your heart. But also, I think, you know, and again, if, if you... Um, I don't know, maybe Ooh. making to sell for... I mean, we all love Amazonite, but I, I, I'm really always struck by... Um, so my daughter, Lo, who's 14, Amazonite is her absolute favourite. And, you know, how popular it is with younger people yeah, as totally. well. Yeah, totally. I think um, Monica Venedas had a lot to yes, do with that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, of any of anything, if she has a choice with with gemstones, that's that is always what she goes for. It is beautiful. Yeah. Do you know this one? Do you know what it smells like? Do you know it? What it's kind of, it reminds me of some. You know, if you were on by the sea, some beautiful fresh seaside mm. destination. It smells amazing. Do you see where I'm coming from? It makes me. It conjures up images of sea of the sea. It's what do you think? Freshness, of? isn't it? Not seaweed. No, definitely not seaweed. It smells lovely. <laughs> it smells absolutely. Oh, beautiful. they are lovely, aren't they? Just yeah. I'm loving these candles, Wayne. Absolutely. It's a really nice. It's a lovely. And the fact that you can make high end jewelry like this. And so I, I lit mine while I was. Um, did you? Yeah, I did. Had it on my um, did it help on my Durston shelf. Did it help? Well, it was just, it's just uh, that, uh, scented candles like that, aren't they? That it's a lovely, it's just a, it's a lovely. I just think it makes a difference to you, doesn't it? It's yeah. A, you know, it's just nice to have it on. It was, I don't know, it's a bit of um, uh, like a luxury. That's what I always think of ca scented candles. They're nice, aren't they? Not oh nice. yeah, I, I love having a candle lit in my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Do love it. And Wayne does. Hence why he's bought these kits. Um, he's, he was telling us the other day, weren't you, Wayne, that you like a candle lit whilst you're having a soak in the bath? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> here we go. Are they? Oh, look. They're lovely, aren't they? Really All lovely. about communication. Mm, that's oh, nice. That one, yeah. Oh, that one smells amazing. I love it. I, I'm, I'm, terrible at, I, I'm terrible at describing scents. But I don't have the strongest sense of smell. And, and honestly, these... these Candles mm. are beautiful. There are your bezel sets. They're like little cups, aren't they? That yes. you put your gemstones in. Yeah. Look at the quality of the stones. Oh my goodness. The cabochons. The cabochons. Amazing garnets. If I. If it's I, a real glow with them, isn't there? Yeah. Can you see that? I'm at the wrong angle. Look at those garnets. And again, you know, so because I'd, so I, so I've used um, a couple on the on the piece itself, but I'd got one extra. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so I've made that one into a stacker ring, you know, stacker ring as well. Because again, you've got all the, the different the different options, haven't you? Of, yep. um, you know, of what you want to do with those. Love when that. you've got great components, it gives you that that freedom to. You know the price, says Ross. And then you have the sterling silver suns. Oh, gosh, they're amazing. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, look at those. Should have been 24 says Wayne. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I can see that. I mean, that's a lot of sterling silver. And I'm against, you know, studs as well. And think about how that's going to look with all that detail. You've got the option there because it being the sterling silver. If you wanted to put your liver of sulfur on, it's going to really bring out the detail in there. High polish, you know, it's going to, it's going to again, look very, very different. But all, the, all of those, just put a tight, you know, drill a hole Love into this. that jump ring. And, and that's, a, that's a beautiful pendant. A hundred percent. All about positivity. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and in terms of there was a description of the. In fact, can I have those descriptions across the two uh, the three candles? Because um, I, did I see? Uh, is it bergamot on the on the specifications? Bergamot. Is it not? Is it bergamot or bergamot? Oh, I say mont. Yeah, I got it here. I say mont as well. Soy wax candles, by the way. Bergamot and green tea uh, essential oils. So um, nice, isn't it? Oh, it's mm. gorgeous. I really like this one. Mm. Oh, they're all amazing, aren't they? All amazing. Um, the Amazonite. Yeah, I know, but can, have you got the scent? Sorry, sorry. We'll switch in the graphics. I tell you what, don't worry. Don't, don't end this auction now. Okay, this time, and then we'll obviously do uh, bring in the demonstration as well. So this has got lavender. What's that? Vativa. Vetiva? Vetiva? Is that right? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Again, soy candle. Mmm, but it's lovely. Mm. And then your rose quartz. This one's got to have rose in it. Definitely. Yeah. So, soy wax with rose and black pepper. Ooh. Mm. Which is perfect, isn't it, with the rose quartz yeah. and then the... The spinel. It's hard to choose a favourite, you know. They're all absolutely beautiful. Mm. Wait a minute, you can get all kits for £35. Yeah, that's very good, isn't it? In a, in, a, in, a, in a decorative pot, ceramic pot like that, I think that's really good. Do you know that Wayne literally decided on the balance of essential oils? No. He literally did. Did he? Wayne, didn't you? Yeah. That's really sensitive. Yeah. That's a side of, of Wayne I wasn't aware of. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Pendulum is coming up. Your um, your sandstone pendulums, they're coming your way. You can Ooh. actually pre-order these. I know they're lovely, aren't they? We've got them in the midnight blue and also in the gold stone. So um, brand new, big quantities of those. They are available on uh, pre-order if you want to secure yours. So, Claire, take okay. These pieces are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. you. Think about it. Very commercial. Yes. Very commercial. Yeah. Three big necklaces and all those stacker rings. Yeah. As well. So you're, you're going to get an awful, an awful lot in there so I would you know again think about um, if, if, if you know you don't really want to replicate uh, my designs I'd be looking at these as put them with your sterling silver um, yeah. wire and you know having those as, as just lots and lots of stacker rings because they're so popular and we're just um, to recap bringing you the wire um, as yeah. well so yeah if you, if you want to sort of literally get your kits and then if you need the components as uh, com components I can't talk as and when uh, Claire is using them then uh, have a little look on our website or give us a message okay so um what i'm going to do is I, and i'll talk through a couple i'll show you one of the designs and i'll talk through because i try to do a couple of different ones um to give you different alternatives um so i might i might take them off actually if i take them off for a minute and then i'll um, all of them uh yeah is, is that all right thank yeah. you so if i then show you um on here and i can show you on like the overhead all around them so um, we're going to do a version of um, a version of this one here so you can see so this one has got a little bit of, of movement so what we're going to do is we're going to make so if we have a look we're going to make that section there okay and then it's entirely up to you whether you are so on, on this one I've used um, if I turn it around though I'm going to show you something that I forgot to do okay so this is a Come on. It? okay so I forgot to uh, clean up the back of it properly I'm really sorry um, so you can see here how this section has, has, um, has been created. So I've got one piece of, of wire and then we've, it's almost a, like a hairpin here and then soldered the, um, the solder black accent on here. So it's almost like you've got that, that hinged effect there. So that's that version. The other one, if you want to have, um, uh, let me have a look. Thank you. So this one's a little bit more um, ornate. So that, I think that's that's the beauty of um, you know these when you've got gemstones of this shape, you can make them as, as simple or as ornate as you want. So this one was um, so I'd made 
a circle. So if you imagine doing like a, a, a ring like that and soldering here, so a larger version, that's entirely up to you how large you, 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 know, you want that. So if I turn it all the way around, you can see. Um, so there's a ring here turn it on its side and then when we when we've balled the ends so we just heat up the wire and we're almost treating it almost like um like a tendril wrapping around and so we can um create that and that just gives it a nice uh, little bit of detail here and then you'd create uh, a spring or a coil and wrap around and that's what it's going to sit in so I've, I've actually glued this one as well um and then you'd solder here and here and that's that one there and you can see, so I've used, because uh, this one was larger, much more wire work, you can see I've used two of the, of the, of the bezels there. And then the final one. Do a swap. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, I'll just show you this one here. And again, so this one is, is the same. So we've got a, 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 the ring there that is, is soldered. Then your wire writing over the top. And then you've got your, um, the soldered heart. So I've soldered across here and here and at the back there. The final, um, the, the long, uh, so the rose quartz one, sorry, thanks mm, Elle, thanks no very much. So if I just show you this one, and this is, this is, we'll have a go with this. We can see how this one works in the same way. So if we look at it all the way around, so again, we're gonna, we've got the, um, if it looks like that, without anything, any chain or the wire on, so you can see, and then we've, we can solder the, um, the heart on here, but then on this one, just a bit more movement. So we've got two jump rings and we've got chain. And so you've got nice movement there. So there's a mix of, um, of, of ways we can do it. You can um, have a little go with your, um, with your wire and you can get a really, really snug, tight fit. Um, so if, if I show you this, so there's no, there's, no, uh, there's no glue on this one. So you can see I can... We'll, we'll shape it so that it's entirely up to you if you want to use a little bit of glue or you get a really nice snug fit so that it fits tightly around. I would probably go with try and get a nice snug fit and then tiny, tiny little bit of, of glue um, just maybe on one, one of the sides. So I'm just going to give this a wiggle to get this off so that we can see the bit that we're going to make. Okay. So to, to start with something like this, I'm going to work with my sterling silver wire and if you, if you want to anneal it you can anneal it to make it um, soft so that's just heating it up getting it lovely and soft um, and what I'm going to start to do I'm going to do this in um, a couple of stages so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold and push against here and I'm just taking my time because you, you have got it won't follow them and get them exactly but it will pick up some of the angles that are on the shape of the um, uh, the gemstone so I'm pushing just taking my time and what I would say at this point if you if you want to have um, a back and a front to it that might um, that might be a good time to have a look at the markings on the stone and decide if you've got a, a preferred uh, back or front okay so I'm just gonna hold that there so I'm going to take some chain nose pliers I'm just going to start. I'm not. I'm just pushing against. I'm not pushing with lots of force. Just a little bit to get it so it's a little bit more of a snug fit. Okay. So I'm going to have it so that it's the front here and it's going to be the back there. And what that would do is that just. Um, it depends how neat my soldering is. If it's not really really neat, I could always put the solder black center to cover up that join there if I wanted to. Okay, so I'm just going to have that so we can see that that sort of fits and there's a there's if anything, you know, it's quite it's quite wide. If you wanted to do the full the full spring, you would just maybe go around uh, a couple more times with that. So let's cut here. So I'm going to just snip that side. And let's go with that side there. Okay, right. So let's pop it back. Because remember, we've you know we could have changed the by just by cutting it, it can alter it slightly. So again, I'm just going to then hold it in place here, and I can see I really am going to start to snip. We have the wire that you're working. Oh, perfect. With right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
So is, is it the same gauge curve, one mil? Uh, yes, yes it is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, if you wanted to replicate these designs, that is, you know, the, and do the rings as well, that is what, you, what you'd need. And this is precious metal, 925 yeah. sterling silver. Yeah. Ignore that, obviously that's not the price, obviously. Um, okay. Almost eight grams. It's a lot of rings that you're going to make out. Yeah, an awful lot, an awful lot. Um, and it, and they're so, you know, don't forget when you when you're working with that sort of gauge as well. Once you get to like that one, um, that one mil, you can um, texture uh, texture as well. So if you have a look at, there's an example. So that's a one mil. That's a 0 0.8. I wear these all the time. Um, and you can, you know, you can texture those as well. And if you think, you know, you might think, oh, that's not really. Um, structural enough to be you know uh, it absolutely is you know I don't ever I don't ever take these off and you can see so they really really do hold their shapes so it's worth you know if you've got ring mandrel hammers things mm. like that you know and just uh, just stack them up but that that gives you I think a good example of so mm. this one here is the one mil and this one is a 0 0.8 so you can see and, and like I say I don't I don't take those off so all I'm doing is I'm going around with that that one mil and you can see now so it's a little bit tighter okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we are going to work it a little bit more as well. So I might just take a tiny, tiny, weeny bit off there. Because I'm taking a tiny bit off. Sorry, if I just oh, jumped ahead there, I'll just explain why I've done that. I took a tiny bit off because if we're looking around it, you can see, can you see, you can see um, there are gaps here. So there's a gap there. And you can sort of see the light around it. And what, what we are going to do is we are going to, once we've made it, we've made it a solid uh, ring, we are going to go around with our chain nose pliers to make it a little bit more. We're going to put those angles in. So I can afford to take a little snip off there. So I'm just going to make sure, in the same way, if we imagine if we, you know, if you scale up with this and we were doing um, uh, a stacker ring, we're soldering so what we'd want to do is we want to make sure that we've got a good join here so and you see I'm going back and forth as if we were soldering um, like a, a jump ring we want to make sure that that is a really good fit so just take your time with that and get that there we are okay so there we are we can see that that's a good join there so I'm going to move it onto here because then what I'm going to do, so if I just pop that to the side for a minute, and then I'm going to show you how to lay out. So if you've got jump rings and you want to cut jump rings, but if you've got all that wire, what you might as well do is create your own here. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, if you've got round nose pliers or bail making pliers, we're going to make a couple of just little hooks to go on the side, these little loops here. So again, so I'm going to go off, make sure I've got the flat side. Let's pop that down. I'm going to make another one. And remember, if you think about um, other demos I've done, so you can see that all these little tiny bits, we can keep, we can keep those. Let's just give us an idea of here. And remember, you could do your granulation if you wanted to, because granulation would look lovely um, on these too. So let's have a look how they're sitting so you can see i have used the flush side of my pliers on both of on both of those because again we want to we, remember we're fitting it all together um, like a jigsaw so what what i do if i'm going to talk through bits and then we'll jump on to the next part of the of the soldering so the first thing i do is i would solder that little bit there okay so that that join so and i'm going to that's my first layer of of soldering so I would use my hard solder for that where it's going to be at the highest temperature so it's solder here and what you might find depending on what your um, what your soldering is like um, you might need to clean up a little bit on the, the inside part um, you know tidy up once you've done that that soldering when that's a complete ring that's when you're going to go in and you would then go round and so if we imagine, imagine that without the loops on it, this is where you're, you're going to... I would start with one at the front here with your chain nose pliers. So you're popping it in to get that, give it a little squeeze. So you're turning it from what's a very rounded shape into having these nice angles. You can just see them here. 
because if you look at if you look at the um, a cross section of the of the of the gemstone you're working with, you know, it's it's not a tube. You know, it's got those angles. So you're looking to I would make one squeeze at the front, which would be this one here, then pop that in, and that will show you very very clearly because you'll you'll straighten one part, which then affects the rest of the shape. So you're going to work your way around to give you that sort of shape there. When you're happy with that, so if we imagine we've done that, and then I'm going to show you this, this bit here. So I'm going to now move. So if I move this over, I'm just going to set this up, Elle. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do you want me to do this? It's, do you mind? Is that yeah, all right? Yeah, Thank no, you. Yeah, that's all Thank good. You. Just that's good. Thank because you. um, you'll notice, actually, that one of Claire's pieces is using uh, the infinity chain. So Ross is like, oh, we've got some of that. Yes, stock. please. Let's Thank drop you. it into uh, the show because, I mean, it's all 925 sterling silver, Claire. So, yeah. you know, they're not... Well, that's what you want, isn't it? You want to yeah. keep that integrity through the, the whole piece. It's a metre long length. This is my favourite of all the chains that we actually bring you. Um, not only the symbolism of the infinity design, that everlasting, endless uh, sort of a figure of eight design, but also the fact that you have those open um, with a figure of eight. You think about it, you've got those two shapes. Well, one shape, but you know what I mean, the two circular areas, which you can wrap loop onto. Yeah. So even if you don't do soldering, I know this is what your demonstration is going to be, but if you don't do soldering, you haven't got to solder the end of these. You can literally just, just wrap loop. link in, yeah. yeah. Can you? And link yeah. in with the jump yeah, you can. and everything. Um, I love this chain. And we've done, this is actually the, the item that we've done the biggest quantity auction of ever. It's, it's so useful. I, I do love that chain. I it's do it's as my, well. my go to chain. I just think you've got that nice, it's really delicate, but like you say, you can add into it very, very easily. Yeah. And if you're not great at maths as well, um, I find that really useful because it's a bit of a guide to um, to work because obviously the way the, the loops sit, mm -hmm. it's really quite pronounced of, of which direction, which I find really helpful for yep. when I'm Not adding into it. 48 pounds and 99 pence. Under 20 pounds and we're not even done. The, uh, the, the first time we ever brought you metre-long lengths of sterling silver chains, uh, they went nuts, and they always do, because you don't lose anything. You're not cutting up, you know, finished pieces of jewellery uh, to make, say, a bracelet or a necklace or an anklet or a mm. pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. Nothing is ever wasted. Yeah. This one in particular, because, and this is not, not me being derogatory to, uh, say, a curved chain or a snake chain. I love them both, but... I would have to solder those probably, wouldn't mm, I? Mm. Um, you know, it's not, it, I wouldn't be able to just literally put a featherweight head pin on. Yeah, a sometimes the link is just way too small, isn't it? Either. Yeah. Yeah. Now, last Very time small. I actually brought this chain to Air Claire, we had 2,000. We did say it's now been made officially part of our essentials collection. Oh. Shall we match? Is that what you said? No, 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 yeah. Shall we match its usual essential sterling silver price tag? Ignore $19.99. We're not doing $17.99. Not, not even $16.99. What? You just said that. Oh, yes. Can you believe that for all that sterling silver, Claire? No, no, and it, it, it's such a useful, useful way of. It's a lovely chain. It's useful to have it in those lengths, isn't it? That you you can then decide. Eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Literally thousands of these chains. Very, very good. Yeah, yeah. It's easy that's, to that's understand. That's really good. Why. I like. Do you know another thing feature I like, Claire, and I um, is is the fact they alternate back and forth. Yeah. So, so that, that's what I, that's what I meant. So when I look at that and I'm adding in. Um, I just find it a lot easier with that with that chain to mm. add in if you are going to do bubble style or um, just add in like a you know little little detail with a wrap loop or a charm or something. I just yeah. I just find it easier. I think maybe because it's a fancier link, it just seems to sit. Can you count it really it well? Easier, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That makes sense. And again, you can literally open and close a bolt ring clasp on that. Can you? Yes. Yeah. You can yeah. literally open and close your featherweight head. Yeah. Rings. And the little bit that you know again Jump keep ring. keep it. Because that then goes into, you know, with the, the little bits here that would granulate up. So the tiny bits that I've cut off there, keep all the little links, if you know, that you've cut off and then um, heat them up. Ooh, Make tassels. them into little balls, yeah. Yeah, tassels would be tassels. good with that. Yeah. 
That would be lovely, maybe with your kit. In the yes, perfect. Um, I'll leave that with you. Good luck, good luck. Back to you, Claire. Are you ready? Yes, please. Thank you for that. Thanks. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how then um, and we'll, we'll do it all in one go here. Hopefully, is that, is that all right? Mm -hmm. There we are. Right. OK, so I'm just going to, I'm going to flux some of this. So you can see, so the parts that we've got, we've got our, um, remember, we're going to do the join there. We might have already done that, um, but we'll have a go with the one we'll see how it works and I'm gonna do here and here so it's quite a bit of flux on there let's lay it out okay so let's set it up so we're gonna have here and this would be a little probably a little bit more shape do you know what I'm saying about it with the chain nose pliers we're going to try and get good contacts there if you feel like um, it's not it's not fitting together very well just take it apart and work with your um, work with your um, files. You can go do your needle files and get it so that it's tidy. There we are. So I'm just going to bring in here and we'll see how all this goes. I'm not overly keen on those tweezers. I don't know. You know, sometimes. Don't like these. No, I'm all right, thank you. I, I was using the. Um, I use these bit slightly scraggier ones. Well loved. Yes. Yeah. Come on. There we are. Let's pop that in there. See if that wants to go. So you can either I could either put it. I don't know if you can see this. Let me just have a look. I'm going to try and get it so that it's going in between the two bits of the the wire. Let's pop it in here. Let's bring that in. See how that's going to go. And I'll have another couple of bits there. So I'm going to have, I'll have that one on here. And I'm just sorry if I'm sticking my finger right in the way. No, we're, we're looking from bird's eye view. That's good. Let's try and get another couple more pieces. Let's bring this in. So I'll have this one here and this one here. There we are. Right, let's see. I'm not sure how with the joins these are, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see where we are there. There we are. And that one in there. So just take your time with that. And we're going to try and get, you know, it's not, it's quite delicate uh, silver here. Let's have a, okay. So we've got quite a bit of small, it's a small piece. And it's, um, I have got quite a lot of flux. So we'll see how it, how it works. Bring it all the way around, even heat. Yeah, so that one isn't joined. Let's have a look. Here we are, that one there. So, ah, I might have done one good one, one dodgy one, which is, might be quite good. Maybe I could try and pass that off as that was intentional. <laughs> so we can see, but actually, I'm, I'm going to stop there and show you the difference and then so what I would do. So let's have a... So can you see this one here when that's come off? So if I if we go back... This one here, it looked like, so it's, I hadn't actually, it wasn't actually touching and joined on that section. So you can see where the solder has just run along this section rather than including that one there. So the tiniest gap, remember that solder can't jump, jump across and that one hasn't. So you pop that back in, but this one has... That one has gone okay, you can see on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we'd clean that, pop that back in the pickle, redo that, flux it, and make sure that the join was there. So you can see how, how that one would work. So if I just pop that in, and that would give us da, 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 da. So something like this, okay? So we can see where that is, that has joined there, okay? And it's got the, um, and it's got the, the angles in here, okay? So what I would say is I would um, 
be tidying up a little bit more with my needle files, the round sections there and this section here. We want to make sure that because we've got our two components that they're going to sit in, that's going to fit in properly like that. So your next bit of um, soldering, it's entirely up to you how you would um, how you want to uh, do it, whichever, you know, whichever kit you've got, or if you're going to mix and match the accents. You've got your, your, the little heart, so you could then solder, if you wanted to, your bezel cup onto the heart. Mm -hmm. So if imagine that I'd soldered the bezel, bezel cup onto the heart. I've cleaned all this up. So if I pop that on here. I'm just going to pop a little bit more. Actually, I might use I might use this one. I'll show you with the in case that people have got the uh, the paste as well. Let's have this one here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the the paste on there. Oh, it's quite warm. So actually, what's this called? So that's just that's your solder um, solder paste. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Depending on what people have have got at home. So I'm going to have that over there. Let's pop that in. And you would then, because we've got a nice angle there, we would then bring this down, make sure it's sitting straight. I'm, I am going to stick my head over the top now. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to bring that across. OK. So now, if we're thinking again about um, quantities of, and the amounts of metal, I want to try and get my torch onto that, onto that, uh, onto the heart because it's larger. And rather, than, and so not onto the, not onto the, not onto the more delicate bits. Okay, and then hopefully starting to go. And we see it's starting to let's get a bit of heat into it. There we are. I think that's gone. Let's have a look. Okay, so if I then turn that around, let's have a look. Can we see it on there? I'm going to then put it into the water. So if I'm just going to bring that over. That sound. Great, isn't it? So then you've got, you'd be cleaning all of that up. And don't forget, once you've, if you've heated it up, it might have uh, slightly come out of shape a little bit. Mm. Um, so you just go back in with your pliers, clean it all up with your, your Dremel, tiny bit of glue on there. Oh. And there you have it. So there's nothing, you know, you can then add your chain or if you want to make that, that almost like that hairpin trapeze. If I just sort of show you all the way around. So it looks a bit manky at the moment, but that's because we haven't polished it. Yeah, yeah. It's all like sterling silver. Yeah. I found some sterling silver the other day in my, uh, in my jewellery drawer that was, you could barely recognisable, but you just give it a little polish. Yeah, and it comes up like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so, yeah, so that's how you, that's, and you can add in whichever accent you, obviously you clean all that up, but that's how you'd make the, the connector there. Amazing. So beautiful, Claire. There we are. Beautiful so kits. Beautiful. Really lovely. Really lovely. Um, well done. Make sure you check out your baskets on each and every single one of those kits. We've still got more to bring you between now and the top of the hour um, because we have those amazing sandstone pendulums. What are we going to be doing first? Now. Which one first? Gold first. It's a star by. Now, do you know, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Crystal healing, mm. pendulums, chakra, um, mindfulness, generally speaking. You know, whether it's, uh, and I'll say it as it is, Gemporia was never really something that delved into that. Um, and it was because it was really, you know, it's not scientifically proven as such. It's more of a belief system. But 
It's absolutely everywhere. As long as we say, look, this has not been medically or scientifically proven, but it, it also is something that has been discussed for literally centuries. You know, the idea of rose quartz for unconditional love was thought up with ancient Greeks and Romans. Um, mm. And that sentiment, if you like, has always been passed on. Now, pendulums, I love these. We, I, don't, but I don't recall ever having them actually no. in sandstone. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that on the, on the treasure. Train, yeah. Yeah, isn't it lovely? And then you've got the little, you've got the little bead. Do you know what I, what I like most about this? The fact that it is that length of chain. Because you could put yeah. that on a, a key ring if you want. Yeah. If you wanted to. Something that was easily accessible. This is why you love sandstone. That's why you love it. Mm. It is mesmerically beautiful. Mesmerically. It is like a galaxy, mm. absolutely. And I think but, that shape as well, it really enhances it because you've got big surface area there, haven't you, to see that, all those sparkles. And the idea of the pendulum is that if you, uh, again, use things like crystal grids or, mm. um, uh, I know there's lots of different things in terms of helping you decipher direction and give you guidance. Like I said, none of this is, uh, is medically or scientifically proven, but many people do actually believe in that as well. So you let the pendulum sort of swing over, say, a crystal grid. I mentioned that because we have actually yeah. had them before, and it will give you that guidance. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? But also, I mean, you could just turn that into a lovely necklace. It's just a beautiful you? object, isn't it? Yes, like pulls. Mm. It comes with the chain, 35 carats of... Stunning, stunning sandstone. Ignore that. Should we take it under £20? That's why you love sandstone. It's a man-made, beautiful, beautiful creation that just plays with light. It's taking the inspiration from Mother Nature's sort of finest treasures. Imagine that in a window. Because I think yeah. you're going to see rainbow spectrums yeah. from it. Not done there. How many do we have? 200? We do, don't we? Big quantity of these, brand new, never been on your screens before. 35 carats, even down to the top. Let me look at the quality of that bale at the top. Yeah. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. What would you do with this, Claire? Would you? I, do, I really liked the idea then that Adam said, you have it in your car. Yes. Imagine that, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, was it was Kat it, that said that? Kat, <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Kat, that's, yeah, because you know what, you're going to see all those, love, you don't want it to be distracting, of course. 14 pounds and 99 pence, but there's a clock ticking on your key rings. Mm. I've turned this into something that I put on my key rings and then it's yeah. easily accessible. But it is a lovely, and like the, like the long line necklaces that we've, you know, we've yeah. had quite a few, haven't we, today? It's, it's nice for that. No I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a suggestion. I'd take it off that chain and use that as a pendant. Yeah, we've got a, a jump rate. You could open it really easily, couldn't you? And then I'd actually use that bit because the bale's so lovely. What do you think, Claire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd actually use. You could that attach other wire work as well if you wanted to, couldn't you? Maybe if you've got your sterling silver wire and you wanted to. Yeah, Adam, what were you thinking? On a doorknob? <laughs> As the doorknob, or just hanging off? Oh, you just lit. Well, I, I joke actually because Willow's got lots of key rings and things like that hanging on her door handle. Um, so I joke. Nine pounds and ninety nine yeah. pence only. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh, oh, oh! I've got an idea. Oh. You know when you make? Oh, oh, oh! oh. You know when you make your amazing Christmas decorations? This could be at the bottom. Oh, lovely. Like your ball yeah. balls. Your yeah. lovely ball balls. Your you can have balls. a little pendulum at the bottom of your ball balls. <laughs> I'd have it, like, laying on its side by next to my candle. What, just placed? Yeah. Just yeah. placed there? Yeah. Pourquoi? Yeah. Because I think it's a beautiful shape. Okay. Yeah. Just like that? But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, on my windowsill. Okay. Or on my coffee table. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. We're not done, Claire. We're going even lower. These are brand new premieres. We've got 200 of them available. 
you've got a little round cut, the classic sandstone colour, which is these really beautiful, warm terracottas. I think of places like Morocco mm. and stuff like that. Yeah, and I spices. And yes, heat. Yes, heat. Yeah. Uh, 45 seconds, we're going to take it even lower. You know what? Even if you haven't got a Scooby-Doo, what are you going to do with it as of yet? It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It is a nice thing. Yeah. It is a lovely thing. Not something you don't see very often. Just to hold it up to the neckline. But see what I mean? It could very easily be a pendant. Mm. Couldn't it? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Lewis. They're flying out the door already. So that would be a really nice pendant. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> We've got a big quantity and that's the only reason we're going lower. What about this? It is jewelry oh, maker yeah. after all. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah, for. I mean, I could, yeah, hang on a second. <laughs> 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 Especially with my ears. Hang on. Everybody pays the final low. I've got, like, I've literally got, like, what, what my husband says, your ears, like, just literally made a gristle. <laughs> They're really hard. <laughs> they are. Little, I've got the smallest ears in the world, but they are really hard. Um, I mean, I no. Why do I feel like I'm, I'm off Lord of the Rings or something like that now? <laughs> I feel no like you can do movements. better. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely put those on a. I'd definitely be putting them on a. Chef and hook. You can model the next one. It's on no, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me um, they're flying out the door Pat, Jane, Gillian, hello to you West Midlands, Louise, Susan, Paula, Joyce, Barbara, Charmaine hello to you Vera um, I've got people, there's a bit of a queue on the phone lines so bear with our call centre they've earned their bread and butter today they really have uh, Max, Christina, Penny, hello to you West Midlands Linda, Lisa, Elaine Hiya, Robert, Nottinghamshire, Janet, Amy there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines I guess we shouldn't be surprised sandstone always flies out the door shouldn't yeah. it and it's yeah. To my knowledge, anyway, it's the first pendulum that we've actually had. Lovely. Mm. Really, really lovely. They very, could be incorporated nice. into your interior design, couldn't they? Yeah, and, uh, you know, like um, fancy wind chimes and things. You I know, bet you've yeah, got... I bet you're going to have fancy wind chimes in. What <laughs> <Warren. laughs> What's in Warren? Where, every you ask Claire where she lives. Claire, where do you live? Hopefully... What and Warren? <laughs> <laughs> the poshest sounding place ever. Well done. <laughs> Should we do the midnight blue? I, do you know what? I, if I was a betting person, I would bet that this is going to sell out in a nanosecond because I, ad again, it's that Vincent van Gogh. Oh, look you at that. You know the song, Ross. Oh, the two together. <gasps> it is. It is. Oh, Don no. McLean. It's the Don McLean song, isn't it? Vincent. Oh. Uh, this. It's all about this artist. It's that captured mm. in a beautiful treasure. Man-made, beautiful. Dustings, don't you have lovely dustings of, of glittery suspensions that, are, uh, that, 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 that literally have been uh, reconstituted within your sandstone. The blue is always the most popular. But yes, if, I'm sure you know it. You know the Vincent van Gogh song I'm talking about, don't you? No. Starry, starry. Oh, guy. yes, yes. That one. Yes, I do, yeah. It's that. Yeah. Captured in this beautiful pendulum. Probably one of the saddest songs if you listen to the lyrics. You know where we're going. I love that. You could just stare at that, couldn't you? All, all day. Mm. Look at that. It's a bit like warp speed, isn't it? Warp speed? Warp speed. Yeah. Bit of a cue on the phone lines. Please bear with us. It is free phone. Uh, speak to our call centre. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence only. I'd, I'd be multi buying on these because I would love them in a pair of earrings. Could I turn these at this into jewellery? Yeah, very easily because you've got a connector, haven't you? It's all about all about the connectors. You're going to model it then? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. You don't want it. You don't want it. Why not? <sighs> Again, I'd lie that one on its side. Uh, when I've had my candle and it's now got succulents in it, I'd, I'd lie it on the side there. That's how I'd have it. Well, she's all about the succulents. All about the succulents is our... 
A nice uh, Father's Day key ring as well. Really? That's coming up. Oh, you can do it? like you are my universe. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Well done. Bringing it back <laughs> to the sandstone. <laughs> Amazing pair. Well done, you. Thank you. That's why you're a professional, yeah. my darling. <laughs> um, you can still get the gold. Listen, there is a queue. I'm not going to lie to you. There is a queue on the phone lines. How long's the queue? About 90 seconds, so it's not that bad. Um, I can see you being answers. So, Maddie, stay where you are. I think you're going to be next in line. Margaret, Georgina, Pat, Susan, Maureen, new customer, Louise. You will be answered. I can promise you of that. Or alternatively, you can go to all the W's at jewellerymaker.com um, or download the app. Should we, do, should we do the point? What was that? Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I didn't hear you properly then, Ross. Okay, okay, okay. Check out because again, that is um, it's going to be. I think going to be a sellout. I love it. I absolutely love it. What an amazing morning it has been. It's been fabulous, isn't it? You're right there, Claire. Yes, I'm just really? trying to um, move this out of the way. Oh, okay. So there's a nice space here. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, no, I think I know what's going. Is that right? Yeah. No, some of you might were with, hopefully with me at the beginning of the show, and um, we've loved being we love being with you on a daily basis. But every so often we have little days where it's just a little bit sad, just a little bit sad. And today is one of those days because um, for the past year or so, uh, lovely Lucy has been keeping us all in check on the shift side. And I genuinely, I've always said she's like a swan. She's literally like a swan because the ma floor manager job is not an easy one. Um, we used to joke about how many steps our lovely Lucy used to do, do before the 8 mm. o'clock hour. Uh, genuinely, they, they run round like absolute lunatics. Um, but you always look so graceful and calm um, and you just dealt patient, with it. And patient. Patient. Just lovely. Absolutely. So lovely. Come round here for a second if you can, Lucy. Come on. Come, Come on, on, look, Lucy. lovely Come space here. here. Because those, some of you might not know, uh, Lucy uh, got married very recently and her husband is going to live and work, sorry, work in America, which means we say bon voyage to you, my beautiful lady. Oh, we are so going to miss you. Gutted. Yes. Look, look, you're going to just shower you with gifts. Oh, some more flowers. Oh, my gosh. My gifts. My gifts. Oh. Wayne. Look at Wayne bringing the coffee. I brought that coffee in. Oh, there we go. You take oh. your coffee. You can take your coffee. Um, Luce, I mean, you, I know, you, you're all, you've really been a huge part of this team. Oh, hasn't gosh, you, yeah. Come round here because yeah. we can't see you. She's been amazing. We're really going to miss her. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Irreplaceable. Uh, irreplaceable. Yeah, but you're going over to where? Missouri. Oh. Missouri. Missouri, Missouri. But again, just to qualify, she hasn't fallen out of love with us. Oh, you have? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just Liam. Just, 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 just right. We've got Dan now. Yeah. Oh. 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 We love you, we love you, we love you. And we wish you yeah. all the very, very best. Yeah, yeah we'll miss you. <laughs> we will miss you. Oh, yeah, thank you. You better up your game on social media, girlfriend. Yeah, I know. Because I can tell you, she's rubbish on social media. And that's the only way we're going to be really get, be able to keep in chuck. Uh, in chuck. In chuck. <laughs> Keep in touch um, and see see your lovely face. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You've got all shy. I've got shy. You've got all shy. <laughs> um, oh, what do we say? Where do we go from here? I don't know what else to say other than the fact Lucy. Yeah. yeah. Lucy. Lovely Lucy. Oh, I don't like it. The past two days we've had to oh, say no. bon voyage to two people now. Two real good. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, but bye, Al. Seventy-four and due to retire. We're yeah. running out of time, That's so um, I'm not far off though. Not far <laughs> off. Let's say hello. Let's say goodbye, everybody. Bye. bye.